Hey everyone, what's going on? How's it going? Welcome. Hey, what's up dude, and Nuke, and Icy. It is time. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the kind of suffering that isn't good for me, but that's that's fine. It's for charity. Um Yeah, so welcome to this. I'm gonna be doing the Mother 3 with me doing the silly voices. And hopefully that isn't offensive to anyone. Uh there will be bad accents, so anybody that's of any distinct nationality, I, I apologize. There will not be any like like offensive ass accents. There will only be just bad ones. Poorly performed. It is time o'clock. Somebody sent me, uh, Vindicator just sent me a thing where it was like a lady asking if they, if she could get something faxed to her, and the guy, the guy on the other line, it was just like stock images, and a guy on the other line was like, oh, I can't, I can't fax from where I am, and she's like, well, where are you? The year, t and, and the answer was the year 2021. And I thought that shit was fucking hilarious. Also, what's up, Peach? You and Chubby Nerd? What's going on? So this is going to be awful for everyone involved, um, including myself, especially myself. Um, I, I don't know. I I do okay at doing like voices and stuff like that. Girl voices, I probably could do like one. P normal people facts, apparently. That was one of the options, when I was asking for my prescription for my glasses, that was one of the options they gave me, um, was the fax. They said, fax or mail, like regular mail, and I was like, is, like, email an option? Like, I think that's exactly what I said to them, because I'm just like, do, do you not, you can't, like, it's not confident, I don't care, like, I'm, I'm the person and I'm asking you for it, just, just send it to me. And they sent me to, in this weird email where they needed my phone number because they needed, like, I needed to get a code texted to me to get into the file. And I'm just like, okay, I guess because it's doc, it's like documents from, like, medical stuff, so they can't, like, just do it. How am I doing? Fucking mess. Because <laughs> I have to do this today. Um, for those of you who haven't seen Mother 3, welcome to it. Um, you're about to have an experience. Uh, for those of you who have seen Mother 3, I did label the stream as no spoilers for please, like, no spoilers. Like, don't, or you'll, like, get timed out and or banned. Like, this is a game that means a lot to me, so don't fuck it up. I'm serious. Like, this is, this is, like, this is the most serious I'll ever be on stream. Do not fuck this game up for other people that haven't seen it yet, if they're here to watch it for the first time. Time to use the skills of your voice acting. Fucking where are they? I need to know where they are, Pichu. <laughs> have you found them yet? Because I need to. Oh, also, I have something pretty fucking big. Um... Got something pretty fucking big uh, today in in the mail. Um, I love that song. That song's name is Reminded, and it reminds me every time of how lucky I am that I'm able to do this, and everybody actually comes and watches me. Let's get started, though. Give me one second. I just got to boot her up. I got to I got to rev up the old GBA. Boop. So I got something pretty cool. You're probably gonna see it spaz out a little bit. Are you guys ready? Are you fucking ready for this? You're probably not ready. Like, I don't think anyone in chat is probably ready for this. I'm standing very still because of, like, how this could, like, fuck up. I have hands now. Oh, look, it's already fucking up. Hi. I can wave at chat. Hi. I got hands. I can do finger guns. And do this. And if I go, like, way too far to the center, they start to get a little weird, and then they go away. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, hands. Hi. Yeah, this came in the mail today. It's fucking super easy to set up, but, like, to fine-tune it to actually make it work was kind of what was, uh... Power, yeah, unlimited power. Unlimited power! <laughs> I don't know. Will it work with the, um... Let me see if it'll work with this. I'm trying to touch... Trying to touch my ear. I can't get it. My arm... My wrist is breaking. Shit. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, that's a thing I could do. So occasionally you'll just see my hands move. It's on my desk, so like unless I go like this and I like actually wave, I can be like hi. Like that's that's like you know, I can do fingies. Because I know when Ashi showed off my model like the first time, like she was able to do shit like this. You know, this is pretty fucking actually like one to one, and it's kind of crazy. I can only do like pointy. I have tried flipping off. This is what flipping off looks like. It's not, it's not, I'm flipping you off right now. It's not working. But like, I could do this. I could do okay. And I could do this. I could do like all the VR chat stuff, but that's it. That's all I could do. Like, there's not 
a lot. It's like flat hand, okay, point, no flippy off. I can't do that. It's on your desk. Yes, it's on my desk. It's an infrared light that points straight up, and it's like a camera, and it fucking, uh, what do we call it? By the way, shout out to the fan, uh, fan translation team, of whom, which if didn't exist, I wouldn't be able to play this fucking game. Because I do not speak Japanese. Though, knowing how good this game is now, if I knew that back then, I may have actually, like, <laughs> learned Japanese for this. Yeah, it's on my desk. It's like a little thing. It's like down here. And it just kind of, like, works. When I put my hand up. I, I had to adjust this a lot to get it to work, and it still kind of, like, does weird shit sometimes, like, if I go over here. Oh, no, it's actually working pretty good now. Like, look at that. It wasn't doing that before. Like, if I did this shit before, like, it would have raised my other hand and been like, what the fuck are you trying to do? But sometimes my other hand, like, see, like, it raised my other hand for a second. Like, that's it. I'm just raising, I'm just raising this hand. I love this. I could do this. Can we just make this the stream? Where I just fuck around with this for, like, three hours? It's really cool. And I have nothing on. Some people use that on their chest. Oh, God. Oh, the boy just crashed for a second. That was weird. Did you see that? I, like, vanished. It was like a fucking Veni Vidi Vici bullshit. Oh, yeah, no, you can use it on your chest or your face. You could actually use this for VR. Um, you can use this for VR instead of controllers, I'm pretty sure. Like, you could use it for VR and have it on your helmet, and it can track. Like, I think, I have to see if I can get it working. But, like, apparently you could, like, put it, like, here. Hang on. You can put it, like, here, and it just, like, works. So, now every time I, like, itch my nose, you'll probably be able to see it, but that's, that's fine. So, for those of you who haven't seen this game, this is where Lucas from Smash Brothers comes from, because that's literally the only way you know this, because they will never fucking port this game over, ever, and it makes me the fucking saddest boy that has ever existed. But anyway, I mean, to be fair, like, I understand. Like, playing through this game and knowing what's in it, I understand why they don't want to. But then you got motherfuckers like Splatterhouse and Doom where, like, you do really raunchy shit in. And it's just like, I guess it's more like, emotional stuff is always more powerful, yeah? So I, I, th I think I get it. Hi, hi, Carl. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> How's it, how we doing? Maybe another model. Yeah, like... I think, like, if, if it was rigged to do so, like, I think my boy could, like, actually, like, do more fingy stuff, but it, it's it's not. I see you got my leap motion. Yep. <laughs> sure did. Okay. When he does the okay, his fingies kind of fuck up, though, a little bit. I think it's because it's, like, not reading my okay because of, of the lighting and everything like that. I think that's mostly the lighting. It's not the model. But if I do stretch, if I stretch really high, my chains, like, go fucking all over the place. It's incredible. <laughs> Like, it's not it's not that broken, it just kind of, like, sucks up into my fur. It's really good. <laughs> More fingy stuff. Yes, indeed. I could just, I could literally do this all cast. You have no fucking idea. The other hands is holding the controller down below, so. Not the chains! Like, like see, if I, like, go all the way up here, you see, like, I'm grabbing. Like, you see how the, the chain kind of starts to, like, it doesn't break, though. So, shout-outs, shout-outs to Oshi. Because it does not, it does not break. It just fucking, it just fucking, uh, what do we call it? It just kind of, like, stretches a bit. Also, if I move it up a little bit, it might be better. This thing gets hot like a motherfucker, though, I'll tell you that much for free. There we go. Now, if I, like, actually am doing Italian hand gestures like this, bobbity boopy. You can, can I do the Italian thing? Can I? No, it doesn't let me. I don't think so. No, that doesn't look, is that Italian? Yeah, it is actually, kind of. It kind of looks like I'm flipping you off now, so that's not great. Let's, let's play a video game. <clears throat> I'm really excited about this. It's so cool. Not the chains! It burns! Um, the younger twin brother, a gentle boy, which is Lucas. So for those of you who don't know, this was a charity incentive. I really like this game. I've played this game before. Oh, also worth noting, this is randomized. Um, what's randomized is character sound effects when they attack, uh, boxes, shops, basically items, which can make the game a little bit harder, as we've seen. There's certain chapters that make it much more difficult if it's randomized. So, And there's certain chapters where it's easy. If it's randomized. Carol flipping us off. Ah, uh, yes, the ultimate, the ultimate pleasure. Oh, she needs to see this. I think Oshi is streaming right now. Um, but it's good though. I finally got. I can do the the bobbity. Oh God, that's not the right hand. The bobbity boopy. I just got to make sure I'm like way the fuck over here, and I kind of like I I gotta like you know. It kind of does. It sometimes it doesn't want to. Sometimes it doesn't want to. I gotta fine tune it. I I fine tuned it a little bit, and now it's not doing weird shit anymore. Hey, what's up, hi? How's it going? But yeah. 
I'm just here to drop by and say hi. I have to teach tomorrow, so I have to sleep early. Oh, fuck. That sucks. Well, enjoy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, let me get into the game uh, before we keep talking about, like, my fucking hand thing. Um, I, um... It was a charity incentive that I never thought I would even reach. This was like my $150 one, and it was to fully voice act this game. I suck at voices. I can do, like, one girl voice. I could do, like, fucking Kuro, too. <laughs> that seems rude. I feel like other Kuro has been around longer than I have. Have good days, dude. Thank you very much for stopping by, Kuro, for watching my thing. You have a good day. You have... You... You, you have a good day. Nah... But, um, anyway, Lucas, the older twin brother, an energetic boy. He came out first. But, um, like, I could do, like, I, I can't, I don't know. My voice is not very versatile, so I'm gonna try my best. And everyone's not gonna make fun of me, right? No one's gonna make fun of me? Talking to you. Talking to you right there. You. You in the back. Jimmy? I know you're gonna make fun. I, I see you in the back. Right there. Don't. He was ready for his life, yeah? The, is that masochism? What? Oh, what he said. But anyway. What are they doing? Oh, they're... they're. I don't know what they're doing. So this is Klaus. I don't really rename the characters in this. A strong but defendable father. Which is probably just going to get the cowboy voice that I do. Klaus from American Dad. Fuck no. Also, what's up, Joker? Okay, Scott. Lisco, the beloved mother, and Nawa, the brave and smart dog. I should name him Kuro just to be a dick, but I don't want to. Boney's a good boy. Good night, sweet fiends. You sure? Yes, I have checked. He's not German. I could make him German. Do you want me to make him German? Do you want me to give him, like, the Klaus accent? Like, oh, is that Klaus? Like, that, like, fucking shitty German accent that they do, like, for, you know, Klaus. Like, the default German accent. I feel like that's rude. I don't want to do that. What is my favorite thing? Favorite homemade food. I think I always put Beppes, right? Fuck. <laughs> Beppes. Uh, what is my favorite thing? Hmm. What is my favorite thing this time? His orange hair, so he's close. I mean, you're actually not wrong. That's pretty accurate. Beppes or pizza is kind of your standby. Absolutely. I get to poke you with a shadow stick. Why? I'll poke you back. I got fingies now. I'll do it. Fucking don't tempt me. I like how I can just yell at people now. Like, stop doing that. That's fucking good. More bees. <laughs> what? Uh, my favorite thing is chat. Because you're going to be good during this playthrough. There you go. That's That's super wholesome. Why is the game asking about your favorite things? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alright, here we go. <coughs> uh, tech speed fast, please. Uh, window color. What do we want? What are we feeling this time? Have I done grape in a while? Grape is pretty good. Melon is kind of okay. I mean, you guys gotta stare at this. I feel like banana is a little abrasive. I like strawberry, but strawberry is a little abrasive too. Mint is very abrasive. I think I might go with grape. What are you thinking about grape? Macaroni with frying chicken. Yay, Mr. Streamer likes us. Of course. I'm gonna go grape. <laughs> My favorite food is Beppis. You're not wrong, I drink a lot of soda. Grape. Girl, you played this game before, I'm worried. <laughs> People like grapes. You're not wrong. Grapes sound good. Grapes are good. Why are you worried about it? I'm gonna do- everybody ready for the shittiest voice acting that's ever existed on Twitch? Probably. That sound effect did not work. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. Man, now I want grapes. I haven't had grapes in forever. Eri got these, like, grapes that, that were, like, infused with cotton candy flavor, and they were fucking awesome. Like, I don't know how they do that, and it's probably not natural, and it probably killed me a lot to eat them, but, like, I don't care. Wish I had to come for grapes right now. Grapes are amazing. Nowhere Islands. I fucking love this game, by the way. Again, like I said, please know, if you've seen this game before, no spoilers. If you haven't, enjoy. This game is a trip. It's a ride all the way from start to finish. 
The game doesn't ask you about your favorite things unless there's something going on happening. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't, don't, it's, don't, don't worry about it. I forget, I like, I gotta remember I can, like, do things with my hands now, and now you guys can see, like, every fucking Italian hand gesture that I do. Oh, except for that one. That one was weird. I broke my wrists. Don't do that. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Neither, never played this game, neither have I. You guys are in for a treat. This game is very good. If you're here to watch it for your first time, I am honored that you chose me. Honestly. I have a really bad hangnail right now. I want to bite it. I'm going to bite it. I'm going to be like Aaron Yeager, and I'm going to turn into a fucking titan. <laughs> It's on my thumb. Kuro, yes. Home of Alec, Hanawa's father. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's our boy. So how many people only knew Lucas for Smash Brothers? How many people actually like knew Lucas besides that? Game looks fun. Game hasn't even started yet. Oh, this is close. I need to do like what? Like little kid voice? Like, Lucas! Yeah! Like that. Like little annoying. Like I just, I don't like children. So probably it's going to be a really annoying voice. Lucas, how long are you going to sleep? Get up so we can play! Get up already! The Dragos brought their babies over! They're really cute! Hurry up! Like, real, I just, I don't like children, so that's probably the voice. Not me. She's a big lady, so give her the Jaeger. <laughs> She's a big lady, so give her the Jaeger. I hear that every fucking time. Alright, uh, disclaimer, I can't do girl voices. Are you planning on to, are you planning on play, to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. No! Yes. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Lucas is a mama's boy. He would literally never say no. If he said no, he would probably fucking die. Plays a badass attack on Titan. Get up, you damn <laughs> Get. Here we are. I love this game so much. You have no fucking idea. I, I like, legit didn't, I didn't know anything about this, and somebody told me to play this at one point. There's Alec. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Oh, you can talk to pigs, by the way. No problem here. Uh, pig voice? Don't worry. I don't know how to do a pig voice. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He told me not to worry about it, so I'm not going to. Oh, God. Frog voice. Uh, rabbit. <laughs> A story is a, a st I don't know, I think, you know what, I think I should give the frog, like, fucking badass narrator voice, because he's literally, like, the, like, he's, like, the outside of shit? Like, I don't think I should give him frog voice, I think I should give him, like, really good narrator voice. <clears throat> a story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories. And they turn into fuck, I skipped the dialogue. You don't take care of, if you don't take care and preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please, tell us, frogs, your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then, rat, save your game. Do your best Patrick Stewart impression. I don't think I can. I don't think I've heard enough Patrick Stewart to actually do an impression. James Earl Jones. Everything the light touches <laughs> is a saved game. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Okay, bye. I want to play with Dragos. Hi, Dragos! Oh god, he's dead! And this baby's like, this is fine. I love the baby Drago because he has, like, no facial features. He's just a happy face drawn on, like, a lump. <laughs> he's one of my favorite things. <sighs> oh, I'm beat. I've been play fighting with Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. No, oh, I don't want to. Come on, just give it a try. Dragos are waiting. Klaus! Lucas doesn't know how to ram into things yet. I mean, he's like five, so I would assume not. Meme ye, he's ditto. <laughs> he's fucking ditto. Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button. I like how he's just Deckard Kane. <laughs> and then hold that B button for a second, then let go. Doing so will let you dash. By using the dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. Do it, bitch. You won't. What are you gonna do about it? Stay a while and press the B button. Oh god, he's dead. You killed him. Yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try, but not too hard. They're endangered and you'll get arrested. <laughs> you'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. I'm gonna ram this fucking Drago. Fuck yeah. 
Can you do it with the baby? I never tried, actually. I like how he, like, he opens his eyes. Can I do it with the baby? No, he just yells at me. <laughs> the harder you run into them, the more they like- I like how this is like a Mandork voice, essentially. The harder you run into them, the more you dragos like it. Move it out of the way. Make room for the great mole cricket. <laughs> I'm from fucking New York, death. <laughs> yeah. Can't just sit idly by where I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way, and you're in a world of pain. You encountered the mole cricket. So this star is hard, kind of hard to do it to, and they're randomized anyway. But Klaus actually has like a like a fucking uh, beat thing. That's obviously not. Damn it! Fuck. I think they just made him the same for Klaus and Lucas in the beginning, because I don't think that's going to be Lucas's. Or maybe they just made it the same as Lucas's. Yeah, we earned 2 XP. Now he's fucking dead. I like how the, the Drago's like, what the fuck are you doing, you little shit? I see you have more spine than I do, and than I thought, excuse me. Well, more than you do, too. If you'd like, I could, pers I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be a big mole cricket hole sta- It'll be a big mole cricket hole stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. Are we still play fighting here? It's hard to say. Hey, I'm hopping here. Go fuck yourself. I stepped on a mole cricket. I thought it's... I hope it's alright. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite, boys. Beppis, I... <laughs> I poured soda into a glass. Enjoy! <laughs> oh, lunch, lunch. Beppis? Eh, I'm a child. This is fucking going poorly. Of course you have more spine than a mole cricket, it's an introvert. Shh. You too, Dad. I like his, like, old man saunter. Now then. Listen, folks, here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome. So you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Thanks for breaking the fourth wall. It's been five minutes. Beppus! Yeah, the kids like run inside and just like, st Hey, wait for me! You saved some Beppus for me too, right? No, Grandpa, we drank yours. Fuck! <laughs> Actually, the, the the default is omelets, by the way. The, the default food in this is omelets. Steak, steak, was, um, steak was in Earthbound, omelets is in this one. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, Beppus, your fa your favorite's the same as ours? You make a good match. Yeah, hook up with your mom. What? Yep, fourth wall. <laughs> After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it there on their own. It's, it's that safe. Fuck it, let the children out into the wild. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. <laughs> You little bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the implication, though. <laughs> Fuck. Dear Flint, Just like you said they would, the children have been running through, around in the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is so daring and full of energy as ever. While well, Lucas is a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long. But we should be home by this evening. I have forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have come, been here to take in this air. Next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep, so that we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I... Always, oh, we're always thinking of you. Fuck, it's already getting me. <laughs> when, when, when we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite peppers right away. With love, your dearest Hinawa. <laughs> get outside, you little bitch. We're gonna fight. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the front yard and suplex you, candy ass. 
<laughs> Grandpa's drunk again. He's not drunk. Be free! That was weird. It's funny because at this point in the playthrough, everyone's always just like, that's the theme to do Pork City! And then it's like, yeah, this is from that's from this game. <laughs> like, you know, the Smash stage that no one knows about because this game has never been ported. And that was the intro. I feel like this is going poorly so far, but we'll see how it keeps going. Right? Like, this isn't this isn't that bad, right? Did the music play back? Wait, what happened? No, it, it got distorted. Aliens. Maybe. We'll see. Look at this fucking hangnail. It's bothering the shit out of me. <laughs> it really is. It hurts a little bit. Oh, man. The last time I played this, we made jokes about a fucking uh, gender reveal party when this happened. There are so many fucking people in Tasmanian Village. How am I going to get a voice for all of them? There are so many fucking people, and they're all unique characters. It's not like they're, like, not. <laughs> Jesus. This is going to be a bitch. <laughs> yep, good, yeah. Damn it, it's a boy! <laughs> Listen, those people should never be able to live that down, and I can't... I, 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 Does anybody ever know what the final total was of the damage they had to play? Okay, this character right here, am I giving him, like, a nerd voice or an Italian voice? I need to know right now, because I can't de fucking decide. Like, my, uh, like this guy, the guy with the mustache. The, the guy that's running like an idiot. Is it nerd voice, or is it Italian voice? Because it's gonna be one of those. Chapter 1, The Night of the Funeral. Anyway, completely disregarding that title. Is it an Italian voice, or is it a nerd voice? Because I don't fucking know. He kind of like, gives off the vibes of both, because of the mustache and face, but then also he's like kind of a dork. So what is it gonna be? Italian? Okay. Flint, Flint, Flint! It's a fire, a fire, a fire! The sunshine of forest is on a huge, in a huge fiery flame. It's like just gonna be Mario, but like without the without like the high pitch. So that that's it. Why not both? Because <laughs> I don't think I could. Just like Earthbound, it starts with someone knocking on the door the night after. You've got to do something quick, Flint. The forest, the forest, the forest, the forest is on a fire. Bobbity boopy. Also, what the fuck is that title? No, don't worry about it. It's fine. Hey, what's up, Darius? Jeez, who would lock at the door in a place as peaceful as our village? Flint! Boppity boopy! I'm Italian, by the way, so this offends me too, so don't worry. Ah, the doorknob? Why'd you have to come off like this? Boppity boopy! <laughs> he just fucking throws it. Ah, doorknob, I mean a flint. This is, it's, like, it's basically just a Mario accent, it's not even like an Italian accent. Because Mario, it's like, it's basically Mario. This is a no time to dozing off. for dozing off. There's a huge fire in the sunshine forest. Your dog doesn't seem to care. Bad times like this calls for an erect this nice guys like you. And just somebody touch up my spaghetti. Fucking <laughs> Please Flint come, please. Yeah. Well, I think I could be convinced to come. Thomas joined your party. Yup, Bobbity. <laughs> I'll follow behind you. What? What's wrong? So wrong with that? I happen to like following behind the people. So this game is randomized, and I'll prove it to you right now. Hi, Boney. He's hiding something at his doghouse. Got a stick. Okay, got a stick. Normal stick, right? Completely normal. Hey, a flint. That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first. Just hold on to it until... Uh, just holding on to it will make it as useful as a caramel. Hey, I like caramel. Fuck you. Uh, so this, um, this stick is feet. This stick is feet. This stick is feet. See it? It's like... It's right. It's right. 
the stick, the stick is the stick is feet. Oh god, my fingies got a little weird there for a second. Devil's got a hold of him. So this game is randomized. What's randomized in it is that all of these objects have random stats and attributes and pictures for that matter, which makes it kind of funny. So I'm equipping feet. I just pop something in my chest. Ooh, like you all right? Is it because of my terrible voice acting? Because I'm really sorry about that. Whoa, what did Thomas just do? Save your game. I love that I decided to give the fucking thing. It's feet stick. It's right. That's the randomization part of this. Though there is a weapon in this that is bare feet. I just felt like something go pop. Oh yeah, I've done that before. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I just gave the frogs a narrator voice, and I fucking love that. So we have to go talk to Mapson. <clears throat> if you need something from the map loving and map owning Mapson, it must be a map, yes? Please feel free to take one with you. I get like old jazz musician vibes from him. You're worried about light or shack deep in the sunshine forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, whoops, silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check your map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to... How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess just do something our buttonish. <laughs> Fucking good. Where do you get feet in this game? It's one of the weapons for one of the characters. Don't worry about it. Also, for people that have seen this game for the first time... Anyway... Just gonna fucking let that sit on the screen for a second and then and then leave immediately. Let's see, who is this? Oh, Jonal. Uh he kinda has like a gruff guy face. Let's see. May the forest and the people and the animals all and I all have happiness. Happiness. Ah, oh, Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer prayers here before going into the forest. If you don't do this, it, he just runs out of the thing and gets you. Oh wait, I have a thing for this. Hang on, you guys ready? Let me know if you can hear this. So it's like so my it's voice like echoey, echoey now? Did that work? Are we cool now? Is it loud and stupid? Yee, okay good. Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. Anyway, uh, who's playing me? It is cool. Yeah, I have a bunch of those. I have a robot, I got like a Satan voice, and then I have an intercom. So I figured those will all be probably useful during this because I've played this game before. Let's go. Kuro. Nope, hang on. Understood. Kuro. Your name is Kuro, correct? Okay then, please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you were ever asked this question. Three, two, one. Have you forgotten? Yeah. Good. Anyway. <laughs> I have buttons. Satan? Yeah, it's kind of like fucking hang on, I got it. I got you, fam. It's kind of like this. I am the devil. Anyway. It's kind of like that. It sounds a little bit like that. So that's good. <laughs> I set a lot of this shit up like last night because, yeah, I've been fucking around with the voices for like a couple weeks because I knew this shit was coming. I wanted to have fun with it even if I wasn't feeling great about it. Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, now we're in like real, real ass terror. Oh, he'll give me something too. This guy gives, I, I think I got this guy. <laughs> oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking around this way. The smoke is terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, let it be of use. Got a nut cookie. Is it actually a nut cookie or is it randomized? Oh no, it's a nut cookie. Apparently nut cookie is just the number 248. And my hat is a shirt. Let's move on. So now this is the real ass game. Hello. Mr. Batty is blocking the way. 
sizing up the situation. Thomas is wiping the sweat from his forehead. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh, that's right. Flint has Boney's sound effects, so he sounds like a fucking dog. <laughs> oh, I killed it in two hits. Okay, never mind. Don't even need. Don't even need a uh, time to hit combat. Twenty experience. Nice. So this randomizer randomizes PSIs as well, and also their effects. It tends to make you a little overpowered by the end of the game, but it's it can make the beginning of the game quite challenging, and that's kind of why I like it. Doesn't this guy have antidotes? Oh no. What's in here? Let's open the present. Got a rotten eclair. That's not gonna help me at all. Like, literally at all. Save your game? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Don't question it. Yeah, just don't question it. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Yeah, I thought that guy had antidotes in his house, but he's not in his house right now. That's right. So if you played Earthbound, obviously the battles probably look familiar. Mr. Batty attacks. There we go. I like how Flint ended up with Boney's fucking <laughs> sound effects for battle. So good. You good, bro? Bronson. Hmm, he's a tough guy. Hmm. Super deep voice. Oh, Flint. <laughs> God, I've been breathing in too much smoke. Uh, you know what? Let's just do smoker. <laughs> smoker voice. Lighter and his son, Buell, are in the back. All right, back yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. Who's raiding me? Oh, man. Chaos Star, the Lupina. You Lupina. Pina. Christ, I can say that. Thank you for the raid. Hi, welcome. You at came in. You, <laughs> you came in at the worst time because this is the stream where I ruin a game with my terrible voice acting. Enjoy! Hi, everybody. Let me just say hi to everybody. Thank you, Chaos, Chaos Star, for the uh, thing. Oh, my goodness. Ocarina Drolf and uh, Gino Okami. Thank you for the follows. Mother 3. Yes, no spoilers in chat, please, but thank you. The Howlverse has invaded. I fucking love that. Also, there's no a wooing. There's a fucking fine for that, and you need to all pay it now. So please deposit all the money that you just got fined for yourselves by a wooing in my chat into the box next to you. Thanks. But hi, everybody. How's it going? I'm Kuro. I'm ruining this game with voice acting. Oh, who's? <laughs> but what's up, everybody? What's up, uh, Gino Okami? Uh, sh I'm gonna try to. Uh, Shprek? I'm gonna say, but strawberry eggs. Hi, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Thank you for the shout out, dude. I appreciate you. Dumps my entire paycheck. <laughs> There's a five hundred dollar well, three hundred fifty. I guess I've lowered it a little bit. It was the butler all along? Not really. Shit. Well, anyway, let me get back to the game. I was doing a bad smoker's voice with this. I'm pretty sure that we're stuck inside the forest. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Go help them. All right, cool. So if you've seen this game before, welcome. If you haven't seen this game before, welcome. You're in for a trip. This game is a little, uh, this game can get a little intense, just as a trigger warning. And get, again, insert gender reveal party in here. Joke right here. Just, just this, right, right in this scene. Just gender reveal party. Joke right here. <laughs> this fucking runs through the fire. Idiots. I like how they just watch that, like, like that's fucking normal. Oh, we got a boy here. You encountered the Yam monster. Damn it. Oh, also worth noting, this is randomized. That's why Flint sounds like a dog. <laughs> Never mind, he's dead. The ending is so sad. Indeed. But like I said, no spoilers, please. No spoilers. I'm going to take care of this fucking hangnail right now. Y'all going to watch me. You ready for it? Here we go. We're going to do it. Because I'm sick of it. It's hurting every time I touch it. Ah! Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> That's my pain voice. Oh, some nut bread in the fucking... Yeah, hell yeah. How did the yam monster have nut bread? It is unclear. Ow, fuck. I ambushed this one, apparently. Oh, so worth noting, when you ambush things in this game, uh, they have back sprites. So everything has a front and a back. It's a girl. <laughs> I was because KO lost a bet and had to be chaos. The wussy for five weeks? Jeez. 
That sounds rough. Damn. I mean, to be fair, it's a fucking yam, so how powerful is it, but still. I don't think they actually come after you if you just kind of fuck off and don't touch them. Oh, this is a bad place to go. Everything's on fire! Hey, what's up? You good? Lighter! Oh, well, excuse me. Lighter! Thomas. Oh. Hey! Lighter! You alright? We're doing bad Italian voice for Thomas, by the way. I apologize for that in advance. I am Italian. That's why I got the bobbity booby hands, you see? Somebody touching my spaghetti and all that. So we're going to give him a cowboy voice because he's supposed to be like the... I think he's like the rival to like Flint or something like that, so... Flint. Oh, us and Thomas. Damn it. Try to beat these things up, but more just keep coming. Can't get past them. <laughs> what is this a thing? A bug? Bobbity booby. You don't chase you and it's almost like... the. It's almost always drops enough bread. It's good to stock up on. Nice. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is randomized, so, like, that's probably the most normal this game's going to be. Uh, some items are going to be overpowered. Some items are going to be underpowered. Some items are probably going to take away stats, so that's not a lot of nutty items I see. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. They're going after the forest, lighting fires. But never mind that. Fuel's still at home. What? Fuel's still in your shack? What did you have to do with something? You have to go help. Excuse me. I'll look after lighter. I'm gonna take your lumber. Got lighter's lumber. So this will be random too. Flint. If you're going to use the lumber as a weapon, make sure you equip it first. It's completely useless otherwise. Uh, boop and bop and wow, that's hmm. And it's also a sparkly ribbon. So currently we have feet. Now it's a sparkly ribbon. Lighter's favorite four x four. I think the descriptions are consistent. Yeah, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of everything now. Holy shit. That was lucky. Last time I did this, I think Lighter's Lumber ended up being really shitty, and this was a this was a trial. It's actually a mystic stick. Good. Awesome. Firefly and its cohorts suddenly attack. This should not be a problem. Firefly char fired up and charged up. I think Flint initially started with like way more defense than he's supposed to, too. Yeah, this is oh that was a smash, but still. Ow. Please stop doing that. Oh, no, never mind. Also, Flint is bony, which is hilarious to me. Yeah, I'm just one-shotting them. Um, okay. I don't know why it froze like that. I have an idea of why it froze like that, and if it continues to happen, I might have to switch something. Flint is now level 8. Nice. I missed the old babies. There was some nut bread. Good. Even more. Give me that nut. Here I go. Hop hop. I highly recommend. I really recommend that you save right now. Will you? Yes. You're going inside a flaming building. Yeah, it's always actually just the mystic stick. Wonderful. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Yeah, there's certain parts of the game that like the um the what do we call it? The items are going to be better for, and there's certain parts of the game that the items are going to be worse for. But in the end, you kind of end up being kind of overpowered most of the time when I've done runs of this one. Flint. Actually, Flint and Claws can equip everything Lucas can, but the fake and real bad. Oh, that's interesting. I knew, I knew, uh, I knew, I knew uh, Flint could, but oh, we gotta do a little kid voice again. Help! Goo! Oh no, the child is on fire now, and there's a mouse involved. Fuck, it's Mickey Mouse. He's come to DMCA, everyone. You could probably bust this open by ramming into it. Eat ass. There is a mouse in here. He's not friendly. Let's go, bitch. I have a feeling this will not be a problem. <laughs> Did a combo attack. Thanks. Damn it. <laughs> Stop biting. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. Yeah, this, this randomizer is a little unbalanced, but I think it was kind of meant to be. There's certain randomizers that do stuff like that, where it's, like, really unbalanced and stuff, and I don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Gus doesn't have a PSI programmed in. Ah. I must save the child. Come with me, child. Mr. Flint. Goo. 
You took fuel into your care. He didn't join my party. He's in my care. So let's not walk through any fires. Otherwise the child will burn. Well. <laughs> Alright, see ya. The house is angry. Be right back. Okay, I'll be here. And it's gone. Oh, ah. Pitch black and covered in suit. And, but I'm alive. Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Why would you call me that? Thank you so much, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Oh, yeah. We need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. My dad. I'm gonna bring you back to your dad. Because I'm sick of looking at you. I like his little... He has, like, the, um... The Earthbound thing, where, like, he, um... Like, used teleport and hit something. Oh, fuck. The child. Oh, no, actually, that was just me. So that's fine. I tanked it for him. And now we must go and return the boy to his ch to his uh to his dad. Let's see. I think you can go you can go in the hot spring, right? And then it like washes off half the shit. I think. Like you can go in the hot spring. Hot springs, by the way, for those of you who don't know, are healing places. They're like where you restore your HP. It's kinda like an inn, but it's all over the place. It was an excuse for them to put healing places, like, literally everywhere, so. And also that, like, washes off the bottom half of that, except for the face, which is kind of funny. It, like, washes off everything but the face. No enemies on the way back. Everybody's kind of out of the forest now because we got, we saved the boy. Hello, Thomas. What do you have to say for yourself? Flint! You're pitch black and covered in the suit. But you're all right. Being the responsible man I am, I've managed to bring a lighter here. Hurry and let him see fuel. I'm pretty sure it's probably a group effort, but okay. Yeah, there's multiple people here, so... Dad! Are you dead? He's not dead, though. That voice. Is that you, fuel? You're all right. What the... What happened? What in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in suit. Salt. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg. Oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist it like this, like so, and then do this, and then... Ow, ow, can't sarn it. <laughs> Boss, what are you trying to... What are you, do what are you doing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like I'm... What, is it, what does it look like I'm doing? I forgot his voice for a second. Lighter and fuel. Clever game. Clever, indeed. Anyways... We sure are lucky Flint showed up and when he did. Uh, what the fuck voice am I giving that guy in the upper right corner, Ed? I'm giving him Solid Snake's voice. Yeah. <laughs> he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. <laughs> Fucking, there's only so many voices. Look how many characters there are. I'm completely screwed. Thanks, Flint. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. Uh, what the fuck did I just give him? I think- Yeah, I gave him, like, the boss! Like, that one. I think it could- <laughs> I think it could've- Could've been the first time I ever said the boss thank anyone. Uh, and he was Smoker Voice. You're right. <laughs> the only thing that can make me say anything- the only thing that can make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. Pouring rain. <laughs> Sorry. This is so awful. If I forget a voice, I apologize, but you know, I, I can't even remember what the fuck I had for breakfast today, so like, you understand, right? <laughs> and now it started to rain. Metal Gear. Let's just hope it puts out the- this rain puts out the fire. I don't have an ice flower. Hoo-hoo! We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. This is Snake. Colonel. Arrgh. <laughs> Sorry. The Yato Inn. 
This is one of the places they showed in like the Earthbound 64 thing that like goes around a lot. I know a lot of like a lot more shit from that has been going around apparently recently, which is great. Oh, girl voice again. Hang on. There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. That's like literally, I could do it like a gentle voice. Do you hear how deep my voice is naturally? Do you think I can fucking do a girl voice? Do you honestly think that this voice goes like any higher than that? Besides like doing like the stupid mm, anime girl voice, like that stupid shit. Like, no, I can't. It's not happening. Anyway. It's a good thing you would flit. A uh, fuel only suffered light injuries. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. It's been a while since Tasmili last had rain. Flint, please go get go get some nice rest, as opposed to bad rest. Yes, it can't. <laughs> Impossible. Oh, we got big burly, uh, big burly Isaac. Hey, Flint. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perfect timing. I heard you were talk taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? Think I'll join you under the awning. He's like big tough. He's like he always looks like a big burly guy, even though he has glasses. What do you think about the fact? What? What do you think about the fact that we always want to be better? Fuck, are you talking about? I mean, like, we always want to be better. Yeah. If you want to talk philosophy, we can talk about that like offcast. But like, everyone should always try to be getting better, all the time. But don't push yourself too hard. Tell me. Have you seen Hanawa and the kids? No. I see. I gave him, like, the fucking, like, CDI Mario voice. The enclosed instruction booklet. Like, that fucking shit. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. <laughs> well, actually, I guess that makes sense now. While I was up there, I caught sight of Hanawa. Then, while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars far off in the distance. It sounded like it might have been a Drago that was roaring. After that, I heard what I think might have been screams. Say, Flint, and now when the kids made it back home, oh, home, right? Now let me go check. Let me go save at this frog. Save your game? Yes, of course. Booyah, Kasha. Please be careful. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Just like announcer voice, like my deepening of my voice. Hello, Boney. I love him. Boney's a good boy. It's a letter from Hanawa. It's the same thing, but I'm going to read it again. Dear Flint, Just like you said they would, the children are ha have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is a daring and full of, en full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. But we neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father see it seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long. But we should prob we should be home by this evening. I'd forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come home, come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking of you. When we get home this evening, I'll, st I'll start by cooking some of your favorite pepas right away. With love, your dearest Tanawa. I need water because voice is hurt. Pony's just looking like, you, you gonna pet me again? They're still not back? With all this rain, they could catch a cold. I'll go find them. <laughs> That's a good idea. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere in Bowser's castle. Sorry. <laughs> it's getting late. We should all go look for them. 
Let's get the villagers to help, too. And the enclosed instruction booklet. <laughs> I just, like, I realized that was the voice I was doing. Okay, I'll go tell my dad, then. <laughs> cool. Hi, Boney. Oh, God, Boney voice. Is it just gonna be Scooby-Doo? It probably is just gonna be Scooby-Doo. Please take me with you. I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be helpful. <laughs> Take Boney with you? Yeah. Woof. I like how he said woof, and it's literally just translated as to woof. Boney joins your party. It's literally just going to be Scooby-Doo the whole time, isn't it? He doesn't talk much anyway, so that's fine. Or he probably shouldn't talk at all because he's a dog. Actually, what did he start with? Let's check out his stats. Uh, he started out with a fuckload of speed and defense. Nice. I think he can wear hats. Fairly certain? Probably save. Save your game? Yeah. Because there's going to be tougher enemies now. So I hope I'm not doing that terrible of a job <laughs> with, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm trying my best. I'm not really good at, like, voice acting. So I really apologize. Oh, there's Thomas. At last, you have the vision to find my house. Arcana Kasune, thank you for following. Welcome to this shit show where I ruin a game by voice acting it. And obviously, full disclosure, I played this before, and full disclosure, this is randomized. Oh, hey, it's Wes. I had, what the fuck voice did I give this guy? Oh, there you are, Flint. I think I did something like that, right? I asked everyone to split up and search the forest for Hanawa. He's like tough guy, like gruff tough guy. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. Happiness. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. What's up, Wes? Uh, what is Wes? He's like crotchety old man. I'd like to join you in the search, but they told me to stay here because I'm old. Seems nobody's aware of how just strong I really am. I have a Costco membership. Don't fuck with me, I'll cry. <laughs> Let's go look for our wife and kids. Ooh, a nut. Nut! Got it. Hello. Do you wish to... Are you ready to meet God? They told me to stay a while. Ow. And now he's dead. I like how Flint has Boney's attack, so it's going to be really confusing. As to whose turn it really is. Whose turn is it really? Oh, we got to go get some ant ant egg dotes. Because they're free. There's a lot of ant dotes in the box. Take one. Yeah, how much inventory... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I have Boney, too. Yeah. I'm gonna give him that bony, probably. He's slowly creeping over to me as I'm stealing all of his antidotes. Um, let's see. Welcome to Earthbound, by the way. It's inventory management, the game. Fuck, I gave it to myself. I don't even know why that's an option. I think it's to, like, resort your inventory, but, like, fuck, dude. I also have a rotten eclair, which will literally never help me, so that's cool. And this is the same rule as Earthbound. If you get hit in the back from an enemy... You get ambushed. And now he's dead, because I barked at him. <laughs> I will be honest, this has this has been kind of fun. I feel like I'm doing a shitty job, but it has been kind of fun. Oh, that's right, they're, they're big boys now, I forgot. Ah, yes, and the snakes. Let us not forget. The mighty bitey snake. Look at that boy. Fuck. By with his venomous fangs. Well, he's dead now. Jesus. Nut, indeed. Nut, indeed. Flint's level is now nine. Nice. I like how kindness is a stat. I'm trying to search for your kids, but I'm dummy thick. And I keep alerting all the enemies in the area. Yeah. Mighty bitey snake. Snack. It was a biting attack. And now it's dead. I could probably just mash through this and kill them because of like how ridiculously powerful uh, Wedge McCall it was. Uh, Lighter's Lumber. Wow, I got like. I, oh, we got two speed from that, so that's pretty good. Boney is a very fast boy. He has multiple legs to run on. Oh, wait, did I go? I went the wrong way, I think, right? 
Yeah, I gotta go up there. Cool. Alright. I'm finally on the PC, so screw you, mobile delay. I am too powerful! <laughs> yeah. Metal Gear launches nukes. Oh, no. I mean, that's kind of what happened, I guess, right? <laughs> Metal Gear. What you got? I didn't realize it before, because the flames were so intense at the time. But it looks like the area over here got hit real bad with the fire, too. Metal Gear. Ugh! Gotta find my family. Oh, I ambushed him. Nice. Then we get to see the back of the Mighty Buddy Snake. <laughs> and now he's dead. I mean, these things aren't that hard. That th these things aren't that hard to begin with. But then I got like lighter's lumber. That's ridiculous. Oh, he left me an antidote. Isn't that nice? How does a snake have a fucking antidote for its own venom? Oh, hi. Klaus is a troublemaker, but I bet he's hiding somewhere around here, watching us worry our heads off. Lucas is a crybaby, so I bet he's probably in tears by now. Those are my kids, ma'am. I should beat your ass. What's with that face? What face? That face? This this face right here? Or this face? <laughs> Sorry. Pop. Of the three live-action remake in which Flint is Vin Diesel yelling family. The face of Jill. Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> That's kind of like one of the faces they had in... Oh, a baked yam. Lovely. I don't think they randomized too many of the drops in the beginning of the game, to be honest with you. Doesn't seem like they did, at least. Hello, Snake. <laughs> How about the Mighty Bitey Snake? Of course he did. Eat ass. Looks like a poorly planted clown face. Lipstick takes up like 60% of it. <laughs> you're not wrong. Like I see, I see what you're saying, but like that's just it's just a face. It was like an earthbound too. It was like Pokey's mom looked like, or Porky's mom looked like. And we left behind a present. There was an antidote, and I took it. Ooh, a blue present. Excuse me. Got a Scorpio bracelet. Ooh. That gives me a shitload of defense. Let's go. Yay, randomization. Oh, there's a tree down that way. Okay. Hello, frog. Wish to save your game? Oh, excuse me. I, I read that normally. Do you wish to save your game? I keep forgetting. I'm so used to just reading shit. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I have to do, like, epic voice for everyone. Just as I guessed. But I'd say, I'd say the Drago climbed up from here. I think the no other chapter is called now. No, it's okay. It's, it's okay. No, it's fine. See those claw marks? They most certainly belong to a Drago. Why would a Drago claw at stuff like this? And leave gashes in the rocks, even. They're such peaceful creatures. Yeah, fine. We'll go with that. Yeah, indeed. I get the feeling something very bad is happening to the forest, the people, the animals, and and me. Because <laughs> I ate I ate bad food. No problem here. Do I have to talk to him again, or what? I forget what I have to do here. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, that sounds about right. Bronson. Bronson was a smoker voice, I think, right? I can't believe my eyes. Look at this flint. Huge trees were snapped right in two. <clears throat> it's like a Drago did it. Beto? I don't think I gave him. He should be a nerd because I think he has glasses and he looks like Jeff. Well, how could just a big tree be ripped out like this? There's one thing for sure, whatever did this, it wasn't human. Oh no, it wasn't me. With my biting nerd power! <laughs> what do we do? <clears throat> Excuse me, that voice is killing me. They have the path completely blocked. Blocked. 
Jackie. Oh, Jackie's like the effeminate dude that runs the, the inn, right? I think? Or is that actually a female? I don't actually know. Whichever, it doesn't matter. Actually, Hanawa and the kids might be still stuck out there. Because of these knockdown trees blocking the way. Grr, I hate trees. Wait. What? <clears throat> even, if, even if it's not the most direct path, we should try to look for another way around. It's probably the best if we split up in a few groups. I'll go this way with my mighty biceps! <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Oh, hey. No, that was Isaac. Excuse me. It's Isaac. Hey. That was, uh, what do we call it? What was fucking, uh, oh, he was Cowboy. Have you found Hanawa and the kids? Lighter. You sure you're good enough shape to be out here? I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like some injured clod. Yeah, I don't think I can do the smoker's voice. It's actually fucking killing me. Hey, what's up, O-Snap? She's at work right now. I'll just do a New Yorker voice instead, because it's, like, actually killing my throat. And I don't want to kill my throat if I have to do this. <clears throat> we'll take care of things here. You keep pushing on ahead, Flint. What you got, Boney? Bork, bork, bork. Bjork, 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 bjork. Bork, bjork. Who was J Jonal's the guy on the right, right? Yeah. What is it, Boney? What is it, Boney? Flint! I think Boney found something. I'm the only one in my unit today? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Boney. Oh, look up there! There's a scrap of cloth! Do you see it? There's a bit of red right over there. What is it? There's something on top of this cliff? Old man Wes, what are you doing here? Sorry to say, but there's not, nothing an old rickety man like you can do to help us out. Yes, you can. Help me, Wes. Oh, Flint! Don't tell me you were not climbing this cliff! I know how you feel, but scaling this cliff face is just too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it would help any, but let's get him here so we can try. I need to borrow Boney for a bit. Red, it's there, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Boney? Bring my son back here. My son's name is a strange but nice guy with unexpected skills. Duster. We are back. Okay, I'll be here. His name is Duster. Got that? Here, have a sniff of this sock. Gah, that's ripe. Don't forget this smell now. Gah, that is ripe, all right. <laughs> Fucking Scooby Doo. That is ripe, all right. He just sounds like um, the Blanca thing from. Do you want some pancakes? I've tied a yellow ribbon on your collar. Show him the ribbon, and he'll know exactly what's going on. This is a cold let yellow. Now fetch. You can count on me. Popo, go. Go! My other hand isn't working. I can do this now. <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm sorry. I like fucking around with it a lot. I'm sorry. Things are gonna be okay. Because Popo on the scene. 100%. My fingers are working. It came today. Yes, it did. <laughs> I got it set up too. It's really cool. Look at all the presents in this house. I want some of those. <laughs> Boney doesn't know what to do because he's lazy. What the fuck voice do I do for Duster? 
Ah, fuck. Duster's like one of my favorite characters, too. I love Duster. <laughs> He's fucking like panting out of breath. Duster! At long last, it is time to put your thieves' skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now show the wall sta us your wall staples technique. Right here, right now. Don't be shy, just whip them out. Ah, fuck. What, what voice am I going to give Duster? Hmm. Fuck. I don't know, man. Like a gentle voice? Like I think like a kind of like a bored guy voice. Like you're just like kind of done with everything. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. Like kind of like just like a soft boy. What a drunk guy voice. He is not drunk. He has a he has an actual handicap. He is he has a gimp. His he has a bum leg. <laughs> he is not drunk. He's just lazy. There's a difference. This looks like a good al scalable area. <laughs> oh yeah, he has a yeah. Also wall staples because fucking wall staples. <laughs> Just like, like, I don't want to scale this cliff. Just put there, there. Perfect. Now let's climb. Alright, that should do it. Flint, be careful coming up. Kind of has like a little bit of an accent, but like not much. By the way, Boney can climb ladders, and it's the greatest thing that ever existed. <laughs> Looks like the rain stopped. I have a slight leg handicap, so I'll do my best. Please take me with you. Guy who is sick of everyone's shit, but soft. Advanced doggo. <laughs> Duster joined the party. Uh, what, is, what kind of stats did he start with? Okay. Not a lot of speed, but... Offense and defense is kicking some serious ass. I gotta make sure none of his equipment actually lower his stats. Like, that's a thing that happens in the randomizer. No, that's fine. Ordinary shoes are fine. Ares bracelet is fine. Cool. Save your game? Yes, of course. Of course I want to save my fucking game. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Same color as Nawa's dress. Got the scrap of cloth. Hey, Flint, there's someone over there. Over here. What are those? Are they human? <laughs> Voice acting is hard, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I had an itch on my leg. What are they doing? I'm trying to give, like, the main characters easier voices to do, because, like, fucking, if I have to do, like, a New York accent for, like, most of this game, I will fucking die. Zoom Moose, activate! The reconstructed caribou suddenly attacks. And here we have our first example of what we're going to be facing in this game on a pretty decently common basis. Uh, he has thief tools. I think I could staple it down. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, hi. Reconstructed caribou can't move. Damn, this song is hard. Reconstruct a caribou can't move. Reconstructed Caribou broke free of the wall stables. Generated a burst of steam, which is wasting a turn. Oh, he's dead. We beat the shit out of him. 
Staples, I thought it finished Sticker Star. <laughs> Look at that chonker. <laughs> Chowg. The reconstructed caribou stopped moving. It's caribou or caribou? 112 experience, nice. Got experience. It was a good experience. All right, pig fuck. Now you're now you're next. Wimps. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose-like mark on the cover. Give it a read. Yeah. Flynn picked up the notebook and read it. The following is written in poor handwriting. Uh, yeah, I think for all of the fucking um, for all of the 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 pigs, I'm just gonna do like fucking New York, fucking like New Jersey accent, like fucking. You know, whatever. Like, that kind of shit. The shit that I do when I'm, like, really mad. All creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. The theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that and create a whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dubbed it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. Got the pig mask marked notebook. Bye, bitch. <laughs> it's fucking Sticker Star. Sticker Star, you know what? It's funny. Sticker Star really didn't turn out to be that bad. Final Fantasy II was a fucking chore. But Sticker Star didn't actually end up being that bad. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm a hand. That's the wrong hand, by the way. There we go. Fingies. I like the fingies. I'm going to fuck around with the fingies so much, like when I'm streaming. All right. Well, we beat a reconstructed caribou. Let me save real quick. Mm hmm. Type of game? Fuck yeah. Did you just use fingies? No. <laughs> yeah, I got fingies. I have fingies! Oh my god. Yeah, I have fingies now. I got fingies. I can. I can do okay. I can point. Finger guns. And I can. Hi. I have both, but I'm holding the controller in my other hand, so unless I put that down, it's kind of hard to, uh... What do you guys say, Wes? I'm glad the thieves are... I'm glad the thieves are... Oh, wait, what was he? He was like a weird old man. I'm glad thieves are proved useful. But the problem still hasn't been solved. I'm old. <laughs> this is my old... I hope I sound like that when I'm old. Jonel. Who the fuck was Jonel? Oh, that was the guy. Flynn! Flynn, yeah! He's unlocking more of his body. You're not wrong. Also, I feel a sneeze coming on, but I'm not sure if it's coming. Hang on. <laughs> no, it's shy. It's, it's a little shy. Is it shy? I don't know. Guys, I'm scared. It's coming. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> we found we found the kids. Seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Boney. You just hurry and see him. Come, Boney. Sneeze. It's yeah. It's not. It's not happening. My kids. That fucking owl saved my game. Hop. Yes, of course. Save my game. Hop. I just save a lot in this game. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Abbott. I don't think we have a voice for Abbott yet. Oh, half. Oh, oh, Flint Duster. We'll give him like you know redneck voice kind of. This way, this way! Because he kind of has, he kind of looks like a little bit rednecky. Oh, I gotta give Lucas a voice. I guess I'll just give him like a small kid voice, I just realized. Dad. I made some in a tea, Flint. Please have some, it'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm, too. Thank goodness they're okay. What a relief. We haven't found Hinawa yet, but for now, you should warm yourself by the fire. Uh, if you keep this up, You'll end, wind up worse than off than her. 
I guess they still haven't found Hanawa. Where the heck could she be? It seems they both fell in the river and got washed downstream. Poor little things. Dad. Moms. Moms. Flint! I'm just gonna do like deep guy, but I can't do like the smoker voice. Flint! I'm not sure what to say. But just stay calm and hear me out. I have good news, and I have bad news. Which do you want to hear first? No. Let me start with the good news first. I picked up a Drago Fang. It'll make a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news... The bad news is... It's it's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in your... It was pierced through your wife's heart. Flynn, just try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because Hanawa risked her life to save it, to protect them. Flint. sure what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. Lint, what are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching. No one's ever been thrown into Tasmili jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Flint, you gave Ollie and Abbott a real wallop, but they're all right now. About Hinawa, I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack somebody? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in there for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago Fang was, was stuck in Hanawa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. 
When you get out of here, come and drop by my place and get it. Don't forget now. Oh, you're back and you missed the first. Yeah, it's, yeah. You missed the first big said. No problem here. Lock is rusted. This appears to be an unused for a long time. There we go. Dad, it's me, Kloss. I told Lucas to come too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm going to leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but... The core. The core might be too hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to get so strong that Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I... Eat the apple? Yeah. Well, that's an image. Indeed. Oh, you think it's just an image? Okay. Flint got the apple. Inside the apple, there was a hand file. Got the hand file. The lock is rusted. Use the hand file to break the lock. Yeah. Like the image of a kid crying at their mom's grave. Hand Kyle became unusable. That music. Flint. I'm really not sure what to say. What happened to Hanawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. And now his burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything I can do for you, you just let me know any time. Frof. Save your game. Please be careful out there. Give your regards to the next frog you meet. Froff. Oh, that's right. We're up a little bit further. There's a nut there. I don't really need it, though. Another old, another old man voice. Here we go. Mr. Flint. This was such a terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it right now. When the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top-notch grave, it is. Dad, I thought you said anything could come true. As long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts, Mom can't even punish me anymore. I don't want it like this. A uh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while, but I rushed straight here after I heard about Hanawa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Why is that the biggest thing you know, Lucas? I don't know, man. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was going to see you, but then never came back. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas! 
It's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after the detestable Drago to try to. N no, he didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go to the mountains to tr try to kill the Drago. Ah, it's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Flint. Does Klaus honestly think a homemade knife can tell a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you try to stop him? Well, I, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go, you fool! Yep, totally didn't do that at all, yeah. Maybe that was a little harsh of me, Flint. It sounds like, oh my god, I just realized who I have the voice in like five minutes. I hope you guys are ready. I'm so sorry in advance. It sounds like Klaus is headed into the mountains to kill a Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be an ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're going to need some proper equipment for this. Get a weapon that can fight Dragos and then hurry to my place. Uh, who? Um, whomst. Because there's multiple of them. Come get me at my house when you've gotten yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, ask old... Then have old maps and mark it on the map for you. I think he's in the town square. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Come to the town square and stay a while and fucking listen. I won't suplex Lucas, not this day, but tomorrow he's getting a beating. Let's go get that, uh, Drago Fang. <laughs> So how, is, how is everybody enjoying depression? I'm doing good. I didn't cry yet. I almost did twice. Oh, that's right. There's Thomas's Bazaar as well that we can go to. What does my inventory look like? Cool. Let him recharge his tears so he can reap them. <laughs> so Thomas's Bazaar should be random. Is that a fucking fish? Is that a hot dog? That's a nut. Uh, you want to take this? No. Oh, okay. I don't need a nut. That's a running bomb. Oh, uh, yeah. Take that. You can just take these, by the way. They're free. Righto. Anything else makes... There's no problem here. Is that a fish? It's a flea charm. Hell yeah. This is free because, like, Tazmilly doesn't know money in... and, like, shit like that. Uh, oh my god! The flea charm is broken as fuck! Yep, I'm invincible. Cool. Why do you have a nut and a running bomb in the same stuff? <laughs> Shh. Don't worry about it. Hey, what's up? Flint, I just... Just take this and go. It's the Drago. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. It's the only thing that can pierce the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Yay. I am very worried now. It's fine. This game is definitely not sad at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Take it, bitch! What? <laughs> Alright, cool. Now we gotta go to Alex's house, which is all the way up there. Oh, they actually marked it automatically for me. That's cool. Because I didn't even talk to Mapson. Mapson definitely did not mark that. Hi. Save your game? Of course I will. I don't want to do any of these voices again. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. This game is not sad at all. Main character's mother dies in the first chapter. I mean, the, the, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Tall boy. Moving at incredible speeds. Do not worry about it. It'll be fine. I have antidotes and stuff, so I should be okay. <laughs> ah! Bug. The mice. Oh. You encountered a greedy mouse. He's using a biting attack. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna fucking whoop him. He's just a mouse. What the fuck? And their eyes are so- wait, why the fuck is that guy so tall and his eyes- don't worry about it. You'll find out about it, baby. Shh, it's okay. The game is gonna- the game will reveal itself in due time. So there is a secret enemy you can fight here. Um, get the fuck away from me. 
There is a secret enemy you can fight here. Um, it's very, very rare. It spawns where the yam monsters are. I forget what the actual name of it is, but if you beat it, you get a metric shitload of experience. Oh good, two of them. Ow. Stop it. Used a biting attack. Of course he did. Damn it. Oh, he's dead. Flint does not have a lot of speed, but he's got some power. That guy is about to be Satan himself. Whomst? Oh, that guy? No, he's fine. He's a good boy. If you're strong enough, by the way, kind of like an Earthbound, where you get like those one-hit KO um, attacks... Oh, Bushy! Don't hurt Bushy. Bushy generated fresh air. Felt refreshed. Good. Bushy generated fresh air again. Good. Bushy greeted everyone, everyone politely, and then left. Thank you, Bushy. Bye. <laughs> this game is fucking weird. Oh, fuck. I passed this house. Shit. I gotta go up first. And then we go over here. Boing, boing, boing. Boing. Mm -hmm. Gotta dodge all the enemies. Hey, no, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, I ambushed him. Nice. That was an interesting encounter. Bushy is good. Bushy is a good boy. You don't hit Bushy. Oh, I thought I would have killed him. That killed him. Yeah, that's a cool... Bushy is very good. Bushy's a very good boy. He's very good. You do not... You don't fuck with Bushy. He'll cry. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. Kind of, like, juked him. Gotta keep the jukes up. Fuck! Yay! It's Bushy! Jesus Christ. I feel like if you hit them, they die instantly. Not- they actually have a decent amount of HP, but they never fight back. They just heal you. Bushy is literally there just to heal you. My kindness went up by two. Nice. I am kinder than I ever have been. Fuck, I stopped running because of that. The flying mouse. That fucking- those fucking wings are gross. Ah, fuck. I don't know what the beat is this one is. It doesn't matter, he's dead. I meant you. Oh, if you hit them, you're dying instantly. Oh, you mean like I would die? No, they don't fight back. <laughs> I don't think they fight back, at least. I don't think I want to find out. That's like a fuck around and find out moment. Don't. <gasps> there he is! There he is! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Fuck! That was it. That was that was the that was the secret that that boy right there. There he is! Get him! Yeah, fuck yeah! You encountered the Beanling! Tried PK fire? What? Oh god. Oh! Ow! Wah! Uh. 500 fucking experience. Yeah, that's a rare encounter. There's another one that you can fight later. Um, I don't think I've ever had that encounter on stream before. Uh, there's another one you can fight later that's even rarer. Yeah, I'm gonna level up a few times because of that, I think. Not once. Yeah, that that is extremely rare. They replaced one of the encounters of the Yam monsters. If you if you're lucky enough to have them. Wait, what? Did it not say I had to go here? Oh, it's circled there because God damn it, I was going the right way. It's circled because that was the last thing they circled on my map. God, God damn it. Oh, he's there again. Fuck. Beanling. That's supposed to be rare. Why the fuck does he happen? Like, why the fuck does that happen every time? That's that's supposed to be super fucking rare. But it would do. Boom, boom. Trying to middle gear out of here. Ah, ah! He's still coming. I was going the right way. I knew I was going the right way. I played this game before. I played video games. There's Bushy again. And there's these fucking things. Uh, this way, right? Yeah. They don't really move, but if you attack one of them, boy howdy, that's a mistake. Ah, Froggo. Hello. Save my game. Hop, yes. In the same place, too. Yeah, that was fucking weird. Maybe he just... That, maybe that's, like, his spawn point? I don't know. Like, because you're not supposed to go that way, technically, so maybe the regular bean link spawns... There. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no thanks. Wild boars. Ah! Uh, this way? This way, yeah. 
Look at all these fucking Drago marks. <gasps> oh, fuck. There he is. He fell over! Yeah, he sure did. Some of the enemies in this game are very good boys. Just, just as a warning. They are very good. Uh, this way. Hey, yeah, like I've got a knife. The smelliest of boys. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. I kicked some serious ass on my way back here. Every time you defeat an enemy, I just imagine you kick the shit at them and it goes flying. You just like kick it as hard as you can. One of those bizarre creatures flying around. That mouse thing with bug wings. Seems one bit me right on the head too. I've healed up perfectly fine though. No, 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 no. None of that matters. I know where Klaus might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Here we go. Let's head there right now. Whew. So... Yeah. Yep. I have a picture of these, um... These people behind me, actually, on my wall. Flint. When I said froggy intelligence, you would probably thought, What? Didn't you? Frogs work for my friends as messengers. My friends are able to talk to frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard in the distance? For, see that lizard in, for instance, excuse me. We just need to go in the direction it tells us. Fucking arrow lizard, I love him. <laughs> Flint. You have doubts about this friends of mine, don't you? My friends, no. Friends, known as the Magypsies. They've lived in isolation away from civilization for a very, very long time. Okay. I am a lizard. I will show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. There he goes. Cool. I know where I have to go. I'm just, I just like the lizard a lot. He's a very good boy. There's a lot of good boys in this, so I think I just have to go down to, like, basically, like, south of me, where that little, like, alcove is. Most of the encounters are gone, too. Flint. I see you're wa not walking as fast now. I am full sprinting. It seems the word Magypsies has made you curious. Not really. Magypsies have mysterious powers and have been protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Each and every one of them. That's how they are. They are good-natured, though. Fuck. <laughs> mole. Immediate mole. He threw a rock at me. Ow! Fuck! Get out of here! Oh, I didn't kill him. Alec is concerned about his lower back pain. You hate to see it. Oh, my back! He tried to tickle me. Fuck. Fuck you. Don't ever do that. That's fucking illegal. <laughs> that shit is illegal. Then we left behind a present. There was some net bread. Talk to take him to the chiropractor. I don't think that's an option, but okay. I mean, I would if I could. I don't think it is. Froggies. Wrong. I am the wrong frog. Right. I am the right frog. Frog. The right frog. No tickling. Six feet, fucko. Yeah, exactly. Still a fucking pandemic go on, going on. There's no tickling allowed. It's time for frog, by the way. No problem here. <laughs> Some of the dumbest shit. Frof. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I need everyone to begin bracing themselves if they actually have not seen this game before for some... stuff. I need you to brace. Clench a little bit if you can, too. Oh, hot spring. Uh, should I use that? I probably should, because I got fucked up by that one thing. It's not that weird, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty strange. It's a little strange. It's a little strange, but it's fine. It's something that is fine and good, uh, but um, it's a little jarring for people when they first see them. 
but I think they're great. I have a picture of them on my wall. Like, right behind, like, literally, like, right back, hang on, maybe I get my hand working? Like, right behind me. Like, like that way, a little bit. The strange thing, I thought it was a sad thing. Oh, no, this is a fucking weird thing. Get ready. I gotta voice these motherfuckers. I can't wait. <laughs> God damn it. You know exactly what voice I'm going to do, too. Prepare for the weird. The music is fantastic, too. Uh, ooh, we got a little stutter there. Oh, welcome, you scary-looking gentleman. Is that Alec? It is. It is good to see you, Snookums. Oh, drag queens? Yeah. I mean, no. They're, they're not... They're not a man or a woman. So I feel like no. But also, yes. It's that... I don't know, man. They're, they're not... They're not gendered. So no. But also, kind of. It's not... It's only weird because the game tries to make it weird, and it's not weird. It's just jarring for some people. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude, Ionia. Introduce us. I just said hi to you, and you just didn't give a fuck. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend, Alec. And who's this with you? Flint, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Well, let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Magypsies. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the afro kind of works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're fantastic. I love these characters. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. We have Aeolia, then there's Doria, Figria, Lydia, and that one over there is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locria. You can call me Ionia. Hmm? Can't You can't remember all that. Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Alecky Poo? Yeah, I would say the game goes a bit out of the way to make it weird. Well, because in Japan, there's a word for it where, like, there's a, there's a, it's not drag queen. There's a different thing. And I forget what it's called, but they consider that strange. Whereas, like, in America, drag queens... Like, that's, like, kind of the terminology for that kind of stuff. And it's not, like, cross-dressing, basically. And it's not really considered, well, it depends on the person, I guess. But it's not really considered, like, that, like, it's not, like, considered weird here. I think that's the difference. It's a, it's a cultural thing. I don't give a fuck. You dress however the fuck you want, as long as you look good. I don't give a fuck. You slay. Slay. <laughs> it's been a what? Oh, that's, that's, that's not a gypsy. It's been a while. I'm glad to see you're all well. I hear you helped my grandson Klaus. Yas, queen. <laughs> yas. <laughs> Do you know where he might have went? Oh, you mean the rambunctious little squirt from a while ago? Then I suppose that this Flint fellow was his father. Hmm... Yes, I see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So, what about Klaus? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him away with some super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. So, he left then. And you didn't stop him? What if he does, what if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We could care less about you humans. You're one minute gone the next. You poor things barely have live a hundred years. If that. That's a blink of an eye for us, but gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Oh, now, now. Mixolydia Frigria. Humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Alecky Poo? I understand how you feel, I really do. It's like having a dog, except it's a human. <laughs> Wait, are they not human? No. No, they're not. They're not male, female, they're not human. They're just... here. And you accept them. <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> I don't care if you understand or not, just tell us where Klaus went. 
The boy headed for Draco Plateau, quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you might just be able to catch him. Draco Plateau, you say? Flint, let's hurry there. Bye, ladies, men, gentle, woman, bye. Well then, noted. They're not, yeah, they're not, they're... They're like... I don't want to say like creatures, but because he said they're not creatures either. They're like, definitely like... They make them mysterious on purpose, I think. Also, I am firmly convinced that, besides obviously the thing that happened earlier, this might be one of the major reasons this doesn't get ported over here. Because, like, obviously America is fucking stupid. So, like, you know. <laughs> you know how that do. Flint, the quickest way to the Drago Plateau is through the cave behind this house. Klaus has probably went through there to get to the cave too. Uh, probably went through that cave too. A tongue tied. Sorry, it's my back pain. There's nothing to worry about, Flint. But you're going to get very. You're not going to get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? No. Come on, now that's no good. Smile and relax. <laughs> do you understand? No. Yep, dumb, dumb. Yeah, exactly. They're just stupid. So that's I, I feel like that is one of the reasons. Because to be fair, Final Fantasy V didn't come here, and one of the major reasons that didn't come here at the time was because Faron is a cross-dresser. Faron is a woman that dresses up like a man. But there's a reason for that. Because she was raised by pirates, and if she was exposed as a woman, that could be fucking bad. So, like, it wasn't even for, like, pleasure's sake, it was for survival. She pretended to be a boy. So, like, but that was one of the reasons it never came here. That's why it went from four to six, or two to three, technically, in America. It's dark in here. Flint. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through this, been through this here many, many a time. I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. Well, more importantly, that super serious look on your face will bring us all trouble. Gotta relax, understand? Yep. Yep. Yeah, no. It's just, it's, it's stupid. It's just dumb. Just fuck. Keep going west at this fork. We go north here. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and jump right down. Yeah, pretty Don't good. worry about it. Oh, thank you for the resub, Mike. What's up, Zai? How's it going? S six month streak. God damn! How times have changed. Indeed, yeah. Well then, damn you Americans. I mean, yeah. No, you're not wrong. You're absolutely not wrong. Five wasn't really released until the PS1 version part of the collection. Yeah, and that's like, yeah. It was way later. Hole! I broke my leg. Ah, oh, fuck. Flint. Follow the southeast passage. Oh, Flinty Pool. That was my Bajipsy impression. Do you like it? Relax, relax. I'll tell you this one in, in advance. Head south the next time the path forks. Head west from here. No, there's a present. No problem here. There's a present. Mystical gloves, but you can't carry any more stuff. Fucking, I want mystical gloves. Fuck, dude. Uh, let's eat a nut. Nut! Delicious. Fuck. Some mystical gloves. I don't think I can use those. I think that's a different weapon. It's a chicken! Gloves that emit a rainbow color aura. Lovely. We will allow people to watch insane amounts of violence, no problem. God forbid a woman dresses as a man. Yeah, no, fuck that. Apparently. It's so stupid. Wait! Was that you? Just kidding, it was me. <laughs> Snell it, bitch! Got him. Cool, leveled up too. Enemy left behind a present. There was some nut bread, but Flint can't carry any more stuff. Do you want to throw something out? No. Then give up on the nut bread? Yeah. You gave up the nut bread. Please don't. Hold on a second. There's a mole behind me. I've been so forgetful later. Which one was it? Was it north? Pretty sure it was north right here. I'm pretty sure there's a vine north of me. We need to vine. We need to vine it and climb up it. And now we have to fight this mole because I had to stop us. 
shit. Oh, Alec attacked. Goddamn, killed him. Fucking murdered him. And we left behind a present. There was some nut bread inside, but I can't fucking carry it. No. Give up the nut bread? Yeah. Yup, conservatism. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid. I'm gonna go this way, because I know you're wrong. The fact that there's a vine here means that my directions for just now, right now are wrong. Sorry. Want me to say a pun or something? There's a, that's a special line of dialogue you get for knowing that he's wrong that time. North here. Head north. Flinty pie. Don't be so embarrassed. <laughs> that rock is moving. We're as good as there. Now we've just now we made it this far. We just need to head up to upward and climb up some vines. The vine goes up because they're divine. Come on, it's just a pun. There's a mole over there. I see you. I'm aware of you. Oh, fuck. We're doing it. It's Mr. Batty again. Ah! <laughs> and then he's gone. Rock. It's okay. No, it's fine. And we left find a present. There was nap bread, but he can't carry any more stuff. No! Yeah! Vine. Eh. Vine. I like how it's like a Mario vine. Oh, neat. We're here now. There's rocks. They are sentient. What's in here again? A frog. Hello, frog. Save your game. Yeah. Thank you. Do I go through? Oh, you do go through here, yeah. And what's in here? Eye drops, but I can't carry any more stuff. I don't think I'll need eye drops, so that's fine. Hi, what's up, fuckers? They're like, shit, we were just playing Atari! How many fines can we give them for these puns? I'm not sure. In only a few seconds, the instant vital revitalization machine fully revitalizes you! Go into the instant revitalization machine? Of course I would. Why the fuck wouldn't I? Also, uh, Ari noted this the last time I played this, that it's literally just a fall guy. Like, in the, in the fucking instant revitalization machine. I know it's supposed to be a pig nose, but fuck, dude. I don't think there's anything else in here but that encounter. I, yep. <laughs> yep. Boop. And then they pissed off again. I, why? <laughs> I don't know. It's like shit that I can't unsee, so I have to ruin it for everyone else. Like, clearly it's supposed to be a pig nose, but, like, you know. I had to ruin it, because fuck it. Um, oh, hi. You're terrifying. A Titania suddenly attacked. Damn it. Brandis' pincers. Ow! <laughs> and now he's dead. Now all I see is those pill-shaped heathens. <laughs> It's like the fucking, um, it's like the fucking Among Us shit that's been going around. And, like, everything is Among Us. That is a fucking bird in a tree. No! Okay, cool. He was cool about it. Don't worry. Oh, hi. You're here. Hello, Satan. I don't know what the beat is of this song. <laughs> Alec urged Flint to be careful. Fuck you, Dad! Among Us. Yeah, Among Us. Every time, like, there's, like, an... Oh, my God. Did you guys see, like, the thing, the game that's clearly just Among Us, that someone was trying to make it, like, not Among Us, and then, like, they showed the characters, and the characters are clearly just fucking Among Us? Like, have you seen... I forget what the fuck that was. It wasn't, like, one of the shitty mobile games. It was, like, a legit game that was on Steam. And, like, they were like, oh, it's, like, Space Guys or something, and then they fucking... And then they fucking, like, it was, like, clearly just a clone of Among Us that was shitty. It's just funny, because Among Us is actually quite an old game. Wait, I think I might have. You know what I'm talking about, right? There was, like, there was an actual game that was on Steam, and it got a lot of flack because it was just, like... And then they, like, they, they had, like, a trailer, and it showed the characters, and it's clearly just fucking Among Us. <laughs> Except it's, like, different and shittier looking. Like, just, just fuck, dude. Baby Drago. He eat. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then he hop. He's adorable. He is an orb. This is one of Klaus's favorite shoes. This belongs to Klaus. And that was a baby Drago just now. Klaus must be around here somewhere. And shoeless got a child's shoe. Also a blue box. What is here? Alarm cicada. Okay, I don't need an alarm cicada. Fuck tree! <laughs> that tree still looks like it's flipping you off. Also, these things explode. The tree used a vacuum attack. He sucked. Fuck. Mash it. Mash. Ah! Jesus. It, like, froze. I don't know why it keeps freezing up like that. I have an idea, but, like, I don't know if I want to fix it. I'll fix it when I get to a save point. Oh, that's always good. Fuck! Also a frog. Y'all stealing children's stews? Yes. Fuck. He sucked. Fuck. Ow. Please stop making me take mortal damage, it hurts. So, in case anybody didn't know, this, this game takes very, very, very big advantage of the rolling health system from um, Mother 2, or Earthbound. Nice, Alec attacked. Try violently we burst into flames, and then we mash because we're dying, and then I'll probably eat a nut bread after this or something. Flint leveled up. Nice. Uh, nut cookie. Delicious. Restored a lot. I think it restored a lot more than it was supposed to. Yeah, it did. So the item descriptions are bullshit, too. Oh, shit. Hang on. This could be something good. Lucky rice? Fuck yeah! I love Lucky Rice. It's Klaus's other shoe. He must have been throwing shoes at something. This game handles the rolling hell so much better, especially defenses at huge speed down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's really good. Klaus, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? Oh, fuck! Also, hi, Mike. Look, I could look. Hi. I got hands. Is that? What is that? That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. Also, something really cool to note about the sprite, in case it isn't apparently obvious, it's missing a fang. I, I, a lot of people, um, it's easy to miss. It's missing, it's missing a fang. So, this is a gimmick fight. Flint grasps the Drago knife tightly and pounced on the Mecha Drago. It pierced the Mecha Drago's tough hide. The Mecha Drago let out a howl. Mecha Drago bellowed a war cry. Cool. Alec attacked. Oh, damn. Drago, yep. Mecha Drago stomped with its giant foot. We have so much defense, though, and Alec is concerned about his lower back pain. Damn it. Mecha Drago used a biting attack. The smash threw me off. Shout out flames. That's a bad one. Ow! Stomped with his giant foot, but he missed. Stomped with his giant foot. Ow, stop. I've never seen Alec attack this much, though. I feel like he's more likely to attack during this battle. Gimmick fights? Again. Why are we still in Sticker Star? <laughs> oh, 
that's the bad one. Might have to heal. Ow. I'm concerned about my lower back pain, too. Eat the nut bread. Damn, that did a lot. Use the biting attack. I feel like that would fucking hurt a lot. Drago tried one last attack. Flint took mortal damage. The Mecha Drago has become tame. Flint, don't do it. That won't solve anything. You'll only make its child grow through what Klaus and Lucas had to. It is possible that up until now, the people of Tasmili Village have never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who, would, with, who had would share with those who had not. However, it appears that the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? When did... Where did it begin? What set it in motion and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people, like Flint, have even had their families torn apart. So what is this suspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie objects that thwar, soar through the once beautiful skies? Where could the missing Klaus be? The mysteries continue to pile up, and so the, t first, the tale first begins as a tragedy. Yes. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Of course. Chapter 1 End Flint. I'm really not sure what to say. What happened to Hinawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. And now his bur burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, you, pl you just let me know any time. I wonder where he could be. Duster. Thanks. Chapter 2, Thief Adventure. Oh, it time. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I just want to let everyone know that anyone is trying to, like, come to terms... Oh, oh, that's the wrong head. Anyone is trying to come to terms with, like, everything that just happened, I just want to let you all know that that was the fucking first chapter of this game. <laughs> so, like, you know. And I think there's, like, eight. So, like, enjoy. <laughs> Duster. I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. How many chapters? There's eight. There's fucking eight. So enjoy. Listen. The time has come. No, this is not something I've been looking forward to. So what you're saying is this is going to be a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. You got it, boss. It's all you. I had hoped the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But you and I have constantly been constantly been preparing for this day, an event that it did come. So it, ap it appears we finally have the chance to try out what I've taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown, but we must now change that. Cha we must now change the way we live. Are you prepared? Yeah. Duster, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a mission. I love my hands. There they are. Ha! Ha! Okay, cool. You will sneak into Oso Castle. There, you will find a certain important object and bring it back here. As for what the certain important object is, no, there's no need for me to tell you. If a thief can't determine the value of what is what he steals, he's a disgrace to the profession. Still, would you like to know a little about it? No, I'm a professional. Come on now, you need to be a little bit more inquisitive, you fucking just told me not. Hands, or well, pause. Yes, indeed, pause. I was just about to give you a hint and everything. You want to hear it? No. Come on now, you be... <laughs> okay, we're looping. Estoy looping. Yeah. But thou must. It's a very important looking item. It's, like, all shiny. Yeah. I will say no more than that, because I don't fucking know. Estoy pooping, yeah. In the basement, you'll find items I've prepared for you. The seven mystical thief tools. No, wait. Were there seven? Ah, whatever. Take them with you. They will prove useful during the battles with enemies. So what does he have in his inventory? Cool. Duster mm -mm -mm -mm. opens the present, got the Hypno Pendulum. Duster opened the present and got the Tickle Stick. Duster opened the present, got a scary mask. These are not randomized, by the way. Duster opened the present, got a smoke bomb. Duster opened the present, got a siren beetle. Super important hit. Please listen to it. It's just shiny. That's it. Just fucking go. Go follow it. Go fucking find it right now. It's shiny. Go! <laughs> I did it. Hidden inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of my emulator freezing. Back when the King of Oso still lived in that castle. Yes, I believe that was when it was. Anyway, back then, I hid a treasure where no one would ever lay eyes upon it. It felt like it was too too much even for the King of Oso to handle, so, or so I recall. And as of a yet unknown enemy may try to acquire it. Under, under normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me, but... Duster. I feel competent. I feel confident that you've hammered away your techniques. I, I've hammered every technique I know into you. So try to accomplish the mission for yourself. Understand? And when you go in outside, check behind the house. I've hidden a mystical thief tool-like item there. Why do I hide it, them all separately like that? That's what I'd like to know. Refill the, I refill the box every once in a while when I feel so inclined. So keep, your, keep that in mind. Just do it. Just keep it. Keep it in mind. Let's see what it is. I know what it's supposed to be, but let's see what it is. It's a chick bit. It's a chic bandana. Nice. Oh. It gives me a fuckload of HP. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks. Also, it's a chic bandana that's literally a, like, fucking, <laughs> like, tofu, I think. Yeah, so even when he runs, he kind of has a gimp. He has a leg uh, handicap. That's Mapson. We don't need him. Yep, tofu. <laughs> yeah. I forget, can you go to the bazaar or is the bazaar closed? It's closed. Pretty laid out, so it would be best not to bother people. Yeah, you're not wrong. 
Time to go to Oso Castle. Oh, fuck. Um... Huh. Oh, pardon me. I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna give him, like, the spy boys. I'm sorry. But we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Actually, no, he needs to be Wario. Come now, little monkey. We should be off. Egg salad! He has to be Wario. He's a gimpy boy, but he also kick attacks, which is amazing. Yep. He needs to be fucking Wario. He needs to be Wario. I don't make the rules. Oh. Chunky boy? Duster! If you promise not to tell anybody, I'll tell you something. It, you, it, I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check this bag out. What do you think's inside? Money! There's money inside! Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tazbilly Village before. But apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh. Oh, the traveler gave it to me in exchange for my pigs! Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. It's fucking weird. And then he asked me in tears if I'd trade him for this. It seemed pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a he's definitely a friend worth having. I would still be amazed if he was a Spanish character, especially Yeah. Wow <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with, so I'm gonna hide it in this well here. Cause I'm a fucking idiot. Duster, this is a secret just between you and me. I'll fucking take my money. Obtained 50,000 DP of money. But you put it back. Save your game? Of course. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm going to see if I can fix that problem. Hang on one second. I think I know what keeps freezing it. It also might be ba make battles harder, so let's find out. There we go. V-Sync was on. Wow, way to be a good person. I mean, he I mean, he obtained it, and then he put it back, so... Oh no, the boys are being deployed. Gotta be quick. Oh shit. I just remembered this part. This is a reference to Mother uh, 2. Oh, Duster. I'm alive. Oh, yeah? Didn't I die? More, more. I want to live more. Oh my, is that you, Duster? Look how you've grown. Oh, there's so much of you that I could eat for three days and three nights and still have leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A zombie man and its cohort suddenly attacked. Fuck. I was gonna say, I have a pretty decent amount of defense, so being absent-minded, cool. Most of them just are kind of zombies. Got him. Time for a zombie. Yes, indeed. Damn mobile. <laughs> it's okay. Understandable.
So it seems that Duster's got somebody else's attack animation, because Duster's is usually a bass guitar. I know whose, but we won't say yet. Duster earned 100 experience, is now level 9. He has a lot more. He has a lot more health than that. And a blight. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? You sure do love to walk around <laughs> at night, don't you? Oh, that's right, I gotta talk to him again. Hey, can I have the key to your house? Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, no, I know. I remember what I gotta do. I always forget. You have to go see the, the, the gates up. I'm getting ahead of myself because I played this game before. <laughs> Eat. Yes, the vor is real. Gates up. Auntie Ant Ant. From nowhere in particular, you hear a voice, and that voice is mine. Watch where you're stepping, will you? I'm like standing right here. I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. I've been watching you fight for a while, and I just can't take it anymore. You fucking suck. Fights are all about rhythm. You know, like boom, 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 and stuff. While you're in battle, there's a very specific rhythm that matches the enemy's beat. Pick up on that rhythm, and your victory will be yours. If you're really good, you can even pull off a 16-hit combo. Hereby name these sound battles. Thank you very much. Yup, boom boom. <laughs> you know the one. Fuck, zombie dog. Oh, fuck, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> there was a zombie dog, and that fucking thing just started walking at me. Hello. Save your game? Of course. Of course I will. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Some magic gloves? That's not gonna fucking help me at all. An awesome crown? That's actually a really good item, but I doubt it's gonna be that good now, is it? Oh, I can't even wear it. Pippi! Yeah, I can't even wear that. And I can't wear the gloves, right? Yeah. That's just a thunder... So that's like a paralyzation cure, I think? Well, that's nothing for me. Excuse me while I just go into your secret lair. My lair? Oh, fuck! <laughs> he jumped at me. A detached leech is the attack. It's a biting attack. Of course it does. <laughs> okay, I was getting the beat and everything, and then it's like, you just kicked it. These things are pretty easy, anyway. And we left behind a present. There was an edible mushroom inside. What? Let's see what the icon is for that. It's a fucking steel rod. Restores about 20 HP. Cool. Oh, there's this boy. By the way, watch him really closely when he runs away. Oh, he didn't do it. Shit. Let me see. Does he do it now? Do it! It'll be funny. Damn it. He doesn't... Do it! It's funny! There he goes. <laughs> can I equip the yo-yo? I love his legs. Oh, I can. Oh, shit. That's a... Wow. Okay, so a shitload of defense. But it makes me, like, bad at a lot of other things, though. But it gives me a shitload of health. I think I'm okay for now. Huh? Did you see him? He has legs. He's a leggy boy. There he is. I love him. I love the fucking leg lobster. He's my favorite. Oh, shit. Leeches. Ah! You leeching hard or hardly leeching? Yeah. Stop biting me, it's rude. A leg stare? <laughs> the leg stare? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. The enemy left behind a present. There was. Oh shit, more edibles. This guy's kind of in my way. Oh, I, I iframed through him. Yeah, the leg thing is really funny to me. I don't know why. Anything with, like, really long gangle legs is usually fucking hilarious. I don't know why. Oh, there's present over there, though. Do I, I want the present because it's randomized. Ah, fuck, they all joined in. That's okay. This, these battles aren't hard. Okay. The leg stick. That's really good. Shit. That was really good. I didn't randomize the enemy sprites for a couple reasons. Uh, mostly because I like I like the enemies in this game, and I didn't want to like fuck them all up. So, uh, edible mushroom again, cool. Getting some healing items. What do we got here? 
A bag of pork chips. Delicious. Now I can get all the cholesterol that I need. The wall seems scalable. Climb up it? Fuck yeah. I love the fucking, like, <laughs> that he does. He's like, breathe. Staple the fuck out of that wall. Anti ant ant. Watch where you're stepping, will you? I'm standing right here, you know. I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. Looks like you haven't gotten the hang of breath. I've fucking literally been doing it, you tiny insignificant fuck. To really grasp the rhythm, you gotta learn an enemy's beat. Wait, you don't know how you can hear an enemy's heartbeat by putting it to sleep? Well, I knew. So you better know now, too. This ant is literally chat. Don't worry, though. You can still fight fine without doing this rhythm stuff, of course. That's all. Thank you very- thank you- thank you very much. You know, you can fight good if you're a fucking idiot. Hello, frog. No, I'm not a ghost frog. Shall I save your game? Are you sure? Have you checked if you're dead? Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Fuck the establishment! <laughs> and jump down? Yeah. And inhale. And then we build the thing back up. Yep. Woo, <laughs> vandalism, yeah. I mean, I'm not going back up, I'm just building it. So we have a, a way to get up. <laughs> What's in here? Damn it. I feel sick. He's burped at me. What a bitch. What does it say? You know that feeling where you just kind of bleh and you can't eat it at all? Well, that happens. A fresh mint will freshen you right up. Is this a fresh mint? It's a mosquito charm. The fuck mean? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, mosquito charm. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of defense. Also, it's a yo-yo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of rude. It's fine, though. There's another frog over here. And a box. There is a problem here. I want to open that box. Silver dragonfly. Don't know what the... I think that... Oh, I got a rare thing. So this, like, old man can sometimes be in any hot spring? Yes. He's, like, literally just here. He doesn't... It doesn't matter. He could be, like, anywhere. The ghost be bruppin'. <laughs> Relaxing the hot spring made me feel alive again. Also, hopefully not nauseous. Because I forget if that cures that. Oh, uh, I think it did. Yeah. Cool. I feel like sitting in a hot spring would make nausea worse. Oh, what do you have here? That's a fresh mint. It's rotten eclair. It's rot. And you got any rotten eclairs? If you have any rotten eclairs, I'll trade you for one of them. No. Oh, sorry to hear that. Things like in the last lifetime seem like as if they're so expensive. It's smart to buy as many as you can. <laughs> I gotta buy the snake. So I'm going to need you guys to give me some fucking eclairs. The stinky ghost is in cohort suddenly attacked. Ghost attack. Ow. He's stinky. I fucked up. Coughed up a terrible odor, and now I don't want to eat food. Cool. Okay, he's dead in two hits anyway. Got him. The stinky coast disappeared because you beat the shit out of him. I need some rotten eclairs, bro. Oh, fuck. Spiders. Spiders! Arachnid! And his cohort suddenly attacked. Stop it. I just love how there's actually a, a hit and a miss animation for every enemy, almost. And that was dead. 40 XP. Hell yeah. What's in here? A good stick. I don't think I can use that. I think that's a, uh, what do I call it? Item, yeah. It's a good stick, though. Quality. Get the fuck out of here, ghost. Got him. So, like, Duster can do some cool stuff that hasn't happened yet, but he can definitely do it. Um, 
much like, um, so when you get into a battle, he can attack with blinding speed, which means he just gets a free attack right off the bat. He can also, oh god, my boy was like having a fucking day there for a second. He can also, um, he can, um, if you get ambushed, he can jump behind the enemy, turning it into an ambush for you, which is pretty cool. My arm was flipping out. My arm was like, ah, hey, for a second. There's a rotten eclair. Nice. I need one more of those. Come at me, ghost. Stimpky ghost. So, reverse ambush. Yeah, you can, like, flip behind them. If you get ambushed, yeah. Literally a no-you card? Yeah. I don't know what stat it's based off of, though. He's dead. Yeah, and, and you can attack with blinding speed, even not on ambushes. Which is cool. Is there another ghost in here? I need to get an I need to get another Eclair. Oh hey, spiders. Spiders! That other one was like, oh shit, I'm fighting too. They die in one hit. So Duster is just speed. He is he is, yes. Um and I think a lot of those stats are based on his speed, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on that. My offense went up by one and my HP went up by seven. Cool. A battle memory, which is something that I don't... Does that take up inventory space? No. Oh, the ghost came back probably, yeah. I need to uh, get one more eclair. Duster attacked with blinding speed! Literally just happened. It just... It's like something that can be... He can take the first turn, basically. And we left behind a present. There was a rotten eclair. These are not randomized because you need these. That's a rope snake. It's incredibly popular these days. I'll trade you for one rotten eclair. Wait, one? It's usually two, isn't it? It's a bunch. Things like this last a lifetime, so even if it seems expensive, it's smart to buy as many as you can. Indeed. That's amazing. Rope snake. So if anybody's played Smash Brothers, that's Lucas's grab. Thanks. Looks like we both profited. Treasure it for the rest of your life. And I'm going to buy a mint. Yeah. Thanks. Looks like we both profited. Treasure it for the rest of your life. Because your life isn't going to last very much longer. Um, I don't really need that right now. I'm going to save it. It might not even actually cure what it's supposed to cure because of the randomizer. Now he's dead. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes, indeed. I mean, the 206 looks a pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. Rotten Eclair, cool. I got one. Those are useless other than just buying shit at the bazaar. Spiders! Oh, wow, they all just jumped me. I like how the, the, the spiders are literally just called Arachnid, but they have different numbers of explanation points at the end of their <laughs> name. It makes me laugh every time I see it. So I do have some thief tools. I don't really need to use them right now, but we'll use them mostly for boss battles. Uh, I can lower people's defense. I can lower people's offense. I can put people to sleep. I can blind people. I can staple them to the floor. I have a lot of options. That is Duster's special ability. Duster's like Jeff if Jeff started with everything that he had, basically. Oh, fuck. It's peculiar cheese, but I can't carry any more shit. Also, there's a photo. The artsy ghost attacked. Spoke passionately about art. Duster had a difficult time understanding. Tried PK Freeze Alpha. Ow. He's a very tough boy. He's dead now. Duster's ability, literally everything. He could do a lot of stuff. It's not guaranteed to work. This peculiar cheese. Do you want to throw something out? Yeah. Duster. Burr, 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 burr. Rotten Eclair. Yeah. And there's cheese in there as well. That's a rat. Run! Fuck. Some ghost armor suddenly attacked. Try to look cool. He 
threw a punch. Ow! Now he's dead. Throwing out Duster? What the fuck? No, I'm not throwing out Duster. I love Duster. Duster's my favorite boy. He's the best boy. 72 experience. I'm just fucking leaving. Oh, they're fast! I fucking love this game so much. So, I'm going to heal now because there is a secret boy that we could fight. Uh, let's eat a mushroom. HP's are maxed out. I think I could save if I go up the thing, maybe. Yeah. I just want to save. Oh, no. That's me at a party. Look, it's me in the corner. Party! Oh, sh oh shit, you're pregnant? Well, you hate to, I hate to, you hate to see it. Looks like this is a job for me. Hook me right under that candlestick. Go ahead, don't worry about me. I'm fine, I'm the rope snake. Fuck that hurt. Oh, that's that's where the there's a secret boss in there too. There's a lot of secret bosses. You can fight them whenever though. Save your game? Of course I will. You're the father. Well, that's interesting. Considering I haven't been out of my house in a year and a half. Picked up a pendant. Put it in my ass. By the way, really cool thing about these enemies, if you see them in the mirror, they actually have a boy on top of them. Do you see? They actually have the boy on top of them. A rockin' ghost suddenly attacked. charged. Ow! He's riding. He is riding. I thought you were the video game boy. I mean, I am the video game boy, but yes. I believe that's Aaron Hansen. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Mr. Dink Barrel. So this exists. Hello, Douglas! <laughs> Fucking... Who the fuck doesn't? Who the fuck looks at this and doesn't see Mr. Dink? Like any anybody? Show it. Show show of hands. Show of hands. Anybody? Does anybody not see Mr. Dink? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Fucking hang on one second. Oh goddamn! My phone was just blowing up for a second. I think it was getting all my own notifications. Who's Mr. Dink? From Doug? The show Doug? Have you not seen Doug? You need to see Doug. He's back for his. You broke my grill. I have not seen Doug in so long. It was Doug's purple neighbor. Do you remember his purple neighbor that always said shit was very expensive? Like that guy. All these doors are fake. I'm not just calling them out. They're actually fake. You can see them when you get to an encounter. Yeah, Doug is, Doug is, yeah. My mind is being dumb, help. It's the purple neighbor. Just search, like, Mr. Dink in Google. Actually, maybe don't do that. Because God knows what'll come up. I am Mr. Passion. Oh, wait, I have a fucking thing for this. The music I am playing is Family Matters Second Movement. Listen thoroughly. No. This is what artistic know-nothings like you get! A fight. Oh, that guy. Purple Squidward. Yeah! Also, why is my... Hello? <laughs> get out of here, arm. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? So it's really good to throw a smoke ball at this motherfucker. Because it blinds the shit out of him, and then when he tries to beat the fuck out of you, he can't. Now you remember. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Dink stood up, stood for double income, no kids, because him and his wife didn't have any children. I mean, like, that makes sense to me. 
Mr. Passion is lost in the music. Hi. Fuck. He made a chair charge. It missed. Made a brandish his madly brandish his baton. I get applause when I do it well. Chains be jiggling. You're not wrong. We jiggling? Madly brandish his baton. Ow. You're welcome. I fucked up. Grew ever more exuberant. His offense increased by 12. Fuck. Threw, said everything flying but the kitchen sink. Yeah, he's supposed to do a hell of a lot more damage than that. We got a really good roll on, like, defense. That rhythm attack can technically go for as long as it wants. It does have a limit. 16 hits. When they applaud, that means I've done the maximum. Madly brandish this baton. Yeah, this fight's usually hard, but I got like 40 defense before this because the randomizer has been very kind. I see why people hold their, hold their applause now. <laughs> Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> Mr. Passion disappeared. You've won. And leveled up. My kindness went up by one. <laughs> that fucking mouse. Oh, you're really lifesaver. Thank you. By the way, you can rest on that sofa if you want. You felt something warm inside your heart. It's probably not good. We did a thing, yeah. Like, it's this game, it looks easy because of the, like, the randomizer can give you some crazy rolls, but, like, also, like, later on, it can also screw you, so it depends. Ah, here it is. It's sparkly and shiny. This is a very delicately crafted vase here. We did it. We got the object. I won. Got the noble spittoon. And now I'm going to jump down this fucking fireplace. Aw, oh, fuck. The fucking Tom and Jerry sound effects make that way better. Hello. Save your game? Of course I will. How long have we been going? About three hours. I started early, though, so I'm probably going to go a little bit later today. Because I like this game a lot. And I like to get through, like, the beginning intro, basically. We can spit in... <laughs> we can spit with honor now. The Valiant Chamber Pot. Open the castle gate? Yeah. You open the castle gate. We did it. Hello. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? If you're really headed out, crossing the drawbridge would be faster and safer. Take this than taking this underground passage. Eh. Here, I'll give you the drawbridge key. Wow, that would have been useful earlier. Ah, don't worry about giving it back. Just go on and take it. As long as I got this here underground patches, it'll be enough for me. Also, we have... Pata patatato. And of course, we have... No problem here. No, we have... My humble little Beppis patch. This is what Beppis looks like. Thanks for telling us that now. Nigel Planter and the Chamber Pot of Secrets. Yeah. Lower the drawbridge? Yeah. Good. You lowered the bra drawbridge. I'm out! And there's no more zombies because it's not nighttime for some fucking reason. I mean, I know why it's not nighttime, but I don't know why there's no more zombies. I feel like they would exist regardless. I'm coming back and I got a royal spittoon. Is that good? The ladies be gossiping. They do gossip, though. Mm -hmm. 
Hi. Oh, that was faster than I expected. Okay, let's have a look-see. Is that a fucking spittoon? It's lipstick again. I'm sorry you had to see that. Is this... This luster. This texture. The delicate, profound, and shiny quality. This is the legendary noble spittoon passed down from generations to generations and oh so. You found it! My judgment was a correct after all. Duster, you're exceptionally stupider than I thought! You moron, you moron, you moron! You call yourself a thief? You can't even tell what's, what, you, what it is you need to steal? Anything else, moron? Did you pick up any other big other big jackpot items? Are you sure you're just not fooling around to try to entertain me? You moron. Let me have a closer look at that. This... It isn't what I was looking for, but could it be? Duster. That pendant. I think its owner might be the Princess of Oso Castle. Duster, your first job was another failure. But this is no time to be calling you a moron. I'll come with you this time. We're heading to Oso Castle at once. Let's hurry to the room where the spittoon was in. A child. Yes. Wes joined your party. Your abusive grandfather is now coming with you. Oh, shit. There's shit over there, too. Do I even have room in my inventory or no? Let's see what this is. Kite bandana? Fuck. Is that better or worse than my chic bandana? More defense, less health. And then I'm gonna go with it. It makes me pretty much invincible at this point. Some of these rolls we're getting on this shit is incredible. The fucking, like, clip-clop music. Let me just save it the frog real quick. Got a new party member. Also, it's a bit too late to call him a moron. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, they have a bit of an abusive relationship. It's kind of obvious. Huh? What's that odd sound? Oh, good. The pig boys are here. I like how they jiggle a little bit. Fall Guy is back. Incoming pig boys, yes. Time to fight the pig! Oh no, they beat up Nicolette. Ow, ow, ow. I sure wound up in a bit of trouble, didn't I? Some pig-looking guys just ran right into the castle. Going inside, do be careful. They're fucking assholes. Two pigmen and boy spotted the potato. <laughs> yes, I'm the pig now. A clayman suddenly attacked. Secret. Oh, he attacked him with a secret thief art. Ow. Damn, Wes is actually kicking some ass. Threw a punch. Ow. He threw one of Duster's socks. It didn't work on the clave, man. I'm just a clay man. Crash down and top through. Oh, cool. Now stay on the fucking ground, asshole. Get him, West. The clay man can't move. Sure can't. Stop throwing my socks. 
He's dead. Clayman stopped moving. <laughs> and now he's just like lump. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. <laughs> Good. Now we fight. The pig mask trapped you. Fuck. He said some nasty, horrible things. Oh, my offense went down by 10 because you were mean. He keeps yelling at me. Now he's dead. Self esteem is gone. <laughs> yes, indeed. President, there was a bag of pork chips. Fuck yeah. I'm out. I guess they cleared out the rest of the monsters. Yeah, they did. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Wes. Oh, he fired a beam. Ah! Oh, he's dead. Wes beat the shit out of him. Nice. Yeah, my self esteem is gone. Oh, but I can't carry any more stuff. Do you want to throw up something right now? Give up the pork chips? Yeah. I could probably use one because I just took some damage, so fuck it. What can we use? Edible mushroom. Fuck it. Let's go. Holy shit. Hi. Do not. Nope. Sorry. I'm out. I'm the only one that brought a rope snake. Oh, frog. Probably should save. Yeah, I would love to save my game. Yeah, your self is ages and yells at you. He's like, you're bad at what you're doing. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Damn, rocking horse. Damn it. I got them both. Was charged. Ow. He stabbed with a spit. Stop stabbing me. Nice. His body was solidified. Got him. I mean, you gotta hit him where it hurts, <laughs> but too far, yeah. Oh, he threw a thunder bomb. Nice. Flashed a creepy smile. Bitch, where? Waiting for the music. That bitch did not have a smile. I'm level over 14. Hell yeah. Let's keep going. Oh no, the Mr. Dink Barrel is back. Hello, Douglas. That's okay. He's not a hard enemy. Hello, Douglas. I'm a barrel now. Very expensive. I could stay there, but I don't need to. Oh yeah, this part. I like this part. The real treasure is further inside. It appears someone has opened this door. Very recently, too. I believe only the princess has the ability to open this secret door. Doug is cancelled. Oh, I mean, kinda. Duster, this is embarrassing. Turn the other way. Don't look now! I'm not going to stick my butt out or anything like that! I believe I taught you this dance when you were still very young. I even told you a million times to do it when you find yourself stuck. The princess most likely went through here. And those pig fellows are probably still inside the castle as well. So we need to be careful, you moron. Cat Jim. That was interesting. Well, that's how else are you going to open the door? Oh, hi. Oh, this fucking part sucks. I always say that, and I think I usually get through it in like one try, but this part sucks. 
Give my regards to the next frog you meet. What the fuck? She has a knife. Oh god, what am I gonna do with uh, Kumatara? What's her voice? <laughs> I'm I don't want to just give girl voice. What the fuck could I do? Valley girl? She could be a valley girl. Knife, yeah. How the fuck? It doesn't really suit the character that well, but I feel like valley girl is good. Valley girl? I think I'm going with valley girl. Does anybody have anybody suggestions? Valley or valley girl? I think I'm gonna go with valley girl. Knife. Wes, is that you, you old gazer? Yeah, that sounds about right. It's kind of got that bitchy attitude. Oh, princess. So it was you. My. How is this brings back memories? What about spoiled bread? What's the difference? <laughs> Sorry. Because she's not really a brat. Valley Girl is probably a little bit better. Also, I guess I still don't know the difference. <laughs> Sometimes I wouldn't... I wouldn't remember you for... I wouldn't remember you for not a little bit. No, no, wait. I'm so giddy I've mixed up my words. I haven't forgotten about you for a bit. No, no, wait. Duster, you moron, get your act together. Whatever. I got my leg caught in this stupid ass trap. Can't afford to die here, so I was thinking about cutting off my foot. Oh ho ho, I see you're as reckless as ever. But you needn't resort to removing your foot, princess. For me, for me and my thief arts, a trap of this sort is absolutely nothing to never worry about. No, wait, wait, wait. Just leave it to me. I'll have this off before you can say piece of cake. Piece of cake. Ah, I said it. What the fuck, Wes? Wes? Yeah, he's an asshole. I think Valley Girl is good, good. Princess, I'm so pleased to, that you're no, to know you're alright. Hey, my pendant. So you stole it, huh? Bitch. <laughs> Damn, can't let my guard down even for a second. He your son, geezer? Yes, he's my moron. Hmm. Your breath kind of stinks. Your name's Duster, huh? My name's... A strong, wise, and rather masculine girl. Kumatora. What the fuck, Wes? You lie. Kumatora. Get to meet ya. I fucking got a McDonald's. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go. Whatever, wherever you headed, princess. Isn't it obvious? You guys are here for a two, ain't ya? But your leg is injured. Just a little spit on... Just a little spit on it and it'll be good as new. Let's move. A valley girl would literally never say that. She'd be gone for weeks if she'd stubbed her toe. I want the girl to... <laughs> hey, geezer's son. Escort me, will you? Jeez. Kubatora joined your party. Hooray! I actually have a weapon for her, I think. Um, on Duster. Because I think she uses gloves, so I can give that to her. It apparently will make her go down, though, so I'm curious to see what the fuck she has on to begin with. Mini, mini charm. What about the yo-yo? Uh, awesome crown she can't wear. Okay, I got a good stick, too. Let me see. What the fuck does she have equipped that, like, none of this shit is better? Oh, that actually isn't. The magical gloves are, in fact, worse. And the mini mini. Oh my god, her thing that she has on now gives her 112 defense. Jesus. That's a bug. Ma'am, you have a bug in your. You have a bug in your hair, and the Aquarius bracelet is just good defense as well. And we have the power of bitchin' and sass. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, the word of the wind. Greetings. I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase, the word on the wind is? Yeah, I'm that wind. I'm where rumors come from. Rumor has it that Kumatora's mysterious strong girl just joined you. Is the, is the ability, is the able to use psychic powers or PSI? That's true, you'll definitely have an upper hand in battles from now on. Well, that's it for the word on the wind. I should be going now. Goodbye. Whoosh. What the hell up? It's like going already. I want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Fire. I ambushed it. 
I don't think we have to worry about it because I'm pretty sure we have enough offense to beat the shit out of this thing. Yeah, she just punched it really hard and it died. Did we left behind a present? There was a magic gelatin. That's a really fucking good item. Like, no shit. Oh shit, Wes. Damn it. Ah, fuck. PK fire. Alpha. That's gonna hurt. Ow, ow. West through a thunderbomb. No visible effect. I fucked up. Never mind, it's dead. Gonna get my grande macho. Oh my god. And now, I whip. Whee! What's in the box? A dragonfly. Nice. I think you literally just sell those. I'm pretty sure the silver dragonfly and the dragonflies are literally just for selling. No, I don't want to override this data. I already did. Get my regards. To now, this part sucks. Not this part. We're getting to the part that sucks. Not quite there yet. Getting there. Pretty close, though. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, no. The Mr. Dink barrels are here. They're here to stay. fucking dead. I can't believe that Mr. Dink is fucking dead, and also a barrelman. Please don't touch me. Thank you. Oh, the magic cape joint. Tried PK freeze alpha. Ow. Swing back and forth. Oh, he's dead. Wes attacked. Nice. He wants the eighth season. Damn it. I fucked up. Never mind. It's dead now. Does Kumatora have any healing? I'm not sure. It depends. Actually, she starts with random PSI. So let's see what she actually started with. Jesus. This is gonna... This is gonna be quick. Hey, Tato, see what's up? You see that? You see that? Right, right? Hang on. You see that, like, right there? See that? Hang on. I'm doing the fingy, but it's not It's not reading the fingy. See that right there? That the PK ground? PK ground is the strongest attack in this game. And randomization was At like... Last, you have the vision to find my thank house. you for the follow, Tato, see? The randomization was just like, here it is. Have it. Enjoy. And you have it already. Yeah. Also, I have a life up beta. That's... Huh. That's gonna be... I mean, it costs a lot, so I might not be able to use it right away, but... That's gonna be... That's gonna be powerful. Azure Ribbon. Okay. That's for... What's it called, I would assume? Oh, and it's up for her. Nice. Something better, finally. How, how much better are we talking here? Wait. Where does the, where does the ribbon go? Other? Did I not just I didn't give it to her, did I? I gave it to myself, didn't I? Did I give it to Wes? It Oh, I was on the wrong fucking person. I'm an idiot. Uh, defense up, IQ down. Yeah, fuck it. That sounds good. But time to kill them all. I'm playing some D&D &D turned 30 and recovering covered from the second COVID shot nice I've been looking around uh, there's not a lot of places that are available with them but they, I have this like nifty little tracker thing now that I can see where, where COVID shots are available I kind of have to like hold out for the Johnson & Johnson one because I've had like I've had on um, I've had um, what do we call it I've had reactions to uh, shots before so the Johnson & Johnson one's the safest one for me to get Yeah, but congratulations, you turned 30. Congratulations on 30. I'm 33. Um, and my back hurts. <laughs> so that's fun. Oh my god, this boy wants it. We'll be eligible in less than two weeks. Oh, really? 
That'd be cool. And then it's just a matter of waiting months more for Doge to available to us. Yeah. There's a lot out there, though. I'll send you the thing that I have. I hate this fucking part, by the way. You just gotta kind of watch the pattern and avoid them. I think if you stay top, I think you're usually pretty good. And I can get this one, too. A Boing Ribbon. That's a... Saturn Valley reference. It's worse. So you just gotta kinda watch the patterns and not get sweeped. Essentially. You just don't just don't get sweeped, bro. It's easy. The game is easy, bro. Just don't get sweeped. I hate it though. It gives me anxiety every time. Hi, I'd like to save. Save your game? Of course I would. I mean, I don't know. I was told that I was eligible, I just had to wait to I was like on the list basically. Uh, but that's also made. I also have like asthma, so that might be why. And I'm also fat, which apparently is a thing that makes a difference. So, so I don't know. I'm basically just waiting to see like for a Johnson and Johnson one in my area, then I'm gonna get it. The oh so cave. Well, it's dead now. I like that background shit. That's cool. Oh fuck. The real boss is here. I like the other one didn't join. Try PK Freeze Alpha. Ow. Got it. Got Moderna. Got you. How did you? How was your like experience with it? Like, did you have a pretty severe reaction, or did you just kind of, like, you're just down and out for a few days? Because a, a lot of people that I've seen that have gotten it are just kind of down and out for a few days, and then they come, they bounce, they bounce back. Oh, there was a treasure chest over there. Oh, fuck, they're back. Fuck it. Yes, here we are. I always thought the Johnson Johnson one was some baby powder company. I was hearing them make a whole vaccine and shit shocking for me. Yeah, I think a lot of people did, to be fair. Egg. This is where I hid it. Duster. This is the certain important object I had instructed you to bring back. It seems to be known as the Egg of Light, or the Hummingbird Egg. Egg. To, truth be told... Not even I know anything about this egg. The hummingbird egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Something like that. Supposedly, apparently. I don't fucking know. I'm a doctor. And now that ball of secrets is needed. If this wound up in the wrong hands, the lid of the secrets would come undone and... Fuck. Bad things would happen. Did you just flick it? That's the sort of hope or calamity. What sort of hope or calamity is hidden away in this egg? Not even I know. In any case, this hummingbird egg is our secret. But doesn't it kind of... But doesn't it seem kind of ridiculous that an egg of a tiny little hummingbird holds all the world's secrets? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Indeed. It is ridiculous, but what's more ridiculous of all is that this moron standing here, Duster, said gives off such a thick scent of secrets that it's so concentrated it almost reminds me of condensed milk that you couldn't even catch a single whiff of it. That's how much of a moron you are. You're a failure as a thief. You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that, because if he really is a moron, he wouldn't understand anyways. Anyway, I can't let this can't let the bad guys get their hand on this egg. Egg. It is time for egg. Speak of the devil. Bomb, get out of the fuck out of my room. I'm trying to fucking get my hummingbird egg. <laughs> I'm trying... <laughs> Mom, I'm trying to save the world. Get the fuck out of my room. How about you tell us the dance in front of the wall before we go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man, they have several claimant. Gazer, Duster, let's get out of here. I wanna go to McDonald's. Fuck. Princess, please wait. 
I know it appears to be sitting there nonchalantly, but I've placed traps around the eggs. There's an incendiary device and oh fuck. Huh? Traps? I just want to go to McDonald's. Princess? My bad. Fuck, I fucked up. And now we're in the death pit and I just wanted to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Real egg hours, my god. Princess? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm just fine, but... Huh? What? Whatever's the matter? If you're worried about that moron, don't be. He's been trained for this just this sort of thing. Getting plunged into a death pit. No, it's not Duster. The egg is gone. Come again? That moron isn't gone, but the egg is? Oh, the egg. And... Oh, and Duster. Yes, all right, well done. I've called you a moron 11 times so far, but I take it all back now. You're no longer a moron. Hooray! I don't know if I'd say hooray just yet. The oh-so snake suddenly attacked. Where's the McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. Chapped or bitterly to a Wendy's. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Do I have any, like, inventory throwy items or no? I don't. Uh, let's, uh, smoke ball this fool. Do you have PK Thunder? You have Thunder Beta. I don't think ground's gonna work on him. Throw a smoke ball. This might be over sooner than it started. It didn't work. Cool. The Oso Snake used the Binding Attack. Ow. PK Thunder Beta. Pretty good. Through a thunder bomb. It's in the water, so like that's your clear. You try to smoke bomb again. Uh, PK thunder. You also think slapped with his tail. It's good. Eat ass. Now it worked. The also snake couldn't stop crying. Wes is worried about Kumatora's safety. Good. Let's attack. He also snaked these the biting attack. It blips. It does blip. Secret art thief art. Goddamn. Wes getting in there. The Oso Snake dove into the water and caused a giant wave. Ow. Thunder might be a little bit more effective. Didn't hit anybody. What's attacks? Let's have you heal Kumatora. Oh no, Kumatora could... No, nah, I don't have any food on her, I don't think. Here, feed her a mushroom. Do you have... No. Offense down. Nah, just punch him. There we go. Damn, Wes. So Snake emerged from the water. He's back! <laughs> and then I smashed. He came out of the water and I kicked him in the face. He became tame. Nice. Duster's now level 16. Kumatora's now level 13. Did it. Now what? Ah, uh, wow! Just want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Becky, let me smash, please. Oh, look a popo. Hey, what's up, Shadow Rose? How's it going? Dad, there's some dead people on the beach. Dad. Oh fuck, there is. I'm gonna poke him with my stick. your mind? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're awake, Gazer. Where are we? My house? Okay, I forget what the fuck but that little kid voice. You and this especially tough girl got washed down the river. 
Good thing my dad was there. Because he probably would have pretended not to see you if it had just been me. Because I'm a little shit. I see. Thank you, Fuel, for not being a little shit. Did you find that moron with us, too? You mean Duster? It was just you two. You sure you... You sure do have a big age difference. That moron, I mean Duster, taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. Especially tough girl. Went to your house. But I want chicken nuggets, yeah. Especially tough girl. I see what he's doing there. Yes, indeed. We're both unconscious. You should get a little bit more rest. My dad owns a dealership. Don't be dumb. Let's look for him right now. Some reason Kuba started feeling Kuba tor uh, feverish. Oh, uh, here we go. Fucking, fucking wind, boy. Whoosh, whoosh. Greetings. I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase the word on the wind is? Well, I'm that wind. I'm where rumors come from. It would appear that one of your young friends is not feeling very well. They aren't poisoned, nor, they're not, nor are they sleeping. They just can't shake that ill feeling. They lack the energy to run and use items or hot springs, and hot springs don't seem to help either. It would appear that this is because something is beginning to awaken inside them. But I'm sure they'll get over it before long, so don't be too worried. Well, that's it for the word on the wind. I should go now. Bye. Bye, bitch. I love the echo effect. It's it's okay. Eh. So you have to take a certain amount of steps. This is how you learn PSI, by the way. And in the randomizer, you can learn several PSI at the same time by doing this. I'm just going to try to get this out of the way first before we progress, because I don't know what happens if you progress whilst you're feverish. But it's only a certain amount of steps. It won't take very long. We just got to run around in a circle for a second. Kumatora's fever went away. Learn PK Fire Gamma. Learn Defense Down Omega. Lovely. Actually, while I have a moment, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, because I've been trying to find a good place to do that, and it's been impossible. Also, my arm is just... What are you doing, bro? <laughs> but anyway, I'll, uh, I'll be back in just a second. Uh, give me one moment, please.
You know, I leave for like two minutes and Tusky Butt comes in here and starts following. Thank you, Tusky Butt. What's up? Hi, I'm back. Fingies. If anybody hasn't seen before, hang on. Give me one second. Fingies. <laughs> Sorry. I really like them. <laughs> What's up, Tusky Butt? Mr. Streamer's back. Oh boy! Uh, let's do stuff. Ah! I forgot the voice I gave him already. Is that bad? Howdy. Hey, how's it going? I like your name. It's incredible. Oh, bad Wes. There's a duster, that scum bucket. Yeah! He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well. The money's mine. <laughs> And now it's gone. Which means Duster stole it. And that was my money. The money is mine. We've already asked a thousand times, but did you? where did you get it in the first place? Besides, what is money anyway? I appreciate that. I've, yeah, I, I fucking love the name. <laughs> it's amazing. I love that. Thank you. This sounds all too fishy if you ask me. Oh, that was Brenda. Sorry. Howdy, everybody. Everybody having a bad time over here? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves. They never did anything because there was never anything to steal in our village. But now that they'd steal... The, but now we all know... We, we all know they'd steal the good stuff, like like money, if they never saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. Who, who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence! No violence! Old man Wes. Let's just all of us calm down. Kicking up a fuss won't have you help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. The village and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. There better not be a fucking monologue because this is the end of the chapter. God damn it! The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in almost a toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if a grand scheme has some sort of some sort of hidden it, some some a grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who recently arrived. However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by while the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shred. Wes, and his son Duster, the Thieves of Justice. Princess Kumatora, who just wants McDonald's. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their powers for good. And what has become of Lucas the Crybaby? Little bitch boy, where you go? I don't know, I'm just the narrator. Where you at, you little bitch? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. I try not to laugh at my own stupid bullshit, but sometimes it's really hard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> little bitch, man. Where you at, bitch? Coming for you. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Yeah. How's a frog write so fast? Goddamn. I'm impressed. All right, let's keep going. End of chapter two. What time is it? I'm going to go a little bit... Oh, fuck. My voice is going to be gone. Yeah, we'll do this one first. My voice is literally going to be fucking gone by the end of this, so I hope you really appreciate me talking, because it's not going to be here at the end of it. <clears throat> Holy shit, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad for everyone, including myself. I'm not going to have a voice by the end of this motherfucking playthrough. And everyone's just going to sound like me, but wheezing. <laughs> is anybody ready for, uh, is everybody ready for animal abuse? I sure hope so. Because that's exactly what the fuck you're getting right now. Be careful. Ah, eh, it's fine. I've had worse. Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler. What animal now? Yep. I mean, it's not. 
it's not that bad, but still. There he is, the boy that's about to destroy my fucking voice. Oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> I forgot. This chapter can be rough with the randomizer, by the way, because of bad rolls. All right, listen, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then girly monkey is good as dead. I'll try to do it like that without like the, the the like gruff to it. Do what you're supposed to do, and you'll get to have a nice happy reunion later. Understand? Both of you, egg salad. And this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful. Could I add you on? Oh, you're talking to I. I don't know. Well, how do you like it? The lovely thing around your neck is no ordinary color. It's so advanced that even if you ran to the end of the desert, punishing you would be a still a, be a snap. Come to think of it, monkey, you don't have a name, do you? You're going to need one from here on out. I hope you can come up with something cute. <laughs> oh god. A monkey who will endure anything for his girlfriend. I have to get started getting clean up. Alright, man. Take care. Have a safe trip home. Okay, let's go. No, let's go. Salsa. Alright, stupid monkey salsa. I'll only say this once, so lick and listen up. If you want to enjoy our little journey together, a little journey with me, but just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave and act nice and friendly. You got that? E. Good boy. The second thing to remember, never disobey my command. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Yes. Do what I say and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. No hey, 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 hey. Oh, what's that defiant look in your eye? Dance! No, <laughs> Such a silly monkey dance. That, such, it, that's such a silly monkey dance that just watching it is embarrassing. Try a different dance. Good boy. Now laugh. Backflip. Good boy. Good job. No doubt everyone will be will believe we're a performance duo now. I have no idea what this game is. It's the sequel to Earthbound. Salsa. <laughs> yeah. Neither do I. It's a journey. Y'all are here for a journey. This fucking voice is going to kill me. I told you, are you ready for animal abuse? Everybody said yes. You signed a waiver. I know there's three games, but I've never played them. I kind of want to. They're very good, especially this one. The first one is kind of assy because it's an NES RPG. Hey, you stupid monkey. You only get to cry when I tell you. No crying on your own. It's punishment time. I'm going to try to like not do as much rasp because my voice is already dying from this. That was just mean. That was only slavery. Yeah, I mean, this chapter is going to kill me. Hey, you. Quit sleeping on the job. All right, listen. There's a white, round building west of here. We're going there. I have to grind now. Poor monkey. Yeah, it's... Yeah. You wound up being taken with facade. Hey, you. I know everything. I saw everything. Be strong and endure it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday. To help that day come, would you like to save your game now? Yeah. So let's see what we got. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. So what do we got for stats? Fucking nothing. That's fine. That's usually... He has a monkey trick! Do I have anything in my inventory? No. Okay, so really, it's up to the... It's a luck of the draw. This part can be very hard in the randomizer, because normally you're supposed to get shit from these things, and you use the shit to level up real quick. But <laughs> I love sneaking up on these. Facade usually just kills everything, so it's better to use monkey tricks. Especially monkey mimic. But we need to get drops from things. We do have an infinite healing spring as well. So we need to grind a little bit. It's just how this part of the game works. There's also treasure. Treasure could be good. Treasure could also just be something I don't need. He got... He got fucking flints... Or no, he got uh, dusters. 
Supportive frog, indeed. He didn't drop anything. Cool. What's this? Ooh, that could be a lifesaver. Yeah. Yep, that's it. It's a fucking chicken. <laughs> I just realized that. Like right right there. It's a it's a fucking chicken. <laughs> cool, that was really good. That was a good roll. We're good. We're doing good. Giant lizard, go. I love these boys, by the way. Look at this stupid motherfucker. So as you might realize from that particular attack pattern, uh, not everything is the, is just to the beat of the song. It's it's sometimes uh, different. Salsa's level is now two. Nice. Did we get anything from the enemy? No. See, I'm trying to get drops because drops will help us. The power chicken. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I fucked up. Diligently rolling its dung. And facade stepped on it. So this was level is now three. Nice. And we left a present. There was some dung. We oh wow. Ooh. They actually have dung as a drop. We're actually doing pretty good if we're able to kill things as salsa, I'm not even gonna lie. Just throwing that out there. Uh so this is Wan Sum Dung. Can you guess what he wants? <laughs> it's like a fucking kid show. It's like, can you guys, can you kids at home guess what he wants before I figure it out by myself? Because you're not a fucking child? It's okay. I am Wan Sum Dung. I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not a true dung beetle. I'm so sad. If you ever, if you ever happen to cross some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so please bring me some. Goo! Want to roll some dung? I don't even care what kind it is. Give me some shit! Now I'm all upset and confused. Wait, you brought me some dung? You're giving it to me for free? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Yes, let's roll. Let's roll to the ends of the desert. Everyone has also gained 5 XP. Yay. If you're tired, have a drink at this oasis. But it kind of smells dung-like. Drink some? Yeah, drink the shit water. Ice cream! <laughs> Isn't there a, is there a treasure box up here? There is, yeah. I thought so. Give. A kid's hat? Fucking dude. I never get equipment. Can I equip that? Oh my god, we're good. Everything's fine. We can go through this part now. We're done. Part's done, everybody! Wrap it up! I don't even need fucking healing items. He has 96 defense. Fuck you. You wanna go? Fuck, I fucked up. Go ahead, do it, bitch. I mean, I might need healing items. The enemy left behind a present. There was some nut bread. Booyah, I got a healing item. <laughs> Yo, this is the best roll I've had. Like, this part took me like a half hour the last time I did it. It's gonna take me like 10 minutes. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, these fucking things. The Sahara Hara, right, I think? Sa Sahara Sahara Sahara. Sara Sara Sahara. Sorry. It attacks. Facade <laughs> just threw a fucking bomb. Game over, roll credits. Yeah, this this part's over. Thank you, randomizer. Salsa's so now level four. You're supposed to like level up and stuff and get like enough like HP to kind of survive. It's kind of designed to make you like endure it, you know, like he's like they said. Oh, nice. Uh, but was that a... F can I use that? I can't. A funny stick. A stick that calms the spirit. Okay, I can't use that. I don't think you could use weapons, to be honest with you. <laughs> Monkey! <laughs> yeah! I don't want to say anything, so I don't jinx it, but this is great. It is really good. Fucked it up. There is a little bit of, like, weird input latency... Um, sometimes. Enemy left behind a present. There was some nyat bread! There's some dung boys. Dung boys. Stinky. There we go. Whoa, easy. Oh, that's the place where dung just kind of respawns. Isn't there a frog up here if I, like, fight something? No. This is just the dung place. 
<laughs> oh fuck, hi. <laughs> yeah, bread. I fucked up. Never mind, you got him. See, like, facade's supposed to, like, kill most of the stuff for you, essentially. You're just a tank, essentially. Which is fitting of facade, because he's an asshole, <laughs> clearly. In case it isn't apparently obvious, he's an asshole. <laughs> the Nyep bread. I do have a nut emote. It is just the nut from Mario and Luigi. It's on uh, Better Twitch TV, though. So you need Better Twitch TV to use them. I have a lot of emotes on Better Twitch TV. I should probably advertise that somewhere, right? Kid left my present. Nut bread! I need that nut bread. Give me, fill me with the nut. Wait, what? White collar, are you fucking? I don't think he can wear that, can he? There's no way. Yeah, no, that's for Boney. It's a fucking yeah, dragon fun. Tato Seal, subscribe, thank you. You need to do that. I appreciate it, though. Kuro? Yeah? What? I'm not sure what you're, what it, what it. <laughs> so now the greatest enemy that's ever existed a rich parfait ladies and gentlemen the cactus dog watch your nuts <laughs> listen monkey monkey that's a cactus wolf cactus wolf the meanest thing in the desert but we can't get inside with him standing there go beat him up lose and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready for you egg salad Come at me, scrub lord, I'm ripped. Cactus dog. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, he doesn't fucking care. Um, I think if I apologize, he doesn't attack. That can work. Sad feelings didn't get through the cactus. Well, fuck. He did a cactus headbutt. Ow, fuck. I'm gonna try apologizing again. I'm sorry. Damn it! That's okay, I think I'll be fine. Damn, <laughs> I just want him to be sad. Facade is hiding, good. Cactus Wolf utters a low growl. Damn it! It can work. It's just really low chance. D fucking. I'm sorry. Fuck. Thank you, Facade. Keep attacking him. You're our DPS, I'm just a tank. God damn, fuck. I'm like not doing anything. Utter a low growl. He cheers and eats a banana. Have I played Final Fantasy XI? Uh, I mean, recently, no. But uh, in, in general, yes. Or 9, you mean. Sorry, that's 9. No, that's not 11. I can read, I swear to God. Uh, yeah, I actually plan on doing that uh, as a stream at some point. Feel the consequences of your actions. Not 11, 9. Yeah, 9 I have, yes. I've, I've beaten 9, I think? I didn't used to like 9, but I played it again. And I, I kind of I kind of feel it now. I'm just gonna attack. I'm doing nothing. As is per usual. Ah fuck. Come on, facade. I'm gonna make him laugh. Form the backflip. No one was amused. Aw. Fuck off. Ow. Um I can do monkey mimic. Sizing up the enemy, do a cactus headbutt. Ah, oh, it's a biting attack. Did a biting attack. Fuck yeah. Uh let's dance. The little dance. Oh, my defense went up. Cactus headbutt. Facade, could you end this battle, please? I'm sorry. Damn it! <laughs> Heart of gold. Name the Confederius Monkey Boy. That sounds about right. Facade, end the battle, dude. Do I have any things I can throw at him? I have a funny stick. Do you like my funny stick? I'm sorry. Damn it. Hit in, hit in Salsa Shadow. Let's dance again. Oh, nice. My speed increased by 22. Fuck yeah. Okay, good. Finally. Jesus Christ, facade. Took you long enough, you fat fuck. Nice. The enemy left behind a present. There was some beef jerky inside. Fuck yeah. And now we go inside. Get in, you. Excellent. <laughs> the kick was unnecessary. Excuse me. K. 
King Burger. Fuck yeah. I should probably eat something, yeah? Because I uh, got my shit pushed in a little bit. Delicious. Oh, fuck, Roach. The violent Roach attacked. <laughs> and then, I like how I just try to fight it, and then Facade just steps on it. An underground map. That's useful. The maps I don't believe are randomized, just by the by. Hey, stupid monkey, look here. This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're going to take it to an unbelievable civilization called Tazmili Village. I take it it'll take an incredibly long time to get there on foot. But with this pork bean, we'll be able to get there by the blink of a way. You got all that? Yeah. Use the ladder and get down there. You're driving. This is a wonderful device called an instant revitalization machine. That frog will never stop hopping. In only a few seconds, you'll feel fully revitalized like a good night's sleep. Under normal circumstances, it'd be a wasted on a stupid monkey like you, but I'll give you special permission to use it now. A DMCA boxers? Fuck yeah, can I equip those? Is that other? No. Body? No, I can't. It's a fucking... It's like a chicken breast. Hello. Save your game. Of course I will. <laughs> Fuck it, that's a good name for, for you as a dine, Zidane, though. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Of course I will. What's in this? Azure ri Ribbon. Can I equip that? No. Cool. That's okay, I got some good... Hey, don't get in yet, stupid monkey! I wasn't. I literally climbed down the ladder. Alright, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean for a while, while it's moving, press the B button. When it stopped, press the B button again to get out! Get all that? Excellent! Then get in. Get the pork bean? Yeah. Pork bean! Fuck. <laughs> this is what happens when you let the monkey drive. I don't even have to press stuff. Oh, Jesus, that thing's dead. murdering things as I'm just like running over things in a hovercraft somehow. Excuse me, gentlemen. I made it. Dolphin Ossicle. I believe those are for selling as well. Oh, the slime boys are here. Apparently, Beppus is a jello mold. <laughs> Beppus, let's go! <laughs> Apparently, Beppus is a jello mold. Hello, green. green things. A gooey goo and its cohort suddenly blocked away. Gooey goo attacks. I don't think they can kill me if they tried. We got some really good rolls on shit so far. Thank you, Facade, for your contribution. He edged closer. He hid in Salsa's shadow. What a little bitch. He edged ever closer. There we go. This one should be almost be dead. He tried to split, but he failed. And now he's dead. <laughs> Is it bad that I can't see? I can see that being an actual thing. Oh yeah, no, you can make a Jello out of Be out of Bebus, for sure. I've done it before. It's really good. And we left behind a present. There was a mosquito charm in it. Oh cool, that could be actually better. Wasn't the mosquito charm like broken as fuck, or was that another one? I think that was the mini mini charm. Let me check it out. Uh, that brings me down. So no, heavy charms better. To the south of the cemetery is the village. There's a place that's called Yado Inn, where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. Oh, Jesus Christ, hi. So 
So the thing with him getting the money for the uh, the pigs has already happened, just by the way. I know this is a little confusing, but all of this stuff happens at the exact same time. Why, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? Is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Facade. Don't scare me like that. I thought it was a, I thought it was someone mugging me. Actually, I was just counting to see how much there was. Wait, hey, hey. Just please be extra careful with that. It doesn't get swiped by any thieves. I, uh, see. Yeah, it's, it's hell habit. You'll see, watch. See, this is, like, in reverse now. Oh, pardon me. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Now come, little monkey, we should be off. Because we saw this before. This happens at the same time as Duster going to Oso Castle. Oh wow, you can actually see when I like, scratch my head, too. That's pretty cool. Well, kind of, sort of, sometimes. Because I got the fingies. <laughs> Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever hear of the money? What? You don't know what money is. Actually, I'm not really sure, either. After all... We've never had it in Tasmili before, but apparently an error of money is about to start. Huh? What's an error of money? Huh. Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. My hogs. <laughs> then he asked me in tears if I'd trade him for this. It did seem pretty strange of me to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. And this is my fucking money. Fuck you. So we're like playing different perspectives of different characters is actually really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's how the intro of this game goes. This is how the intro goes, basically. Anyway, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any, any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm going to hide it in this well here. Well, well, well. <laughs> Duster, it's a secret just between you and me. Wait. No problem here. So he takes the money back. Facade is the one that took the money. In case anybody, in case that wasn't clear. <clears throat> How much is the lodging fee, my good man? A uh, well fee? There is no, there is no how much here. Please feel free to stay at, stay the night. Oh, I see. Still, it's hardly cumbersome thing to have. Uh, oh, I, I I guess it's okay then. I'll accept your kind offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. For the, for those of you who didn't have missed it, like Tasmili is just like a town that just exists where people just live. There's no money. There's no crap. It's just yeah. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourselves at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you very much. Come, little salsa. Where is your thank you? Hee <laughs> how cute. Well then, if you'll excuse us, come little Sosa, let us go into our room, shall we? Fucking thing is going to murder my entire throat. You're going to work hard for me starting tomorrow. Now go to sleep! Wholesome town. Yeah, for now. That's fine. It's a good town. <clears throat> you arrived at Oso Castle? Good! Wait until dawn and then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. Excellent. Everything is progressing excellent. What? You saw someone else hanging out of the castle? That's it, you only saw him! And leave him, baby. It's probably some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp. I think I might have seen him myself. 
He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay. I leave it in your hands. Stay alert! And there he is being a dick. Sleep. Pretend sleep, monkey. Oh, I see you're not trying to run away. If you press anything during that, I'm pretty sure he zaps you. Even Facade is saying, he's drunk. Oh no, he's not, though. I guess the fear of punishment turned you into a spineless wimp. <laughs> and now I sleep. And now, monkey memories. Your voice acting is so good, that is a fucking lie. <laughs> sad dreams. Yeah, sad monkey dreams. But thank you, I appreciate the compliment. I, I can't take it, though, because I know it's awful. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy-like, prance around all nice and funny, and keep charming the villagers. Do a good job, and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to the girly monkey. You'd like that, wouldn't you? The girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you get an extra heaping of punishment. You got that? What audience? Get the fuck. This lady's setting a pick at me. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nothing bad is happening in the town or at the town or around the town. It's fine. Come, gather round! Come, one and all, fair denizens of Tazmili. Congratulations are in order for your hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you a wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stock, stout livestock, happy families and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. A tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor such a few suspicions. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in the forest. A giant balloon-like object soar through our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all. Not by a long shot. The word in the wind says there's a very near future. Lightning powerful enough to burn down forest and wood will rain down on us almost every day. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real. Something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this will happen. This will be, soon be a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. You can obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute, adorable saucer is dancing very happily. The reason for this, you see, is a monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. <laughs> look how he's like fucking leaving. How exactly did Salsa here manage to find happiness? All those who are interested, please raise your hands boisterously. Who wants to be happy? Damn it. Fucking, come on. I want to be happy. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, me. Come on. I can't progress the game with my hand up, though. <laughs> Lighter just fucking leaves. The girly monkey, yeah, indeed. Okay, little Salsa. 
go and ask the nice people who want happiness their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. I'm Biff. <laughs> I'm Biff. Hey, every chat. Hey, chat. I'm Biff. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not really sure what this is all about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. There's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? I'm Isaac. I just want I just want to see if this really is, is that easy to be happy. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff somehow makes me feel happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Everyone. If even just one on... One more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide you want happiness after all, feel free to let me know anytime. Hi, Biff. <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Bleep. Take care. Now then. Come along, little saucer. Let us return to the Yato Inn. His fucking voice is killing me. I wish he would die already. <laughs> ah! Anyway. Yes, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There's other people inside the castle. Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough. All right. I'll be all right over there when I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Wait, hmm? Yes. His name is Facade. Yep. All right, monkey, listen up. The heavy boxes are hidden around in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Biff, and Isaac. Does that mean he's just fake? Those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find out yourself. And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. If you can do it another 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even let even if you can't do it another 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more charred than if than if that if that happens. If you try to run away or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got that? Yeah. I said yes, asshole. Why did I know this but I'm dumb? It's 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 a theme. Just keep it in mind. Then get to it already. If you can finish delivering in under twenty two minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart. By the way, he's full of shit, he doesn't give you anything. Because I feel terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. So be grateful. No way. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Time to deliver some happy boxes from the graveyard. Yeah, the way that this game progresses... Hey, Mapson. Need something to map out in a map loving Mapson? It must be a map, yes? Oh, you're a monkey, but you have a map. For some reason, I'm itching to mark it. Let's see what that's... Let me see that for a second. I see now. What a bitch. Yeah. Got a happy box. Box is pretty happy, not gonna lie. Uh, well, one of them is right up there, so I might as well do that one first. I can't run with the happy box, by the way. This is my maximum movement speed. If you may be asking yourself, do you have to deliver all of these? The answer is yes. Sad salsa music as he delivers fucking actual boxes of happiness. Mm -hmm. Ah, watch it, Bells. I will still beat the shit out of you if you come near me. Hey. Oh, is this it? What is it? 
Will this thing bring me happiness? I don't fucking know. Oh, it's a fucking television. We gave the happy box to Isaac. Only three more to go. Well, here's to the next ten minutes of our lives. You're not wrong. <laughs> At least Mapson's here to, like, mark your map, so in case you don't know where these people live, uh, you can get them. I ha I knew where two of them lived. I wasn't sure where the- I sh wasn't sure where the third one was, so. Yeah, Monkey Servitude is definitely the next ten minutes of our lives, so enjoy. Monkey Servitude is definitely the next ten minutes, so. Here I go servituding again. I'm just glad I don't have to do the facade voice for, like, five minutes. <laughs> because my throat hurts. Uh, yeah, down there. Cool. I mean, the whole chapter has just been monkey servitude, to be fair. Uh, yeah! Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Is it this house? No, it's down here. That's what I thought. Yeah, this entire... I told you, it was ready for animal abuse. And everybody was really confused. Hey, Biff. Ah, oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy, too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. I'm dead inside. Gave the bi gave Biff the box. I thought it was gonna be extortion, but damn, no, I was not joking. <laughs> I was legitimately like I said. There's a lot of themes in this game that I feel like I are reasons why it does not come to America, and that's definitely one of them. A little bit of animal, just a little bit of animal abuse, Stan. It's just a setup of villain, like really, and it, they do it in a way that's actually kind of good because. Like, you hate them right, right from the start. It's not overdone, it's just... It's legitimately, you just you just hate them. Got a happy box! Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you just fucking hate them from the very start. And also, like I said, I think it's really neat that you get to play through everybody's, like, thing now. Like, you get to play through everybody's story. You know what happens with everyone, even the villain. I want him to burn alive now. Fair enough. Uh, where is this boy? He's somewhere in this town. I forget what door. I feel like it's one of these. Excuse Popo, you're setting a pick on me here. It is. Cool. Oh, wow. Is that a happy box? This is great. A happy box. Thanks, monkey. It's a PC. I know what porn is now. Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott. I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. You finished delivering the happy boxes everyone wanted. Get the fuck, dude. I'm speed running. There's your favorite character. <laughs> and time. Twenty-five minutes. Nope, too bad. That was definitely not twenty-five minutes. Fuck you. I wanna fight him? He'll be the weakest boss ever. <laughs> yeah. I was planning on giving you a special banana if you had delivered all, all of them in under three minutes. Yeah. But I guess you don't really want it. You insolent little monkey. I wonder if you, like, game shark it and you just auto-complete it and then talk to him. I wonder if it's, like, the same thing. Out of curiosity. <clears throat> hey, you. How long are you going to stay unconscious, stupid monkey? Alright, let's hurry to Oso Castle. But first, just save the frog. Save your game. Yes, I do. Careful out there, give him up guards to the next frog you meet. <clears throat> Ozo Castle it is. Oh, can I go to the bazaar and get shit or nah? I can. What do you have? That's an anti-paralysis. Can I take it? No. Okay. A running bomb. And what is this? It's a nut! That's a hot dog, dude. Everyone's just okay with the monkey labor. I mean, I guess they thought... I, the, the, the thing is, they um, they assume that they're working together. So, yeah. They are absolutely okay with it. Yep, froth. Froth time. Big froth hours. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's why Nippolites are all fucked up. <clears throat> What's going on? Did you find it? What? You still haven't found it? Just who are these intruders? An old man and a guy with a gloomy feel about him. Wait, you mean him? The guy with the brown hair, the gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum? So where are they now? What? They're headed for the top floor! You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get there first! <laughs> Fucking idiot. It's interesting, because you're kind of forced to play as the villain. In some aspects, I guess. Oops. Bah, a dead end. Alright, monkey, let's look elsewhere. Oh, there's presents over here. I think one of those presents has a ghost in it, though, so I don't want to do that. That's the same staircase. Fuck. Scared me. It's an interesting position to be in. Yeah, you kind of have to play as the villain. You're kind of. It's a nutty hot talk. Everybody's just like, I'm calling OSHA. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What? They fled into the basement? They have it with them? Alright, got it. Hey, monkey, we're heading for the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside the castle. Find it! Fuck. He's just forcing the monkey to find all this shit. Hello. Eat. Pencil rocket? That'll be useful. An odd dance is depicted here. Learned Oso Dance Part A. An odd dance is depicted here. Learned Oso Dance Part B. An odd dance is depicted here. Oso Dance Part C. I wonder what that'll make people of Salsa game continue. Wait, make people think of Salsa as the game continues. Yeah! Alright, we go through here. Hey, stupid monkey. Do something to open it. I know just the thing. I like how he's about to he was about to make him like he was about to punish him, but he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cat Jam. I gotta get is Cat Jam a uh, a universal uh whatchamacallit uh emote for better Twitch? Cause I gotta get that shit going. Oh, well done. Alright. Here's your reward. Nope. Ah, oh, that's lame. Cat Jam is very good, though. No, hey, hey, hey. Come on. Let's get going. Get in the mouth. It needs to be enabled. And do you just, like, Rat Jam? All right. You need to send me, like, a list of emotes so I can enable them. Because I have no problem doing that. I just don't know which ones. I don't know what's good. I'm not a ghost. I'm a frog. Save your game. I think you're a ghost, dude. I think I, I hate to I don't want to break this to you, but I think he's I think he's a I think he's a ghost. Also, he's setting a pick on me right now. I'll send you some after stream then. That sounds good. Yeah, and I'll enable them. I have no problem with that. I just haven't really had time to look through yet. A vigor stick. Well, I'll leave that there actually. Oh fuck, Skettin. Level five spook warning is in effect. Shit. <laughs> look at him. It's fucking skeleton. It's amazing, right? That's what we all look like on the inside. Skeleton is skipping? He's cackling. Now he's dead. I think you have a max of 15 enable that you won't if you don't let. Oh, I have the premium. That's why I have so many fucking emotes. I have like so many slots. If anybody ever has an idea for an emote, um, let me know. 
Like, legitimately, um, what the fuck? No. Balls. Huh? What's this lever for? Then you should have no issues. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I have. I pay for that because I like have a shitload of emotes I uploaded there. I have some of my Sona that Eri drew me. I have some like meme ones. Um, basically, like the meme ones. Hey, pull this lever. Yes. Pull my finger. And that's what flushed them out of Oso Castle. There they go. Wow. It's them. They fled into the waterways. What? They escaped with the item? After them, after them, after them, after them. Get after them. No, wait. They're still inside. Quarter them. Is what I said. Contact me the instant you find them. Beams, you say? You're not wrong. Bah! There's not a single useful person here. Let us return to the Yaddo Wing for now. Okay. I gotta run past that giant ball again, though, so that's not fun. Oh, no, he's gone. I'm gonna leave the presents here for now, because you can come back and get them as different people. My inventory's full, so... Plus, plus Salsa's pretty decked out right now. He doesn't need anything else. Frog, please. I just want... I just wish to leave. Excuse me. Bulls. And now I'm leaving. Run, monkey! What are you doing? You two get out of my way! Hey! You heard Mr. Facade? Fall back! He was looking at you when he said it, you, fo you fall back! Shut up! I don't give a damn about any of that, both of you get out of my way now! I think all of the pig maskers are just gonna be like New York Jersey accent. <laughs> yep, memes. Just look at how late it is now. You're so stupid. This is all your fault, you idiot. Hey, he was looking at you when he said it, so you're the idiot, idiot. I know you are, but what am I, you idiot? Both of you idiots, go find them now. Yeah, I think it works. They're kind of just dumb lackeys, so like I feel like that's a good. That's like a good like like the the like really generic dumb New York's accent is like usually pretty good like the fucking pancake like that's like an accent that some people have and I'm not saying it's dumb but I'm just saying like that's the like accent that everyone fucking uses. Let us save it, Frof. Save you, game. Cup of I mean, I'm making fun of myself too because I'm from Jersey and that's kind of a Jersey accent too in some aspects. So, oh, here we are. Like a Brooklyn accent? Kinda, yeah. Besides, I bet you were the ones that let Duster away in the first get away in the first place. Oh, I'm sorry. I have done no such thing, nor would I have any need to. My goodness, I simply can't believe someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Look at this fucking this fucking guy. Perhaps it's true, then. Perhaps the village really is starting to become cursed. This fucking guy. Yeah, this guy right here. We can't allow Taz Medley Village to become a dismal hive of evildoers that run amok. We must all seek happiness, or this village will be in grave danger. Yeah, sure. Who could have done such a thing? <laughs> yeah, right? It's like, who the fuck did it? Oh, what's this? Are you fond of the nice lady there? Come now. I'll give you lots and lots of luxury bananas as soon as we get back to the Yaddo Inn. Okay, little salsa? And then he did. <laughs> I gotta do Kaiba into submission. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Yogi, I gotta do Kaiba into submission. Yep, abuse. Hey, stupid monkey. Seems you don't understand the situation you're in. 
you ever disobey or try any funny business in the slightest, I'll make sure your beloved girly monkey winds up in some serious trouble. Remind, remember that. Now go to sleep! <laughs> and cry. For he is just monkey. Basically. <clears throat> Only monkey. Hey, hey, monkey. Hey, monkey, we're here to rescue you. That cheap bastard's asleep. Hurry here. You're safe now. Don't know how you got involved with that lie spewing fraud. But you must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess, it was this is a great deed you've done. Now let us find a lazy moron, I mean Duster, and that egg he has with him. I know he's all right. Morons like him never get sick or hurt, no matter how, no matter where they go or what they do. It's like me. Yeah, just gotta find Duster and the egg. Egg. But first, let's free this monkey. Geezer, go steal the zapper gizmo while the lion freak's still asleep. Oh, right. I should have swiped it earlier. I'll be right back. I took his- I only took his wallet. You'll be free in a minute, monkey. Must have had it rough. Like me, I didn't get McDonald's? Oh, fuck. Hey, monkey. I stole the doohickey. I accidentally bumped it on the way back. Did I zap you? I'm sorry about that. Hey, monkey. You destroy it. Alright, monkey, you can go wherever you want now. You're free. You can go to McDonald's. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Yep. You got something that's keeping you from running away? What is it? Oh, your girlfriend's been kidnapped. Or monkey napped, I should say. Damn, that cheap bastard. He's screwed up. Oh, did somebody call for me? I suppose that I'm, I happen to be that screwed up cheap bastard you speak of. To think I'd get to meet you of all, here of all places, Princess Kumatora. No way, I have pigs. You stupid monkey. Do you think you could get away from me? He can. And we're gonna let him. We're gonna get a McDonald's. Geezer, monkey, are you ready? One, two, three. Is when we run. Got it? Damn, they're fast. After them, do not let them escape. They're headed your way. I see. Then remain there on standby. I'll be there shortly. Excellent. There's no escape from me. No way. <laughs> Banana. Let's escape into the forest. Kumatora joins your party. Wes joins your party. Do I have any weapons for Kumatora on him? Uh, DMC. DMC 2 boxers. Uh, Azure Ribbon is already equipped on her. You got a Beppus. Mosquito Charm is down. King Burger. Funny Stick. I'm going to give that to Kumatora. Uh, Nut Bread. Yeah, no, that's all, that's all well and good. Long Boy. <laughs> Damn, he had a banana all along. Yeah, he's a lot of bananas. <laughs> oh, big mask. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. You 
you encounter the recon mech. Let's make him laugh. Fire to beam. Ow. No one was amused. Wes threw a thunder bomb. Nice. Well, I killed it. Thanks, Wes. <laughs> Completely outside of the randomizer, Wes just yeets a fucking bomb at it and it dies. Ah, oh, fuck. Another one. Might as well just attack. Ow. Wes is worried about Kumatora's safety. Damn it. Oh, nice. Wes with those thunder bombs. That's okay, I got some bread. Salsa is now level 10. Stat ups on level up are randomized as well, if I'm not mistaken, so that's always fun. Nice. I like it. Wait, 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 wait. Nut bread is a fucking bird. I've been eating birds this entire time. I didn't even realize that. Fierce but not hated old man to the rescue. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of character development. Damn, no luck here either. Oh wait, fuck, that wasn't- I thought that was Wes. Damn, no luck here either. Is it's our only chance to go back now? Fuck. It's not even where McDonald's is. Tank. We're surrounded. It's attacking! Dance. Uh, PSI. Defense down? Offense down? I could do- I could fucking do one ground. Do you think one ground would kill it? Just want my Big Mac! PSI ground. Hell yeah. PK ground. Didn't stun him. It can stun. Tank fired its cannon. Oh, fuck! Not today, Satan. Attacked wildly. Do monkey mimic. Uh, can we make him laugh? I don't even know if that works. So when someone takes more damage than they can and you heal them before you're dying, if you're fast enough, you heal them? Yeah, they come back to life. If not, they die. <laughs> no one was amused. Fired its cannon. Wow. Added panic, I like it, yeah. Wes tried a secret thief. Oh, nice. Uh oh. The pork tank was wrecked! Pork tank fired its cannons. But it's jammed! Let's apologize to them. Let's just say we're sorry about that. Damn it! Secret thief art, nice. Fuck. Threw a can. He threw a cannonball. Ow. Uh, beef jerky. Yeah, fuck it. Was worried about coming to our safety. Is spewing out black smoke. Good. Do I have anything else? Oh, I have a pencil rocket. Don't I? Yeah, I do. Eat ass. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Monkey killed it with a pencil. <laughs> no pity today. Hell no. The pork tank was destroyed by a fucking monkey. Nice. Salsa's so now level 12. Wator is now level 15. She got a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit from that. Her kindness went up by 7. Christ. Write this on your gravestone. 
Yeah, just write that on my gravestone. Now then, Princess Kumatora. May I ask you behave and do as we say? Way. Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid. Get lost, you stupid fucking kid. Oh my pork. What is a baby Drago doing here? You baby Drago, get out of here! guy gets out of the tank and leaves. Hey! Get back here, you! No. Stop. Stop, don't, please! <laughs> Feeling better now, monkey? Wah! We just I like how they hop. I think that's my favorite thing about Dragos. Lucas, I heard that you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed. What you just did now was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. All right, gotta say hi. Uh, nice to meet you, and, and thanks. You didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. It's probably a little late for it now, but you should ask the geezer about what's been going on. Sure, I can fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? Yeah. Well, it goes like this. It's literally everything we played for the past four hours. And that's everything that's happened. You dare bring light to my lair? Yo. You must die! Cosby Wolf bringing some light into my lair. Welcome. Hi. Hi, Raider. It's an Awu Wade? There is a fucking fine for that around these parts. Excuse me. You. You in the back. No, right. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. Get the right hand. Get the right hand. Get the right hand. It's not getting the right hand. You're lucky. You. In the back. Fucking pay the fine. I see you. You fucker. And you. Stop a wooing. Stop a wooing. Stop it. Sh shoo. Sh shoo. Sh shoo. You can't, you can't fucking win with these fucking things. Whatever. Well, I hope you all pay your fine. Thank you for the raid. I paid my fine, though. <laughs> well, welcome in, raiders. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> what about Uwa? Oh, God, it's backwards. Do we have a fine for that? Is it, like, $35 or $53, I guess? Yeah, $53 for that one. That's everything that's happened. No, Lucas, you stay here in Tasmili. I'm certain Klaus will come back home sooner or later. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect our village. Oh, I intend to help too, of course. What little I can, at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and the search for the moron, too. Cosme, you heart. 
Oh, well, thank you for the 100 bits, Cosme. Love you, bro. How'd the run go today? Lucas? Don't know why, but I've got a feeling... I've got this feeling that I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go for... I started, like, mad early today, so I'm gonna go... for a little while longer. At least, like, another half hour, probably. But I have really good news. The game actually begins now. Tasmili Village is now transforming exactly how the newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realize that the things that were, were good and right are being tossed away one after another. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows ever stronger. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Still messed up the step head. Look, oh no, and Zeke's fire run. Oh Jesus, really? Well, you can actually have items in your shop? I've never had that happen before. Yay power, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stream for a little while longer, but obviously if I'm doing voice acting, I'm gonna, my voice is gonna fucking die at some point. But I will say this. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Chapter 4 is the beginning of the game. I'm not... I'm not kidding. Chapter 4 is the beginning. I hope you're all ready. Because here we go. It's implied in text later in the game, but he tells him I'm going to find your brother. Chapter 4, Club Titty Boo. Yes, I'm aware of that fucking name. <laughs> yes, four chapters in, the game is beginning. This is where the... What I would consider the real game to begin, that was the prologue. Three years later in Taz Millie Village. Hey, what's up, Nightbird? This is such a big whiplash, what the fuck? Exactly. Welcome. Welcome to this game. Now, there is, um, there is something we do have to do, and I hope you're all okay with it. Then let's go ahead on Grando. Did I miss Awesome VA? Probably not, but I have fingies now, look. Fingies. So that's cool. Um, I, I'm sorry in advance for this.
So we're Lucas, and we're three years older. And we probably have a fucking broken-ass weapon, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> we have the mini-mini charm, which is really good. It's a mini-mini charm and egg. Hang on. Yeah, it is. That's a Leo sweater. Good. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Can I see the beans one more time? They're here. I could do both hands, but I'm holding a controller. Oh, by the way, my favorite line of the game is coming up right now with Boney. I can take you for a walk, walk if you'd like, Lucas. I fucking love that line so much. It's so cute. I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Fuck, man. Uh, you have antidotes in a white collar. Cool. Okay. And then it becomes wholesome again. Absolutely. Hey, you there. Boy. Boy. I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but could you please come talk to me? I have a- Oh my god, I forgot about this, too. I have very important information. And then he slowly backs away? What is this game? It's really good. It's the best game. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given to you in DP. Dragon points. Dragon power, excuse me. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save it. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can't conduct DP transactions, though. Shall I explain that to you again? No. All right, then. Let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Do you need something? Yes. You need a save or perhaps DP stuff? Now the save right now. DP? 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 I told you this game is a trip. I should... You're holding out on saving, but I hope you're holding out on using the bathroom, too. Oh, you're not holding out on using the bathroom. So our house is being assaulted by the lightning that Facade said was coming. <laughs> Weird, right? So welcome to Tasmili Village, three years later. My dad is working at the factory, so he let me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy something? I don't know what you got. Mag oh my god, this motherfucker just sells magic gelatin. Barefoot shoes. Canine. Oh my god, he sells the fucking canine weapon. Good. Non-slip shoes. That is cheese. Cow hat. That is not a cow hat. Okay, some of this stuff is better, but we don't have any money right now, so... Good kid shirt. Wow, he sells a lot of good shit. That's fucking... That's not a bandana. That is french fries. Uh, big city burger. Thud charm. Fuck. Fizzy soda. It's fucking shoes. Uh, warm sweater. Damn, there's a lot of good shit here that I can't afford. Hot dog sushi. Wait, so we can actually need mud to use money now. Yes. Yep. Yep, that's the whole thing. DMCA boxers. DMC pool boxers. Alright. Yeah, I guess he's still peddling like an asshole. He's ignoring you. Oh yeah, there's a frog in the car. Everybody loves this guy. There's a plush of him. Yeah, there's a frog that drives around. He's very good. I wonder what the gas mileage is on that fucking thing. Look at him. He stops, and then he goes. Here he goes. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> this game makes me feel good. Oh, there should be a bandana behind here still, right? I don't think I could use it, though. Got some non-slip shoes. Never mind, it's, a sh it's fucking shoes. Also, it's worth noting, special nursing home for senior citizens, Old Man's Paradise. They turned Wes's house into a senior citizen's home. Gee, I wonder who's that with a tank that size. Probably run about 100 meters. <laughs> You're not wrong. Happy box, of course. Oh, this is a good frog, too. Sh shave your game, Shunny? No, I'm good. Don't worry one bit. I may be old, but I'm still good at shaving as ever. Imagine if that thing had a chance of corrupting. Old Man's Paradise does sound like a resident. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's Alec. We don't need him. Looks like a prison. What the fuck? The facade guy is screwing everything up in every possible way. What is he trying to do to this village? There's a bird in here. I like how there's like, it's squeaky. I forget what I have to do first. 
I think I gotta go... Oh, I know what I have to do. This is like... <laughs> yeah, it's like a prison. There's a frog car. Don't get hit by it. Come on now, Jackie, get real. Can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen hide no hair no, of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. There's a concert hall called Club Titty Boo. They passed the fac factory, and the bass player in there kinda looks like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he is Duster. But he looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, we'd only be wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out to be wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Got to say how he is. I did too, don't worry. You forgot the greetings. Anyway, time to head home and have a chow and watch, my ha watch the happy box. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving, too. Well, see ya, Lucas. Tell Flint I said hi. Alright, see ya. <laughs> oh man, Wes is on... Facade! Stop it! You quit ruining this town any more than you already have! There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think the guys behind I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant! Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs. The heck is going on with this game? This is Mother 3, man. This is the best game. Why hello there, Mr. Wiss. You know, if you keep making veins, on, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair, in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea of what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on the way back to your home. <laughs> Fucking net! Cease this violence! I'm not a bug. I'm an old man. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already, so you could be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. <laughs> just seeing your guys' reactions makes me happy. Makes it makes makes the throat pain worth it. I really embarrassed myself earlier. But curse that facade treating me like a bug, like a stag beetle. Fuck. This guy, I swear. Yeah, he's great. What? A guy who looks just like Duster? By the way, show of hands, how many people have actually played You have the Voyeur? Get the fuck out of here, you guys. You're wrong. No. Get, uh, leave. Go. <laughs> You're wrong. A guy who looks just like Duster. Could that moron still be? Lucas? I'll lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, but could you go and see if this lookalike really is the my moron or not? Facade's cronies are on the lookout for me, so I can't go anywhere or do anything. Please, go find that moron for me. Okay, bye. You don't have to leave. I'm kidding. It was a joke, dude. No. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, don't actually leave. I'll feel bad. If you find Duster, send this duff and duff, duff. Send this dove and let me know. I know, boy. Good. Yeah, you know I wouldn't want you to leave. Coo, coo, coo. At long last, my time has to be useful has come! It's like me every morning when, like, I help someone smile. Receive the carrier pigeon. Thanks, Lucas. I'd go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. Hmm. Might as well save. We did a couple things. 
Just shave your game, Sonny. Yeah, of course. Let's save an old man frog. You might be kidding, but I'm not. About what? Oh, the voice acting thing? Get out of here. It's bad. <laughs> it's 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 gonna be bad, I told you guys. It's fine. I'm not that good at doing the thing. It's enjoyable, what do you mean? I mean, I guess if you guys are enjoying it, that's good. I'm glad. Maybe I'll do it more often. I'm just really self-conscious about it. Hi. The train goes directly to the factory from this station is currently out. But the conductors are out of town. But the conductor out of conductor's out of town, so I don't know when the train will be coming back today. If you really want to go to the factory, I suggest you just walk on the train tracks. Get going, bitch. Don't tell anyone I said that, though, because you'll die. Voice acting practice stream when? I mean, like, fucking, I don't know if I'm going to get any bit better than this, to be honest. Oh, isn't there, like, a fucking present up here or some shit? Yeah, there is. Hello. Magic gelatin. That restores pee, pee It's very good. Let's get going. Gotta go to fucking Club Titty Boo. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is this the fucking... Yeah, it is. The Mr. T-looking motherfucker. Pity the fool. Well, I'm off the rest before dinner. Have a great stream, friend. Thank you, Cosme, for the raid again. I'll have to join you guys one of these days. I'm kind of locked in because everyone was super fucking generous for charity, so now I gotta stream a bunch of games. But yeah. <laughs> I'll join you guys eventually. I'm down for that. I don't know what reason you got. But it looks like you want to go through the tunnel, right? A pity the fool that wants to go through there. I know you won't listen to me if I try to stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. Don't tell anybody about this, though. It's weed. It was for the kids. It was for the kids, and you guys were super generous. Do you know what the most frightening thing about inside tunnels are? Nope. They're not the slither hens or the mushrooms, or anything like that. The answer is trains. Trains are the most dangerous thing of all. So be very careful not to get hit by any. Why does he look like Mr. T? I don't know. There was a guy in, in, in Earthbound that looked like Mr. T, too. Ba-ding, ba-ding. Oh, mushroom. Who is Mr. T, by the way? Seriously? He is a dude that used to be on the A-Team, which is an old show. He's also, uh, he's the guy with, like, the mohawk, and he has, like, all the gold chains and shit. And he says, I pity the fool. A-Team. Yeah, it was a show. And he says, I pity the fool and all that shit. And, um, yeah, stuff like that. If you don't know the one from the A-Team, yes. All right, time to fight a mushroom. Rambling mushroom. Ramble the mushroom attacks. Ow. Got him. Noted. I must watch the humans. I must watch. A team was good. A team was actually pretty good. It still kind of holds up. It's a little corny, but it's it's pretty good. Bony leveled up. Bony is like the best boy. The enemy left behind a present. There was an edible mushroom inside. That seems odd. What? Oh, now we're in the shit. Let's go. Everybody ready? The Slither Hen and its cohort started to attack. So, it's... Oh, my daddy does. What the fuck? The dog has no pee-pee. He doesn't have, uh... <laughs> He's been to the vet. Uh, so everything we're going to be fighting from this point on is usually some sort of amalgamation. Pecked with his beak. Ow. Pee-pee is gone. Ramble mushes scattered in spores. Great. Dodge quickly. Nice. So their hand is that some Harry Potter shit? <laughs> no, but that's funny. Lucas and company earned 61. Enemy left behind a present. There was an edible mushroom inside. Nice. Wait, I have PP already. Do I? I don't know any. I don't know any PSI yet. Do I? No, I don't even have the menu for it. I was going to say, I don't think you learned that until... Oh my god, that scene. Alright, so like... There's a scene... Coming up where you're going to think something's happening, but it's not.
You're welcome. Ah! <laughs> Stop it! Is this it? No, not quite yet. Yeah. Oh fuck! The squawking stick. Squawking sticks are bad, bad for business. So we're going to be tricked. Got it. No, 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 no. You're gonna think. You're gonna think something's happening. You're not gonna be tricked. Yeah, kinda. I mean, yeah, you're kind, you're kind of gotta be, you're kind of gonna be tricked. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's say that. Never mind, you just killed it. A locust does not have a lot of defense, but boy howdy, he makes up for it. With his throwing arm. But down, but down. But down, do. Here we are. Woof. Oh boy, here we go. Yep. Woof, 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 woof. You don't say. Hey, you caught me stark naked. Oh, aren't you that boy I met at Aeolia's house three years ago? Remember, you said you were going to the Drago Plateau to avenge your mother. Huh? That wasn't you? Really? How odd. I'm Ionia, one of the Magipsies. This is a magical butterfly colony. I often come here to revitalize after I've worn myself out from overuse of my PSI. Klaus, yes indeed. I mean, you can't get hit if they're dead, you're not wrong. Are you here because you overused your PSI too? Oh, you've never heard of PSI? That's odd, I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Wait, just endure it for a bit. Don't struggle. Just endure it for a bit. Yeesh. Just a little more. Okay. Yeah, he was just it was just kinda like putting him under the water. It wasn't any it wasn't what you thought. It wasn't it wasn't the fucking you guys are fucking pervert. It wasn't what you thought. He was just putting him under the water. That's that's all it was. <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. Some something awoken inside Lucas. Lucas learned life up alpha, learned healing alpha. Lastly, welling from the depths of his heart. Lucas realized the power of PK Chat Alpha. Lucas learned how to use PSI. We probably learned a lot more than that because of the randomizer. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You can use PK Chat. <laughs> Not even the Gypsies are able to use that. You sly devil, you. I don't know where you came from or where you're going, but we might meet again. We're in the game, yes, indeed. It's us. <laughs> yeah. So at least tell me your name. Lucas. Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go. I don't want to... I want to boil up too. Neat. Uh, so... Let me see. Okay, so the only other one that we learned was PSI Life Up Gamma, which is a full heal. And PK Chat. The original is love, by the way. Favorite thing is love. Also, Karo, I'm more worried about the fact that you made it sound worse than it actually was. I just voice acted the lines. So that's all I did. Please, God, and I show in the background. Also, what's up, Metal Siren? How we doing? So one of these... Oh, there he is. That was a butterfly in there. Not you, Nintendo. I mean, like, Nintendo did do it, yeah. Hello. Up. I'm a magical butterfrog. I'm not very proud of my name. Do you need something? Yes. I want to save my game. Hey, girl. Yeah, what's going on? I'm doing voice acting. I'm going to go a little bit longer because I've been. I'm, I really like this game, so we're going. We're doing long boys today. Okay. Sneak up in the slither hen. Now 
it's dead. Yup, frog. A butter frog. I want one. Yes, indeed. Ah, ah, Jesus. Can I sneak up on him? Nope. A really flying mouse is attacking. What the fuck is this? They put a propeller on a mouse. F Boney? Boney is the name of the dog, yes. Flying mouse uses a biting attack. Ow. Oh, it's dead now. Yeah, Boney is the name of the dog. He's very good. Boney's now level 10. Nice. Ba -dang, ba -dang. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, fuck, a mushroom. Mushrooms are kind of tough. I'm trying to avoid them if I can. Ah! A really flying mouse. That's fine. Really flying mouse are okay. The froth with the butter on him. <laughs> I fucking love butter dog. My pal Wes showed me that a while ago. The fucking butter dog. It's fucking great. I actually have a picture um, that I made where I put the butter on my uh, Sona's head and I was butter dog. We were all butter dog that day. Uh, let's heal. Nice. Ba ding doo. Ba ding doo doo. Ooh, what nice. A cow hat? I could use some defense, I hope. Oh, fuck! <laughs> that's a lot of. That's a large. That's a large number. <laughs> Can I see Butter Dog? I'll, I'll try to find it. I don't know where the fuck it is anymore. It might be on my phone somewhere, and if that's the case, it's in the void, basically, at that point. Cow hat. Does he have a cat on? He doesn't have a hat on, but he has good defense. Now I'm invincible. That what? Yeah, what does that increase? It's the randomizer. Oh, hi. Should be good for a while now. The reconstructed mole suddenly attacks. Hmm. Called for help. Cool. So this is another song that the music is different because you gotta go, holy shit, that's insane. Yeah. You gotta go da 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 You have to do it to the bass line. So if you wait for that little part to come up, you can actually just spam. <laughs> yeah, that the the randomizer has definitely blessed me this day. It has made the game at least a little bit easier because holy shit, voice acting is hard. I want to explain something to everyone. What just happened there? That is an extremely rare occurrence that the last time we played this game, I didn't even fucking know existed. I have never seen that. It is rare as fuck. And you just saw it. You, you there, there it is. For, for your, for your viewing pleasure. It was... Is it useful? Fuck no. It's just you dodging a train. But I think you can die from that if you're in the middle of the tracks. If you walk on the tracks, there's a chance that a train will come down it. We need the clip. Yeah, I someone should clip that if you can. But do, Oh, that's a cattle snake, by the way. Don't worry about it. Squawking sticks usually have a good drop for Lucas that you can farm, but since it's not the base game, I'm assuming they probably fucking don't. Yeah, that's extremely rare from what I'm to understand. On non-slip shoes. Again, so many fucking shoes. But I saw it. Yeah, I was... I fucking died. Fuck, dude. This fucking squawking sticks. God damn it. Tried life up alpha. Well, it worked. Okay, Twitch reloading the whole page. It isn't supposed to. Oh! How did it peck me? I can't even go back now. It's okay. I'll highlight it because, like, legit, I'll highlight it and send it to you later if I need to. If it can't be clipped. I mean, left behind a present. There was a good stick. Oh, it actually did have the good stick. Well, fuck. Is it better than my stick? Yeah, a little bit.
A goddess bestiaire. I'm pretty sure I can't equip that. Strong as fire and ice. Yeah, that's only for a girl. It's girl stuff. Life is a tease. <laughs> it's okay. We'll clip it and we'll go back. It's okay. How much DP do I have now? 200. Okay, good to know. Also, I want to save. Oh, is that the clip? Butter Dog Likes Trains. <laughs> good fucking clip name. Also, I'll be right back. I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Y'all hang on for one second. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Wait, what happened? We made Curl laugh so hard that he had to pee. <laughs> Is that his? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Wait. Music somehow fits with the beer. How the fuck do I do this? How do I do it? A fucking professional. <laughs> I don't know. I get lucky, I think. Vending machine, would you like to use it? Yeah, I gotta see what's in it. Because they're randomized. The awesome cloak. Okay, fresh lumber. Uh, I can't use that. Yeah, Taurus bracelet would be great, but I can't get it. Oh, a mosquito charm would be good for both of them, and I could afford that. Do they have anything on their body? Goddess bustier. I could sell the goddess bustier for now and get some shit. Let's see. Do I have anything that sells for a fuckload? Oh, these non-slip shoes that I have several of sell for a fuckload. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Um... I'm going to sell that, and then we're going to buy some stuff. Let's buy a canine weapon for Boney, because that's like the only weapon he can get. A dog biscuit. Alligator hat. Fuck, fuck yeah. Can I afford the canine weapon? I just saw it. Where was it? There it is. Canine weapon. No, I want to see what the difference is. Uh, alligator hat. Okay, ordinary hat. Big City Soda... Uh, alligator hat would be good for Boney, but bad for Lucas. Is there anything else? Mosquito charm apparently is good for both of them, so I'm gonna grab one for you. Fuck. And then Taurus bracelet would be good for you. Okay, so mosquito charm, no. Uh, DMCA hat I could get, maybe for Boney. Which one's more expensive? That Usually the more expensive one is the one that's better. Attack attractor, sharp shoes. Doggy biscuit. Alligator hat's more expensive, so I'm gonna assume it's better. Cool. And that's, I think, that's it for now. Pretty sure. Do they have anything else that I should be aware of? Because this is completely random. Big City Soda. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck me up with those Big City Sodas. Oh, they sell doggy biscuits twice, which is very good. That one gives you a YCMA, YMCA hat. That one gives you a lawsuit. <laughs> Teach me? Okay, I can. I'll, but I'll be more than happy to help you out. Wear it with the license to go to jail. <laughs> All right, let's let's do a little bit of a quippy. Mosquito charm is a fucking huge boost. 
Didn't get anything for that. Oops. Uh, the canine weapon. 69. Nice. Uh, Mosquito Charm makes his defense go up, but his offense and max HP go down, so I'm not going to do that. Alligator Hat. There we go. Cool. We're decked out to the fucking max right now. A little license to go to chill. Yeah. Hello. Hey, you suspicious fellows. What are you doing here? What's that? You want to go to Club Teddy Boo? It's a very special place for the workers go here to relieve the daily exhaustion. <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to. It's not for people who don't work here. You absolutely have to go there. Then it's just, it's just, a, then it's simple. Just get a part-time job and work here. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Yeah. I have a question. In which way is Mother equal Earthbound or Earthbound equals Mother? Mother is the Japanese name for Earthbound. Earthbound is Mother 2. This is Mother 3. Uh, Earthbound was the American name for Mother 2. So, yeah. And an Earthbound Beginnings is technically Mother 1. Yeah? Then that makes things easy. Job is to transport Clayman. First, you go all the way inside. You'll find a ladder down. Go down it. You'll get a bunch of claimant in the area below. Some of that'll be ex almost out of energy, so you gotta bring them back up here. Bring them back one at a time. After you brought up three, you're done. Just to be safe, I'll give you a sketch of the factory, as how the factory is laid out. A... So, like, Mother 3 is Earthbound 2, yes. We don't talk about Mother 1 since it doesn't exist. I played Mother 1 recently on stream. It's very hard, because it's an NES, old, old-ass NES RPG. It's very hard. Got a factory sketch. Oh, and sign your name on this document. No, 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 not your name. You, I mean, you know, the name of the, the person in the background. The person pulling the strings, I guess you could say. What I mean to say is the, 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 the player's name. I just need it for verification purposes, but it's nothing too important. You know how it is. Anyway, if you could, that'd help us a lot. Yeah, it didn't change. Fourth wall break, they do that a lot. I stand corrected then, yeah. It's, I, I, I beat it, yeah. It's, it's hard. Great, Kuro. Is that your name, correct? Yeah. Kuro. Alright, got it. I'll add it to our records. Now listen. Don't do anything bad inside because it'll only inconvenience Kuro. Don't forget that. Alright then, work hard. If you're threatening me, be pig mask, let me just be very clear that I'll rip your fucking nuts off and feed them to you. Hold on, dog. Dogs, dog have dog things to keep them busy. Dog, go ahead and sit, do what the boss dog says. Oh, Boney doesn't want to work. So could we have entered characters' names and that would work too? Or that not work? You can enter any name, because if your name is Lucas, then yeah. You can enter any name you want there. It's supposed to be your character name. It's supposed to be your name. So I entered my name. Claim and low on energy are very weak. So you know the ones that they are right away. All right, hop to it. Fuck you. And Boney's doing this. Also, that's a pig. Boney's having a great time. Time to work. So we have to find like slouchy Clayman. Clayman. It's not too hard to spot him, really. I think this is entirely RNG. I'm not sure though. I don't know if they're random every time. I think they are. Here's here's one of them. So you just gotta like lead them back. It's kind of hard to control sometimes, but it's it's you gotta just do it. So basically, we all work in the acid mines now. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the acid mines. There is a reason they're digging here, but I don't want to say what it is right now because it's a spoiler for the rest of the game. There is a reason they're digging though. It doesn't come up till like way later though, so we're not. I'm not gonna say it. Like I said, I've I've done this game before. I just like I said, no spoiler. I'm not spoiler knowing anything until we get to it. Sorry, my upstairs neighbors. I, I guess decided to finally like you know wrestle upstairs. I'm sorry if you heard that giant fucking thud. This is a daily occurrence. Oh, you brought one out. You brought one already, have you? Okay, hold on a sec. <laughs> yup, nut. <laughs> There's that nut. Oh, there they go again. They got their stompy boots on. Let me cry when the game tells me to. Yeah, girl. Let me cry when the game. Yeah, I will not. I will not spoil any of the cry. Do not worry. 
You will, um, I, uh, the, 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 the cry will not be spoiled. Mods know that if anybody's, but most of my mods have seen this game before. So, like, if you, you know if someone's spoiling shit, you have full permission to just time them the fuck out. Or if there's somebody that's here and they do it by accident, or, or ban them, or if it's somebody's here that did it by accident, just time them out. You know, that's, that's the, that's the rule. Don't, don't spoil. Don't be a dick. Don't be five. Oh, good work, Lucas. Can I as ban? No. Because you could get, like, IP banned, and that's bad, so we're not... I don't even ban people as a joke. Uh, because, like, Twitch does a thing where, like, you could, like, get IP banned, and that could be bad, because then you might not be able to chat. And I don't want to do that, so... Bans are reserved for people that actually deserve punishment. There should be more. Just bring them up here. I'll do it. The heck is... Does IP... What the heck? Wait, Twitch does IP ban? Well, apparently they were doing a thing where, like, if you ban someone from your chat, there's a there's a possibility if you've been banned other places that you could get, like, an IP ban. Like, a soft IP ban. It's weird. Why get banned for foreign than they gave without even knowing? Well, obviously, if you don't know what's going on, you know... Oh, well, this is easy. Hello. If you don't know what's going on, we're not gonna fucking ban you. Just, you know... I, I, will, I will call it out, you know, if it needs to be, like, you know... Purged. I'll just be like, hey, can we purge chat because people are talking about stuff that, you know. Dude. Just a sec. The soft IP ban. It's like you can still chat, but like you may be banned and you might not know it. It's kind of like, you ever see how Twitter does that thing where like they um, they uh, they hide your tweets from people? Like certain tweets? Also, wait. Was that Duster? No. Duster's at Club Titty Boo. He's part of the he's part of the band, assumedly. No, these are the people from the village. These are all people from Tasmili. Could you get to the fucking door, dude? No, there's a no. That's not Duster. That's just that's like honk nose. All right, good work. You can just leave it there. We'll handle it from here. Go get the next one. <laughs> Imagine if there was a fanfare that played every time you did something at work. That'd be incredible. Damn, insignificant bald guy then, yes indeed. Just 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 non plot relevant Oh man, that guy's got the zoomies, you see him? Insignificant plot plot irrelevant character. Oh, here he is. Hello. I don't think these are random. I'm pretty sure they're in the same spot every time. I'm trying to get like past you and not push you, but this is hard, so you know, you know how it goes. Like pushing is a little weird, but it it, it works. It's it's better than it it's better than it it, it, it has any right to be. Wasted hours fixing a bug recently, changing three characters. Really? By the way, when the fuck are we gonna get an edit butter button on Twitter? Because Twitter, you can't trust me to actually fucking like. I know that's like the the meme and everything like that, dude. Are you serious? Okay, cool. Um, I know that's like the meme and everything, but like, it's fucking, it's the current year. Why, why the fuck can I not edit my tweets? Just a sec. Like, make it like time sensitive. Nope, suffer. <laughs> yeah, I just, I've had to delete tweets before because I had a mistype in them and I was like, well, I don't want that. And I just sent like a supportive message to somebody the other day and I realized it had a typo in it, but they had already liked it. I, yeah, you can delete them, but like he'd already liked it, so it'd be socially awkward to repost it if he if he already saw it. Like I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's like I I gotta own up to my fucking, and I don't want to like tweet him again to correct the one thing that like he probably didn't even give a fuck about because he probably read it the right the first time. Like I, I I don't, it's stupid. Fuck. Well, good work. That's enough for today. Don't forget to get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. Job is done. You finished your part-time job. I want pay. Oh, good job today. Here's your reward for a hard day's work. Got a ticket. And here's your pay for today. 200 DP. Nice. Work every day. You can make even more money. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young after all. It's gotten really late. <laughs> Go relax at Club Titty Boo and have a good time. Good job today. I did it. Hello, I'd like to save. 
By the way, if anybody's wondering, like, I know probably the question might have came up at some point. Um, can you just work there every day and not progress? No, it's it's a storyline thing. It's only a part-time job, but that was quick, yeah. Um, there is, um, you may be wondering, like, why would you ever deposit money if you die in this game? Uh, that's the, the item deposit guy, by the way. If you die in this game, you lose half of whatever money's held on your person at the time. There's a fucking treasure chest over there. I knew there was. Big city boy. Got a Borglar. In the randomizer, I don't find a use for, like, the storage guy because I don't really need to save stuff because I get such random shit, it doesn't matter. Dance! Yes, indeed. Most of these enemies are kind of bad news. Got an area map. Here is the map. Hello. The ropeway leads to Club Titty Boo. You want to ride it up? Yeah. Tickets, please. Yes, everything is in order here. Please, get on. Get on my fucking ropeway. Do it, you won't. You're way too fucking scared. Time to go clubbing. Real club hours. Ha! Lucas opened the present. Well, that was pleasant for my right ear. So which order should I play these games? Mother Earthbound, Mother 3. Um, literally in order. Literally in order. They all kind of lead into each other in one way or another. Cool. I'm going to save real quick. I need to save. Thank you. You, If you play them in order. But I would say if you want the best experience... I wouldn't play the first one first. I would play Earthbound first. Because the first one is kind of rough. Um, if you get the tomato translation of the first one, you can get an item called the Easy Ring which I would highly recommend equipping. It makes the game pretty much playable. Um, but other than that, yeah. Oh, here we go. Whoa there. Haven't seen you around before. We don't allow pets inside. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Yeah, come back some other time. How do I get the most out of the plot? Difficult to decide. Yeah, like the... There's a lot of stuff that's used in the first one that's used in Earthbound. But at the same time, I feel like you probably get a better experience if you played Earthbound first and kind of knew what the game was before you played the first one. It's weird. Sad doggo. No, it's okay. Because then this happens. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa. It's that guy that had the dog with him just a minute ago. And some dog-like dude. No. There's something fishy about this. Where'd that dog go from earlier? Where'd that dog-like dude come from? And on top of that, you smell underaged. I hate that. You smell like an underage kid and a dog. Now that you mention it, this is weird. No suspicious people allowed. That's our rules here. Scram! Get lost, you kid-like guy and you dog-like dude. Nah, I say we pulverize them right here. This is great, Scooby. The <laughs> cat, yeah. Oh my. If it isn't the underage smelling poo and the dog smelling woof. I'll take you to. I take it you two have been mistaken for an underage kid to dog again. <laughs> Giggle. What? You know these dudes, Violet? I don't know. I still say there's something not right about these guys, especially this dog-like dude over here. Shake! Don't look away from me. Shake! See? You do know how to shake. Yes, I do know how to shake, but... Christ, I think my neighbors are actually dying upstairs. <laughs> At least there'll be some peace of quiet now, Jesus. This is definitely a dog-like... This 
guy is definitely Dog Knight, but he seems like he isn't a dog. But dude, by chance you are a dog. You'd be one of the best dogs I'd ever shake. Heh. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Wonderful. Come in, we'll have lots of fun and forget about all your worries. Hey, Toad. Have fun. It's an MMA fight up in there, yeah. Whew, that was scary. Shh. Listen, but don't change your expression on your face. I know I'm just this crappy girly outfit, but it's me, Kumatora. We met in the Sunshine Forest, remember? I'll explain everything later. Put on a smile, will ya? Okay, good. Okay, the next DMCA song is about to begin. Please go on and find some empty seats. Giggle. Alright, but first there's like some shops I gotta fucking... Here we are, Big City Sodas. Now on, now on sale now at Club Titty Boo. Should really get one at least once. Giggle. What do you got? You got ordinary shoes. An otter hat. Expensive gloves. Damn. Friends yo-yo. Hot dog sushi. White ribbon. Flea powder. The master's stick. It looks like a fucking Q-tip. Double jerky, which is apparently a cape. A better stick, which is not better than mine. The Aquarius bracelet, which apparently is better than what I'm wearing. No. I want to see how much better. A giant abalone steak. Cool. Well, that was a wholesome ending. Sure was. Uh, let me see. How much better is that bracelet? Or I guess I don't have anything equipped. Oh, damn. 20 defense? Fuck yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Also this guy. Hey, how's it going? Got some homemade DMCA merch here, right here. If it breaks or rip, I'll stay up all night to fix it. Nah, just kidding. I get a lot. But never mind. Buy some of these DMCA goods. Throw it, bitch. You won't. Leo's bra Leo bracelet. The awesome ring. A real bat. Hot spring egg, souvenir dress, DMCA ring. Spiky weapon. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Enemy whimperizer. Hermit crab shell, Gemini bracelet. Lucky Rice, Red Hat, Alolan Coat, a Meteorite. It's, that's just literally worth money, so buying it would be pointless. My favorite pizza. Scarlet Ribbon, Big City Soda, Souvenir Dress, Cup of Pork Noodles. It's a baseball bat. <laughs> with licensed ringtones. Yeah! Ready with the spray bottle. Let's go. Get your prison, get prison on your phone. Yeah. Hey! Yeah! Whistle, whistle. Yeah, I love you, Magic! Basio, Basio! OJ, whoo! You have to go to bed, see you, Fluffs. Have a good night, Nightbird. Zmiz. You're the greatest! Yeah, lucky! Okay, I'm not going too much longer. Wow, you really are late. The DMC concert's already over, Choo Choo. Everyone's just waiting for the encore now. You don't say. Tondagasa. My line of sight, that girl is, who's always at the beach. She's staring at me like she really likes me. I'm starting to think I could like her too. Aren't this like, there's like a constant storyline? Tondagasa. In my line of sight, is, a, is that man who's always staring at me at the beach. He's staring at me like he really likes me. I'm starting to think I could like him, too. Supposedly, there's a g one guy who makes, makes the whole world go round. No, actually. I'm sure, not sure if, the guy, if it's a guy or not. No, actually, I'm not sure if it's a guy or not. I guess it could be a woman or even a kid. Fuck it. I don't fucking know. Lucky the bass player definitely looks a lot like Duster. But I don't know, there's something different about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. Look at this guy. I hope the encore starts soon. I'm Kermit the Frog. Oh, and after the concert, one of the girls here will give you a free DMCA pamphlet. Yay! See that scary looking guy over there? Thought for sure he was our head honcho, but apparently there are people way, way higher up the ladder than him. You have to talk to everybody in this room and then you proceed. Just by the way. I've been wondering about this for a while now. But you know Lucky, the bass player. That totally has to be a wig. <laughs> I gotta talk to the big boy over here. Ew. You have such a hairy face. It's 
front row seats belong to us. Stay away from here. You have some nerve. We got big boy now. Pork trooper. I think we're whipping out the fucking deep voice for this boy. Hang on. Yeah. What do you want? You smell like a dog. Like a dog and a kid. This ain't no place for a dog smelling kids to come. Perfect. Nailed it. Satan is here. Yeah. Woof. The encore won't start if we keep walking around like this. Sit down, okay? Yeah. Yeah, Satan is here. Woof, woof. Walking like this makes me exhausted. I just have him talk like a fucking dog. Oh, it's the Italian boy. Bobbity boopy. What would you like to drink, sir? You want... Water? Pfft. <laughs> Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was wondering who would win the world but order water in a tight place like this. I mean, come on, water. <laughs> Why does he run like that? I don't know. It's probably like some sort of thing. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Hey, Violet Baby. One fizzy soda for this here boy and a big city cola for his dog like a friend. It's on a me. The great Thomas, of course. He sounds he, like it borders between French and like, Italian. Certainly, sir. One fizzy soda instead of water, one big city cola coming right up. Can a so dog have soda? I feel like probably not. I don't feel like anyone should have soda, but that's fine. Wow, I never thought I'd see you here, Lucas. Well, here I am. Here you are, gentlemen. Shh, listen, but don't change your expression on your face. There's a lot we need to talk about after the DMCA concert is over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. French alien? Yeah, I guess so. All right, see you later. You idiot. Don't change the expression. Ah, still don't have my fucking McDonald's. Well, enjoy yourselves. Hey, Lucas. What were you and Violet talking about now? I never knew you were such a ladies' man. Woohoo! Oh, it's a starting! Oh fuck, I need voices for five people, quick. Well, four people. Town to Gossa. Are you ready for the- are you enjoying the show? Oh, my pork! Looks like our time is up, sad to say. So here's one last song for you. It's called King P's Theme. Hit it! Oh, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, that's like, that's kind of what I was going for, like, biker. She hasn't tasted a McGriddle three years later. <laughs> yeah! She just wants her fucking McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. Free concert. Don't tell Twitch. I like how a saxophone is a fucking trumpet. <laughs> DMCA time. This song is not. It's it's part of the game. Wait a minute. If you rearrange D DCMC, it spells DC DMCA. Fuck. Oh, I'm fucked. Everyone, shut this. Shut, shut the stream down. Shut it. Shut it down. Shut it down. We're done. About to comment on that. <laughs> End it. <laughs> Up or <laughs> Fuck, DCMC is gonna have my fucking channel shut down. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably finish this part, which is not very much longer. Um, and then we'll probably be done. Because this is like, kind of starts the next chapter off. Kuro is gone. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, this is my last stream because of that. You hate to see it. Woof, woof. My ears are ringing. Give me a free pamphlet. DMCA show is great. So full of soul. How about a DMCA pamphlet as a souvenir of your visit to Club Titty Boo? Yes. They're real popular with diehard fans. 
You just sword yourself some sweet, nice swag. Who the fuck says that? I got a DMCA pamphlet. Nice. Is it better than my weapon? Because it could be. Nah, it's not. It's also an alarm cicada. Uh... <laughs> I'm giving out the bony for no reason. DMCA, DMCA concert, yeah! <laughs> Time to go to Picardo now. <laughs> yeah, exactly! Time to go get my new following on Picardo. This way, this way. Keep out. Staff only. Well, fuck. Going to have to bone you for no reason. What? What? Come on, hurry up, it's this way. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, it's not that way, so let's not go that way. Oh, hi. Slugs. Let's fuck them up. Isn't that what you said? No, I don't think so. I don't believe that's what came out of my mouth. Damn it. Slug attacks. Oh, fuck. Hypnosis Alpha? Damn it, I'm asleep. Well, one's down. I don't think that's what I said, is it? I'm, I mean, I've been streaming for like almost six hours. It could have been. I must have heard wrong then. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, fuck. Oh, don't do it. Okay. Lucas woke up nice. They're dead. I was gonna say shit. I don't think I said that. Pony's now level 11. Nice. Get some decent HP from that. Gross slugs. That secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention the sticky junk from all those slugs. I'm gonna hop in a shower real quick, so you just relax here. Frog. Do I need something? Yes, I want to save. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Absolutely. No problem here. No problem here. Yep, frog. Some way or another, I wound up in this fancy room. Anyway, go shower, you two. There's a hot spring in there. There's a, there's even a hot spring in there, if that's your thing. We can talk afterwards. No. You're exhausted and dirty, aren't you? The shower will freshen you right up. No. I know you want to hurry and all, but come on, you guys reek. Just go shower. No. How about you, doggy? Want me to shampoo you all up? Woof. Just take a damn shower already! That's my... F I love that Easter egg so much. If you just deny the shower a lot, she just fucking yells at you. After showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling in the three of your calf that separated them. I love that so much. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird egg from Oso Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DMCA members appears to be an amnesic duster. <laughs> and they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tazmili Village. As if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they knew all too well. They have fucking tanks and shit. It's gonna be bad. I want to be stronger. It was around this time that Lucas truly began to have such a feeling. Such feelings, excuse me. I want to be a real boy. <laughs> and that's how I finally managed to sneak myself in here. But we'll never get out of here. We'll never find out what happened to the hummingbird egg until Duster regains his memories. At this rate, there's no telling when those pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, I see Duster and see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember something if he sees you too. Especially the dog in the hat. That's hilarious. They're guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want to risk making things more complicated. So fucking go up here. 
Climb up this ladder and go through the attic. You can get the duster's room that way. It's not the most direct way of getting there, but you're less likely to get caught. I'll get all the DMCA members... DM, I said DMCA. DCMC members together. I'll need to explain the situation to them, too. See you in a bit. Hope you don't get DMCA. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Let's go. So this part's usually CBT, but we're a little bit stronger than we normally should be. Mice are greedy and love to collect things. Would you like to buy some of mine? Yeah. What do you got? Mini Mini Charm. Uh, Friends Yo-Yo. A very good stick. Pumice Charm. Oh, Pumice Charm would be good, but I don't, I don't have money for it. Enemy Wimperizer. Master Stick! <laughs> Fucking sell on the doorknob. Uh, the Mystic Stick. Awesome Cloak. Batum Charm. In it, T. Souvenir Dress. Yeah, I don't think any of them can wear that. Swallow Bandana. Beef Jerky. Nope, I think we're good. DMCBT! Thanks. No problem. Let's fucking fuck some boys up. Attic guide. Lovely. Now I can see where the fucking attic is. Nice. This music is bumping, by the way. Hello. An arachnid! Its cohorts blocked away. Bit with his venomous fangs. You fucking would. Okay, well, there are only two hits. Oh, you fucker. I think healing Alpha might be able to heal poison. If not, I think Boney has antidotes. Lucas is now level 12. Oh, he got 15 HP from that. Fuck yeah. Let's see. Healing Alpha. Thank you. For Christ. Oh, uh, let's see. Attic guide. Uh, okay. Bidding, 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 bidding. Present. White ribbon. I don't believe that's better for either of us. No. Arachnids are back. Mouse. You encountered the greedier mouse. He said some nasty, horrible things. You hate to see it. He's dead. Don't say those nasty fucking things to me. Get out of here. Left the present behind, and the present is a bag of big city fries. A whole fucking bag of fries sounds delicious. Flame pendant. Time out. No, nope, it's a fucking banana. Uh, strong against fire. I doubt it's even that. I'll be honest. It's completely random. Really after a mental state in this game. Yeah. We got a spider and a bat. Petty attacks. Okay, managed to not get poisoned. I'm really not sure what the beat is for this one. There we go. Bonus level is now 12. Nice. He needs a little bit more HP there. Gonna fight me? Yeah, you are. Yeah, this uh, this uh, game is very uh, mentally taxing, I'll say that. In the confusion, the greedier mass tried to steal something, but failed. Nice. That's okay, he's fucking dead now. This game is good, though. I really enjoy this. Enemy left behind a present. There was peculiar cheese inside. Peculiar cheese works differently on different people because they like cheese more or less, depending. It's interesting. Oh fuck, there's a walking drum. Oh, present. Rich kid stew, fuck yeah. Gonna eat like Richie Rich tonight. Do not. Oh, he did. Gently weeping guitar suddenly attacked. Used an electric shock attack. Damn it. That's okay. We saved some of that damage. Attacks from all angles in every way. Yes, it does. Also worth noting, if you end a battle while your health is still rolling, it stops rolling. Thud char Oh, Thud Charm was the good one, wasn't it? I think. 
Where is it? Who has it? Oh, Boney has it. Hang on. I'm going to give it to Lucas. Hang on. we got to do a little bit of inventory crap here real quick. You can have... Actually, I can just drop that. That's fine. It's worse, so we don't need it. Uh, give to Lucas, yeah. Uh, DMC and Pamphlet. We do need Mosquito Charm. Oh, wait. He has a Mosquito Charm that he just says I'm equipped. Okay. Goddess Bussier. I'm not sure if it's better yet because fucking, you know, I don't need this. So there we go. Thud Charm is better, so let's equip that. How much better is it? Two. But still, though. Increases protection from all status elements as well. So if it actually does that... I like how you speak. Speed is a good skill to have in battles, then, so it's a nice spin to turn it. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely is. You can also, like, instant win battles if you're strong enough, but I don't think I am right now. Fuck. Please do not. Oh, he just did a bite. Nice. Yeah, speed is a good thing to have. Soaked. Yeah, speed is good. That's why I put the tech speed on high, because honestly, it helps quite a bit. 91. Lucas is now level 13. You got a lot of fucking HP from that, which is great. I should probably heal Boney, yeah? Or does Boney just not have that much HP? Oh no, he has a decent amount. I'll just heal everybody up. That's fine. The rats. Oh, wait. I, I just wasted that, because I can just do this. Some nice stuff was inside. You ate it right there. Felt something warm inside your heart. This is cholesterol. I do need something. I'd like to save. There we go. We be speed here, yeah, indeed. Ow. Be careful out there. Give, me, give your regards to the next frog. I mean, isn't there a door here? No, there's not. I was wrong. Dead wrong. Of course, the fucking spider comes in. He's dead. Nice. Sizing up the situation, and he felt a little strange. Strangest is a, uh... The strangest is a, uh, kind of like confusion. A little bit. Kinda, sorta. Not really, though. It's, it's hard to describe. It, you can do a variety of things when you're feeling strange. None of them usually are good. Here is our boss. As you can plainly see. I, I've done the New Yorker voice for a lot. As you can plainly see, I'm a wooden bass. I'm still in my prime. I mean, since that bass, bass below showed up, I've been left to rot in the moldy, smelly attic. I'm filled with so much frustration. I'm gonna turn this frustration into violence and take my stress out on you guys. I'm gonna be bawling your eyes out. Boss. That is very true. Heartburn, yeah. The Jealous Base and its cohorts. Let's try some PSI chat. I should miss do the jam session attack. That's usually a bad thing. But I think we're too powerful for them right now. So that's good. The fuck bean? Yeah, PK chat. Yo, chat's fucking buff. Look at that. Not too bad. I just mentioned a jam session attack. Beat the shit out of him now. The band member's defeated causes the jealous base to fly into a rage. I fucked up. Solo jam session attack. Yeah, we're pretty strong. Like, the rolls we've been getting on shit is kind of nuts, to be honest. Lucas is now level 16. His HP went up by fucking 46. Alright. Okay, Lucas. Become a god, man. Whatever. T Boney got 27. Oh, you know what? I might have gotten multiple levels from that. That might be why. Bye, bitch. Sucks to suck. There's a hole here. It looks like you could jump down from it. Try jumping? Fuck yeah. 
46? That's a lot. Yeah, it seems like a large number. All right, I need, like, jazz musician voices for everyone. What took you so long? Anyway, I just finished explaining everything to the band members. I'm gonna save real quick at this frog. I do need something. I need to save. I'm now just Lucas. Oh, this is the biker guy. Tone Gasa. So, you're trying to run off with Lucky. Yep. Tone Gasa. Who are you? He's the one I've been talking about just now, Duster. Excuse me. You two know each other. D Duster. It's true that I don't remember my real name. But I've lived my life as Lucky for years now. Okay. All right, Lucky. I hate to ask, but did you tell me everything you remember, too? Yeah, all right. I can definitely tell that something very important is taking place here. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever about what happened before I came to Club Tittyboo. I have no idea who I was, where I was, where I came from, or where I was going. But for some reason, I was clutching a strange egg with great care. I didn't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately. All I knew was that the egg was really important for some reason. I knew I absolutely had to keep it safe. So I looked for a place to hide it. And then, after walking and walking, I buried the egg inside a big dirt clod in a valley, where I knew no one would ever find it. I still don't know where it is. I haven't forgot. I still know where it is. I haven't forgotten. You go up the cliff near the giant waterfall land. What the fuck? Yeah. So he's amnesious because after the incident of him getting washed out of the thing and being missing. Unknown Valley. That's it, Duster. The egg we all work so hard to protect is there. Let's get going right now. But am I really Duster? If I am this Duster person, it means I have to leave the band, right? Duster or Lucky, one of them needs to cease to exist after today, right? Where, anybody got a gun? <laughs> if it turns out I'm Duster, what happens to DCMC? But if I continue as live as Lucky, then what was that egg all up thing all about? What should I do? I just can't decide. Cause you can't. All you can do is ask Destiny. Yeah. If Destiny decides it, I'll say good. I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. They're all really cool musicians. Destiny, huh? Yeah, let's ask Destiny. Yeah, we have a way. Same things as we always done whenever we're not sure what to do. Stone sheet clippers, huh? This Lucas fellow will play stone sheet clippers with us. If he beats all five of us in a row, you'll go. But if he loses even once, you'll stay in DCMC and keep playing that bass. How's that sound? Be right back. Okay, sounds good. Five in a row, huh? Yeah, I'm cool with that. You there? You okay with that, right? Well, okay, well. We're ready to begin when you are. You can start with any of us. I'll start with you. Whenever me, Magic, or Basio play Stone Sheet Clippers, we're always into the tie. Let me be the last one to go. After all, I am the band leader. I always wind up end up trying to play. I always end up trying. I always wind up tying whenever I play Stone Sheet Clippers with Shimmy. All right, let's do this thing. Yes, let's do it. Stone Sheet Clippers. Fuck you. Oops. It's against the rules to, to go after that like that. Stone Sheet Clippers. So, like, they don't let you lose this. Gah! I won't complain, you win. Shimmy almost always starts with stone. It's up to you to believe me or not, though. You ready to go? Yeah. Tone to Gasa. You went too late on that one. Come on now, Destiny's riding on this. Let's do it at the same time. Yeah, if you fuck up, like, you can just find out by, like, just fucking around. I lose. Luck is with you. For the most part, Everyth everyone always does this uh, specific move when they're playing this game. That explains why Basia loses the magic. You can figure this out like a puzzle, but you can just do it. You ready to go? 
Okay, here goes. Stone Cheek Clippers. I'm gonna do rock. Damn it. A time. Man, this is getting intense. Stone Cheek Clippers. I lose. I lose with Pisces. I seem to recall that whenever me, Magic, or the band leader play Stone Sheet Clippers, we'd always end up in a tie. Ready to go? Yeah. So is it best if I win? No, I'll leave that up to destiny. Stone Sheet Clippers. Achoo! Sorry, do over. Stone Sheet Clippers. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Looks like I lose. Guess destiny's telling me to lose. Ready? Yeah. If I win this, look, you stay in DMCA. At DCM DCMC. God damn it, you guys fucking broke my brain. If you win, Lucky will go with you. Lucky, you cool with that? I want to trust Destiny. But if it's Destiny to go, then I'm sure he'll win. And if it's not my Destiny, he'll lose and I'll stay here. It's as simple as that. Okay then, Lucas. Do clippers. I'm gonna do sheet. Tonda Gasa. All right, here we go. Stone sheet clippers. I see. So this is destiny. I guess Lucky probably is this duster guy after all. Go. Don't worry about anything else at all. I think Duster hit the egg in Unknown Valley, which means I have no reason to stay here anymore either. Alright, time to get out of these girl clothes. Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. I'm going to Mc fucking McDonald's. <laughs> out of my way, damn it. Lucky? No, Duster, I guess. With the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. I hope we meet again someday. I'm sure we will. Don't go forgetting the time is spent with us, you dig? What is that guy's mouth? Fuck. Lucky. Like, what the fuck? They eat, like, pasta? I'm alive again. Welcome back. We won. Because it was brigged. I still don't remember anything, but I'll come with you guys anyway. Okay, let's go. Duster joined your party. Yeah, it's, like, rigged. You can't lose. It's fucking hilarious, because they all just, like, say, Oh, well, you went too early. Do it again. Uh, let's see. Duster. Boom, 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 boom. Do I have anything for Duster? I have non sub Oh no, I sold the shoes, never mind. Uh, flame Pendant? Apparently that's better for him, so give it to him. Uh, mosquito Charm. Let's see which one of the- oh, he's full. What do you got? Uh, you got a good stick, which apparently I don't need, so enjoy that. The floor can enjoy that. Dragonflies are useless, so fuck them. Uh, they literally are just money, and most of the stuff I'm gonna be getting, I can sell for more than that. The awesome crown! Give that to Lucas. Sheik Bandana, you already have one. It's worse. Cool. Uh, Mosquito Charm. Again, I have that equipped out on Boney. Well, let's see. What's better? Flame Pendant is slightly better. Cool. Uh, and for... Let's see. What's the other... Is it other? Oh, no. He doesn't have... He didn't get the charm. That's right. He has Ordinary Shoes, which apparently is a fucking book. Um, uh, the Mosquito Charm... Oh, that's right. The Mosquito Charm is better, but it lowers his offense. So fuck that. Okay, cool. Let's just save real quick. Like I said, I'm gonna get through this part and then we'll uh, we'll end for the day, I think. Because I'm getting hunger. I have hunger. Oh, there's Kumator. I took care of the bodyguards. I don't think I needed to, but I did. Fair enough, yeah. I'm like, I mean, I've been going for like almost six hours now. I would go all day with this game. I'd love this game, but I'll be back tomorrow with more of it. It's not a big deal. Let's go. Kumatora joins your party. Here we are. Here's all four of us. Do I have anything better for Kumatora? I have the Goddess Bustier that I've been holding on to this entire time. That apparently is worse, so I'm just gonna hawk that for all the cash I can get from it. DMCA boxers. Yeah, I don't think I do. Mosquito charm. I can give that to Duster. 
DMCA pamphlet. Apparently the DMCA pamphlet is better than whatever the Duster's weapon is, so let's try that out. Oh, yeah, it is. You're not wrong. Uh, flame pendant. Apparently this... Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, we're kicking it. We're kicking ass now. All of us. For some reason, Lucas started to feel feverish. Cool, I'm going to learn some PSI. Well, now I'm walking, I guess. Yay, tomorrow. Yeah. That was a staff room door. What is it? Well, what is it? There's someone on stage. Bon voyage, amigo. Oh, guy in the sky, plant, please grant our gift to our friend who is about to set out. How much time was wasted laughing together? But the guy in the sky, oh, how can we love to waste that time, those helpless smiles. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, amigo. So, thanks, guys. Sorry to keep you waiting. All right, let's go. Let's go to Unknown Valley. Frog, shall I record everything that's happened so far? Indeed. Chapter 4 and baby! Alright, I think that's gonna do it for me today, though. Fucking halfway through the game already! <laughs> and there it is, yes indeed. So, party's all together. Now it's about time to start a counter-offensive against these assholes, which we can do tomorrow, because my voice is fucking thrashed. But if you give me a minute, I can find someone for us to raid, because you guys have been so generous to hang out with us all day. Good strong six hours of good stuff. Thank you. My throat fucking hurts. Uh, let's see. Who is streaming stuff today? Who is streaming stuff? Do 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 do. Let's see. We just raided him yesterday. Does anybody have any suggestions for raids? By the way, because I don't have a lot of people that are like live. Oh yeah, I got like fingies now, so I could do. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a lot of people that are live that we didn't just, like, recently raid uh, that I feel like need a raid. Very enjoyable. I, I'll be back tomorrow with more of this, so. Does anybody have any suggestions? I have some ideas. You want to throw what, 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 uh, throw a name in chat. We'll go raid him. I'm down. I trust you. Got my fingies so I can, like, when I go to type, I'll be like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, it actually does do that. That's cool. So, like, when I'm actually reaching over my keyboard to type, as long as my hands are above it. I'm going to play with my hands while you tell me. Oh, I can't clap. I can The forbidden clap can never happen. We can never touch. If we touch, it just bangles everything. It's not very good. But yeah, no, just throw somebody's name in chat and uh, we'll go raid them. Nocturne the Wolf. Okay. Sounds about right. Let's go. Let's go raid Nocturne the Wolf. Um, I'll meet you guys over there. Thank you guys for being here, though. I appreciate all of you. Um, the raid's going out. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with more of this. We'll probably try to do another longer stream like we did today. Uh, so if you want to enjoy the story, I would say try to be around, even if you're just lurking and stuff. Um, 
And any account, I will be back tomorrow. Here's the raid. So all you lovely people can go over and enjoy. And I will be back then. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate that. And let's go say hi to uh, Nocturne the Wolf.